many, many aggressive oh. coming from Banzai gets a double with the judge! He goes unchecked still, he's not being punished for flesh because he gets a third kill, 4k coming from Banzai! As this soul completely decimated there by Rizka. You know what, really pushed up, he gets one, gets two actually! Oh god, it's gonna be a big clutch there! This one! Ooh. That's so close actually if you get the flicker on dead soul. Water now, not to do be to even situation, but oh my god, they just got it up. Stage player Lux. Here, but oh, sorry, the last time together, though, but we're gone. Up there, he's going to spawn out there. Sus looking, land a shot, he's taking down there. But it's also up there, he will try to take it out there. Don't be inside, he capitalized on that, and it's all out. He made it work. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, once again. Three on three, Tesos is doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's a yeah. 3v2, let's get luck pushing out. Come back, so just in case that piece. He's a guy that can heat up there because, oh, Tesos is done. It's still being. First off, he's not the timing goes around to six. Show any threat here because it's just. He just screams, right? You don't want to show everything. That is actually the way. So look at that luck back upside there, though. He sees two actually playing on B side. Off champ, and he takes one. He takes two. Who's nice? Who's happened? Who's actually able to play? Let's try again another one. Oh, 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 oh. Maple is going to stay here to catch. He will he be able to catch anyone? No, he does not. He managed to catch two. Oh, he's six already layer. The shirt coming in hard against. He's really delivering. But that's risk of oh, so the trades are happening there. Look, he was dying. Does once again though. He will bounce out there and spot out here. Oh, he makes the displacement. He gets it. He gets another displacement out. And he goes behind. He gets the kill to be inside there. What's going on he here? Really what? I don't know where he go. he goes. Goes behind Ben. So he displaces himself out of the side. Oh, and the rest comes in from Mac. He oh, tries to punch the Kindred. His goes down. Like he knows something is up. He has the wall broke. He actually gets but, the defender will know for sure oh, a lineup coming from East Lab will hit the mark and bounce. But he's a little too late! Wait, the bait comes in, they know luck, they try to flush him out. Lux gets the first kill, wait, wait, guys! It's gonna be there, another recon drop to pop down. Oh, blast back! Three, three situations are Oh, he peaks now. Again, on to B side player. Right now, Jensen pushing up aggressively, but they will be there for the trade pass. Cypho and the back. Back and forth kill we see the side. They come away one by one, but that's the first trade on this also. Position now he kind of nowhere luck is they were there. They really don't luck. He the 1v2, oh. he nearly gets Defender actually makes it turn him. Jensen in the one the guy that can do this will be Jensen. He says the CC is the second one, he gets the kill. Now in the 1v1 situation, he gets the third. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the it, it, to the Berry Fan Summer Tournament and my name is Gunless 2K and we are back together with Cinder Faith which I don't know where Cinder Faith has went but yeah I hope everyone's having a good day this is day 2 of the tournament and yeah another 6 matches will be happening today which I hope you guys are or will be hyped you know for the match as well because the first match we'll we'll definitely have is uh, Donut versus Rice which you know of course once again, um, based on what Cinder said yesterday, it's all about food, right? So yeah, donut or rice, who you prefer, and then from there we'll go on. <laughs> and yeah, I think we have we have our man uh back with us, uh Cinder. What's hey, up? oh she's not here. Yeah, hey, yeah. Good morning, right? Yeah. Hey, good morning, man. <laughs> Don't know good where morning, do you go, but yeah, yeah. Oh sorry. Alright, so yeah, I, I've told the audience, yeah, today is day two of the tournament, you know, first match we have, of course, um, Donut, Team Donut versus Team Rice, so yeah, um, of course, uh, we would like to move into the bracket, right, like, yeah, that's what we have now, the bracket on the screen, um, first and foremost, of course, this is what happened after um, day one of the tournament, which... Fortunately or not, <laughs> seeing that I managed to close the night out. So yeah, this was the bracket um from yesterday night and just a small little re refresh or recap um for you guys on the stream. So yeah. So Sinner. Ah, uh, Daji. So tell me which match are you looking forward to today? I wanna see my friends get treasure. I mean, we. <laughs> the oh, first team oh, my, friend, my friends get trash, right? that's it. Really? Yeah, like donut um, versus rice. So you, you say you want to see your friend get trash, means you want to see uh, rice win donut like convincingly, right? Isn't it? Mm. 
Okay, okay. Um, yeah, but of course, I think I think it's all the matches are definitely going to be really hype. That's one thing for sure. So I'm I'm not gonna be surprised if we have close games. Yesterday we see, yesterday we see some close games, correct? We see some. But yesterday I never get to see Sergin Sergin get knife. I still a bit unhappy about that one. Okay, so today today maybe we can see like, one of your friends get knife. Maybe today today <laughs> at least one of my friend needs to get knife. One of them ah, uh. either one the first game, Donut, um, you have Saktif, right? So, see Saktif get knife. <laughs> I want to see Saktif get knife. Uh. You want to see Saktif get knife? I, I, I think, <laughs> I think I want, that, that's a I want, see, I want to see Saktif get knife. I want to see the F-Dog get knife. Who else, uh, who else is playing today? Uh, I think we still got, I still got one more friend that's playing. Jumpix, I want to see Jumpix get knife. What? Jumpix get knife a bit hard. Yeah, I think, I think well, before get you can get knife, you will just flick and just hit shot someone, hard, right? right? I want, I want to see these people get wrecked. Yeah, but of course, um, you know, on the side of Rise, you know, um, I mean, we, we are still like 20 or 1 minutes away before the first game start start off. But yeah, uh, on the side of Rise, we have we have some familiar names like uh, Stewart, you know. I, I mean, I've been told by a lot of people that Stewart was part of the winning team from the last uh, Ed Berry Fam uh, tournament. So yeah, I, I I would say the first game itself you already have like one of the guy from the previous um tournament against Oh really? You know, yeah. I never the, watched the winner the... of them. Okay. So okay, so never mind, it's okay. Previous tournament, I don't care. I only care about this tournament. You know why or not? Because why? this tournament is the one that we are casting. The previous one we never cast, so Boa Taiji. Not my problem. We only care about the ones that we cast. That, that uh, that's a bit true. <laughs> okay, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you... I mean, they're the winner for a reason, right? From the last tournament. Uh, so. Last yeah, time, yeah. last time, police wear short pants. This this time, police wear long pants. Mm, I, except yeah, if you're on the bicycle, nah, the bicycle are different. Oh, the bicycle. <laughs> bicycle. <laughs> Bro, really got bicycle police? I first time see it. Eh. Okay, I only, I, I only uh, saw sorry. it a few days ago, and then they, I like, what? They yeah. patrol. They patrol the park, from what I know, and. Yeah, they they've been doing a good job. You, know, you, you, got those, you got see those you sitting on the like the e-scooter kind of right? like the yeah 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 yeah. yeah. I was, I did, like, I the did. standing on that one. Oh, that one also another high level one. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. I I mean, I seen like, like I mean, airport we have the we have those that sit, that stand on the. I don't yeah, know like, what like, they call it. Yeah. They were like like much some job advancement got wrong and right? like you like you wanted to become police right? Then you want to be something else. Then you become like hey, or you ride bicycle or you ride the mo or you ride the electronic device. Basically, they become 50-50 of everything. Lah, so. <laughs> I, if I'm a police officer, I'll write cruiser. Wah, lah, eh. Then after any time, just ring alarm. Only. Wah, lah, eh. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, based on yesterday match that we cast, since, you know, we talk about this tournament more, right? Ah. So based on the, yes, yeah, based on the matches we cast yesterday, there would, I think there's only one close game at the end and the other two was like kind of one-sided. Affair. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, t- today do you think we'll see more close games or do you think we'll see more like one sided? Today, affair? okay. Today, right? The fact that like I know so many of my friends are playing today, uh, and I think I think they're just gonna wipe the floor, lah. They're just gonna mm. they're they're just gonna trash the other team, lah. No need to see out, lah. Don't worry. Later, I will make my predictions. People in chat, y'all gonna bet, right? Y'all can just follow my bets. Confirm, confirm plus chop winner. Uh, but I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully they win. Of course, um, uh, it's always good to see uh people you support win. Um, but of remember, course, you remember yesterday when you called out who was gonna win yesterday? You called out. Uh, we were we were we were, we were, we were half and half on the yeah, on on one team. I remember the yesterday. I think crowd favorite was uh was uh, a Korix team. Oh, waffles! Yeah, waffles. Waffles, was, waffles! Uh, Everybody was on waffles. But then, onigiri, after that, onigiri, onigiri, onigiri just just wrecked. Okay, they basically just tore. Uh, uh, who are tore a correct a new hole, uh, But yeah, and and I think that was like a really surprise, surprising thing coming in because I think there are many people in chat also like watch screams, right? And mm. let's be honest, the screams onigiri didn't really perform well at all. So. Mm. Yeah, so I, I it's understandable it's understandable why like people are throwing a lot of points on waffles yesterday. But yeah, Onigiri. Uh-huh. They woke up and 
they stay waffle, so yeah, waffle is low bracket now. Do you, do you, I mean, do you think that today we will see like a, a friends versus friend game? Because, you know... We won't get to see what? Will I mean, we? We, 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 we won't be able to cast it, but we will be able to see it happen, right? Oh, we will really? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, well. if, if round one, both sides win, like, um, which is, uh, if I don't know, it's like Donut, Donut wins, and I can't remember who the other team is. We ah, there, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, yeah, we yeah, got yeah. Soju, right? Yeah, I yeah, if Donut, no, if Donut win, wins, then after that, got Bingsu, Bingsu. Oh, yeah, Bingsu, yeah. Bingsu, Bing, Bingsu, Bingsu, Bingsu is, is F-Dog. Yeah, then, then you have like, you have two friends fighting out, right? Um, wow, see, Chai Butterfly at one. Wow, see, yeah. I'm not casting that one, eh? But, um, of course, you'll be casting another one, right? It's uh, chocolate yeah, we're casting... kimchi. Which so, I yeah, think... The... We... Why we have this sort of team names? Uh? We, we we have this sort of team names uh, in like, like before dinner time now. And then like, wow. Take that at it. I mean, thankfully, I had my dinner before this, uh, so I still not I still not affected, uh, but I didn't like got room for dessert. Eh. Yeah, I mean, probably maybe you cast halfway, you can like probably bring in an ice cream or two. And... Ice ice cream. Yeah, or bingsu. Bingsu. Yeah, I can go go order go order ice cream. Uh. Maybe you can order bingsu. You know, bingsu. Oh, we should have, we should have bought popcorn. Yeah, like I don't see like anybody like like eat popcorn while watching or casting an attorney. Eh. I should probably put popcorn in front of my face and eat. Eh. I mean, we we have our. We have our uh, we have someone that does eating and casting and and she does it really really well. It's actually uh so very yeah. I saw her do like eating cast, you know. It's kind of funny, but yeah. All right. Okay. So um. So, yeah. Wait, what time are we supposed to? We are supposed to come in to queue in for people, and we have. I yeah, think we're supposed to cut in for a break soon, right? Yeah, we're definitely going on a break. We are definitely oh, coming, going on a break real soon. Break. Yeah, because um the captains are not ready yet and they only be ready oh. at 7.50, uh, 6.50. 7, I, I always say 7.50 because it's like my time, right? It's like 6.50 okay. Singapore and Malaysia time. So yeah. Anyway, before we cut into the break, thank you everybody in both sides of the audience, people in my stream, people in Silver stream, coming in to watch the tournament. Uh, We will be having a short break. We'll be back at 6.50 uh, for a captain's interview and coin toss. Yeah, definitely. We... Hey. Do, you, do, you, do you bring Koi today? Or do you want my bird to show? <laughs> I flip phone now or not? Face up, face down. I like that flip ball. I think that sounds like a great idea. And of course, <laughs> um, yeah, this is me, Carlos Duque and Cinder Fave. Uh, we will see you guys at 7.50 for the phone flipping <laughs> <laughs> selection <laughs> of site. See you then, guys. <laughs>
Yes, we, we can go live. We can. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Barry Fan Summer Tournament. And yep, with me, I'm Gunless 2K with me. I've seen the faith here. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning again. Yeah, and, and we are back from our very short break that everyone has been waiting for, right? Because now it's like 6.51 p.m. in SGMY and you guys know what time it is. It is going to be the captain's trash talking moment and coin toss. Trash talk, I think this one wouldn't have trash talk, right? Wouldn't have trash talk, lah. I I think you can stir stir and make something happen here. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for the captain to come in. All right. Uh, so. Hey, morning, brother man. So, hey. <laughs> morning. So we have, so we have Cyber from Team Rise, uh, Captain of Team Rise, and we have Saktif, uh, Captain of Team Donut. Hi guys. What's up? Hey, hello. Hey, morning, morning, morning. Hey, Saktif. Yes. I expect very good gameplays there. Yeah, I mean, we are not going to lose a single round. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, so strong. Yeah. Cyber, how? Cyber, you like that? Yeah, I mean, like, that yeah. What do you, what do you, I think, I think like today is like opposite day or something uh, for him. <laughs> oh, man. Very good, very good. I like I like this type of you know yesterday uh, everybody will be calling uh, for captain's meeting. Uh, they're very peaceful. Like no fight hard. I want some, you know, some good toxicity. But like, you know, must have a bit, uh, must have a bit. Yep, need yep. Choose the fewer. Okay, am I seeing any knife kills or not? Uh I mean I might probably knife him like at least five times. Uh. At least wow. five times. That's just, just for cyber. Uh. That's just for cyber. Wow, v that's quite bastard. Eh. Yeah. Cyber, if you're stuck in a 1v1 situation, would you knife? Uh? Of course I won't knife. Uh. I'll throw my gun, bro. <laughs> I'll just let him die. Okay, before we carry on, uh, before we carry on with your with your words, uh, today special day. Because yesterday, Gunless did coin toss. Today I do coin toss. Yeah, today there won't be any bird. Hey, to yesterday we all 500 won one. Today we use genuine Singapore dollar one dollar coin. So what is hey. hey, what is tails? <laughs> Hello, Singapore coin you don't know call hit and tail. Ah. Must the, explain. The tail behind the Majula, ah, then after that, the uh, hit is the Malayan. Ah. Uh, so am I, am I, am I, I give you the hit later. Okay. Uh, um, uh, Satif Cyber, you all want to... How will you decide who takes? Who chooses? No, so uh, who, who who wants to choose? Go ahead and choose us uh, in terms uh, of point sides. Can I let it I'll take hit. I'll take some hit. You want, you want some hit? Yeah, okay give me some hit, bro. Okay give me some hit. Cyber, okay or not? Or you, or you, so, or you also want hit? Hey, you he, also want hit, then you all do... Choice. We ask you both take hit, man. <laughs> Huh? No, then, I, yeah, take tell, I take tail, I take tail. Tail will win, tail will win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, fuck. Where's my coin? Wait, I lost my coin. Okay, hold on, wait. That must flip again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hits! Wow. Ah, hits, 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 hits. Uh, the, the How much you pay the coin? It's a pay actor, bro. Uh, confirm pay actor, this is a confirm pay actor. Confirm pay actor. You want to you 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 do cost toy best out of three, right? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <don't need laughs> That's why I say the, the bird more powerful. The bird is the tail yesterday. Hey, bro, this one Malayan hit, eh? How did you get you this Malayan hit? Malayan hit versus bird tail, eh? <laughs> anyway, right, so, um, last Sakti, throwing right? statement, ah. Give them a last throwing statement, ah. Anything no, wait, 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 wait. to each other. Huh? Haven't you, man? Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Satif, where you hey. want? Uh, uh, take yeah. defense. Okay, so okay la, okay la. Then your team donut will be on defense and team rice will be on attack. Uh, yes, the map there... will be fine. So yeah. Okay, continue. Uh, let's... I want to see some like triple teleport, four teleport, and then like five men rush into DP kind of shit. Eh. Like, you think we will see that? Or not? I think within ten seconds, all of them will be dead. Uh, so no point. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy. Woo! Like I said, uh, like today must be opposite day. Uh. <laughs> burn. The burn. I honestly, yeah, my team we are focusing towards the next match, ah, like against Bingsu, because this this game hey, will be pretty. I easy, don't, ah, yeah. I don't care. I don't care who wins this, ah. But as long as whoever wins this, right, trashes <laughs> Bingsu can already. That F dog <laughs> cannot anyhow run around already. <laughs> I I later need to go and see later that F dog. The F dog has been has been bucking up all over the place, saying that he very good. Ah. I need to I need to see him get wrecked. Ah, the mm. F dog. Okay, um, final words from 
both uh captain before you all go in to buy. Uh, good luck, bro. You need it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And... Simon, oh, Simon, oh, Simon, let us happy, lah, Simon. No, <laughs> Simon, la. never mind. Oh, no, no, no. Good. I got nothing to say, uh. Like my my KD Simon will speak for just, itself. Ah, uh, Simon will just do it, settle himself in in game one. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I have faith. I have faith. Jayo, okay. Jayo, Jayo. Yeah, good luck to both teams. Good luck, good luck. Yeah, we'll hey, Sandeep, box storm, box storm. Yeah, man. Uh, Cyber can. Okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You just let him to chow. Ah, uh, no, I, I. He needs to know that he can leave really. You know, he's staying here. <laughs> <laughs> both sides actually were lying. Wait, wait, wait. Someone dissing me about the coin. Both sides were lying, man. No, I want to see him. behind is. Behind hey. is the Majula, what? it's the tiger and the tiger and the lion, eh? I so come what? to Korea for three months, right? I still can remember how the Singapore coin looked like, okay? The back hey, the is the always the, is Majula, the flag, right? Yeah, the back is always the Singapore flag and the not the, the not the not the flag lah, the logo. The there's a ah, yeah, la, yeah, la, the crescent logo, and la. the five star lah. Yeah, correct what? I uh gonna this again for no reason. Eh? Hey, I'm a cowboy. You know, hey, sorry, yesterday, yeah, space, uh, hey, yesterday, sorry, uh, spaceship. Yesterday, yesterday uh, when we were casting, uh, we were looking at the chat. Uh, someone was saying, like, like Carlos was casting out of a cardboard box and I casting from auto space. I like, yeah. go wrong, man. Hey, sorry, uh, astronaut. <laughs> at, at least he's counting, casting from auto space, right, which is so much more cooler. Eh. I'm counting on cardboard. Eh. What? Hey, okay, shut, anyway. shut, your, shut your cardboard casting out, casting face, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, all jokes aside, you know, yeah, uh, we have the captains of both teams now um, preparing to step in to buy the arena that is being chosen to uh, to fight. And of course, yeah, Donut going to start off uh, defensive side. So, Carlos, Carlos, before we yeah. start the before we start yeah. the game, right? You want to take yeah. a side bet? Or? What, what, we we what, we what? we do a side bet like me and you, me and you, we do a side okay. bet. Okay. How many times they use the teleporter the whole game? Everybody, everybody. Total up. Total times the teleporter get used. Oh, how many times? Uh? Yeah. Um, I think at least at least uh, I think 15 to 20 times. Uh. 15 uh, okay. Okay, 20, okay, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Right, before we go into game, we're going to talk a bit about the predictions of chat. Yeah. So apparently it's a uh, what sixty-four percent rice and thirty-six percent donut. Thoughts, I, Gunless? I, I mean it's not as uh a one-sided affair, right, compared to the Wolfo series that we have yesterday. But still favoring a lot um towards rice here, I would say. So ah. yeah, um I don't know. For me, I think uh, Rice definitely has what it takes, correct? Like I said, one of them was an ex-winner from the last tournament. So, you know, Steven. Mm. And, but on the side of Donut, like I said, you know, Saktif, we all know how good of a player he is and mm. in terms of his experience. And, you know, yes, Seven or so. You may not hear, know who Seven is, but this ah. guy definitely has been doing quite well for himself uh, recently on screams as well. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. But either way, as the true one, number one Minecraft player in Singapore, I would say I think Team Donut is going to win. Uh. Mm, I, I, that as usual, right? I'm just going to take the opposite because I think Cyber, after all the trash talk, I don't think Cyber will just let it go. And you heard, and you hear from Cyber, I'm just going to let my KDA do the talking. So, yeah, I, I, I think Rice. I'm going for Rice here. Sweet. Lah. Let's just all see right. if whenever the captains want to start, we can go already. Lah. Yeah, so, yeah, we're still waiting for the captains to be ready. <laughs> and once they're ready, we'll go in. Hello. Hello. Yes? I'm sorry, but I thought I kind of look at chat for a little bit, right? And yeah. Then you got a new nickname, eh, bro. New nickname. Cardboard two K. Get right, bro. I mean, this is like I, 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 I mean, I, I'll explain my condition after the game, alright? <laughs> People need to understand my condition, man. Yeah. But of course, yeah. I think the team captains are ready, and the game for buying is going to start right here with the selection process so yeah we are just waiting for the game to be loaded into the selection the agent selection phase and i guess we have it right okay let's see uh, let's yeah, see uh, let's, let's see, go let's into see, the game see. Confirm. win ready don't easy no see, don't easy 
ตัวนี้สิตัวนี้สิตัวนี้สิตัวนี้สิถ้าเลิกยิงขอเนี่ยตัวนี้สิดีโอ้ยซาติฟรีน่า is a different breed อ่ะพี่ซีอาเสตี้ไรเราเราสอบอาคอริสรีน่าเสตี้แต่ยังติดที่สุดโบว์ซาติฟีส์ different level ไอ้ดี Yeah, but of course, during the scrim, I see something that is quite uh, that I've been seeing. Um, right, is cyber mm. uh, jet, you know, cyber, cyber is playing jet. jet okay. Is yeah. So yeah, cyber jet was the Sakti for now, right? Uh huh. Yep. So I I don't know. I mean, who which is the better duelist? You have to show uh for themselves. But you look at the defender side. They decide to go for the full Lockyer agents. You have the um Sage on the side of um Donut, and of course on the other side you have the Sky. For rice, so a, a little bit different, same, uh, mm. almost healing capability, but definitely you have to favor like rice here, right? In terms of draft, wow. they have, they're more Because flashes. They have the layout for the viper, yeah, the li the viper layout, and you know how strong viper layout is in buying, also, right? Yeah, and we got extra as well, and even more smokes. <laughs> yeah. So, but for donut, right? The layout is quite tangible, right? You mean you have the omen smokes, you know, you have the cipher. Traps to lock down, and then you have uh -huh. the sage and uh, race combination of like the wall plus um, the bounce pad over to maybe just a surprise um, showstopper or pain shell s e l l even you may even deal some damage. All right, so um, now we are going to the round one of the game fight between Rice versus yeah. Donut. So let's see what can Rice do here, since Rice will be on the attacking side and Donut will be on the defending side. All right, looks like Rice will opt to go towards oh, wow, this wow, B wow, side wow. with some B speed action. You see, once again, you see a lot of pistol armor. Yeah, definitely classic armor Plus coming armor. out. And there you have it. Oh, Sati getting in the hit shot. Oh, yeah, first kill on Sati. And you see the patient going towards oh, the oh. Kavi area and Ooh. Ooh. A nice kill from the Cypher ah. player. And Rice, One they already they the get the side, but they lose eight. the man advantage, and there we have it. Flawless roll coming from the side of see, team. Zero doubts. Zero doubts. I had zero doubts. Zero. Yeah, Did not drop a single key. <laughs> I I to use your statement right, gun round, gun round. We have to wait for gun yeah, round. Yeah, gun round. We wait for gun round. We wait for gun round. We wait for gun round. But you know what's the best part? Saktif will not let them wait until gun round. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Saktif hit up right two zero at the start. Really, really good. Uh, one gen as well. You know, the guy just shipping some stuff for himself. Uh, seven with first kill. So really good round. Flawless coming in for Donut. And now going to round two, you see that the, the side of off. rice. Oh. Yeah. Decided to play more spread, have the spike hold back, and you already see a two man commitment towards the toilet area. And oh, Naki nice one, uh, Satif. nearly gets Sati, but Sati still with the weapon advantage gets the kill. First blood goes over to Donut. And, they uh, playing Minecraft. They playing Minecraft in towers. <laughs> Minecraft. Four v five scenario. Uh, both sides getting checked out. Sakti brought it up to 22 HP, just trying to go for raw spray, trying to hopefully get someone but doesn't connect any single shots there. You see Donut just holding passively with the 3 man stack, two, uh, 3A and 2B strategy that's coming in. But for the side of Rice, they are just rotating back. But look at Cyber's position. Oh my god, he just helps his teammate to check. So hopefully, they'll, so they know that there's no aggression here. So what does Rice offer to do here? Okay, Cyber or oh. Stewart, it looks Stuart like 34 HP. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, a man, a man, a man with a dream. A man with a dream. Yeah, you look at the rotation coming from Sati. They suspected something. They're like, there's no one in A. Let's go. But then Rice comes out with the angle. So Sati enters sides. But then Sati comes in with three kills. And we go for the four. No. We get the four. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and wow. seven bills. Uh, Sakti fought in the end. He, he got low, but you know, still no death on the board for the side of Donut. Can we talk? Donut. Can we talk about how Yen, one Yen, has held down B so well? Yen is it? Oh, he wow, one bro, yen. he holds side one Yen. Eh, same lah. I mean, the 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 name is one Yen one. 100%. One Yen one, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but okay, anyway, but no, but all, all jokes aside, but he holds B very well. Yeah, 100%. Like not giving anything, right? If I was, if I was the other team, I would be going to A right now, dude. 
Yeah, definitely. And you, you're talking about A stewards. It's already oh, yep. uh, close already and personal to shower. They open up with the dog to get info. Slow has been used by the side of the donut to slow the push. And there we have it. You see the push not coming due to the slow off and smokes goes in. Oh, a blind as well. Oh. Will there be any follow up? Yeah, no follow up. No. What happens. Everyone's just waiting. Look at the rotation that's coming from the side of Donut. But as well Aye, for Rice. He's playing Minecraft in the showers again. Rice decided to push back towards oh. the B side. Looks like and, and another rotation back from the race player on the side of Donut. So it's going to be another 2v4 scenario as the race player for Rice. Which is Stewards. It's just going to be lurking on showers. Using the boom bot, try to pull some rotation, but no rotation will be coming in. What is the engagement? It's going to be a 4v2 scenario, and you see the pinch out coming in. From 7, doesn't connect to anyone. Cyber dashes to get the first kill, and oh, Ian, he nearly connects onto one of them, but doesn't bring him down. But Ian is still looking around the elbow position. They're holding position for his team to come for the retake. 5v4 scenario, Rice in post plant position. Heels goes up and everyone's back to full play but Ian comes out with a cheeky kill on to Cyber. Cyber goes out. 4v4 scenario. Ian. Oh no, Stewards gets one. You return to Sakti. So both players goes down. Both players goes down. But you see the lineup from Viper comes into play. 4v2 scenario. Nothing down. Oh. And Stewart brings another now with the edge. And Aye. goes down. Nice round, nice round, nice round. Well, fortunately, Sakti, if they all lost the bonus round. round. They lost bonus round. They lost yeah. bonus round. Okay, that's called bonus. Yeah. Okay, they had SMGs. Okay, now we're expecting full buys from them. Yeah, we'll, nah, see, nah. we'll see how they turn the tide. And oh, yeah. Cyber, Cyber is using his LT this time. He's not going to buy guns. We're going to yeah. see how it plays out. Yeah, which is good, right? Because if he if he dies here, he can Easy. buy next round uh, together with his team. So a really good um, for coming with Cyber. And Cyber, probably he needs to get... Oh no, they actually commit with the rifle. So five rifles on the side of Rice, and you see a passive hole coming in from the side of Rice, just hoping any aggression from the side of Donut will push them and kill them. But no, Donut is just going to play it safe here. Rice is slowly creeping up towards the B side, and first contact comes in, but the dog fake comes in, and you see the panic orb comes in. The slow orb comes in, just slowing down any push, but there are no info yet. But look at the hole coming from Donut, still a three-man hole. All committed to be long, except for Ian. His job is to watch for this drop. Seven and Subtif. They rely on Ian to go huge here before they get caught off guard. And you see. Now, Carlos, you remember when we said when they did the five minute rushes? Huh? Remember what happened yesterday? <clears throat> Everywhere was a slaughterhouse. And now we see five men inside Hookah. What's yeah, gonna I happen? Know. The execution, execution comes in. Pain shell, boom, board, all use. Ian goes huge. Oh Double kill for me. Milo trades. Seven comes back on one more kill on the cyber. 4v2 scenario. 30 seconds left. Close plant. We'll go on the side of rice, but this, the plant is not planted, if I'm not wrong, properly for the attackers. But Safti and Seven is still here. And you see oh. Jaden goes huge. Double kill. Safti comes in with the kill on Milo. Jaden used the turn. 1v1 scenario, oh, panic spray coming in. 5 HP, 5 HP, 5 HP! Oh, he gets the clutch, 5 HP! 4 oh. okay, coming from him, he built up Team Rise. Oh my god. 5 HP and a dream, boys. That is, wow. Jaden going so huge there, you know, he definitely he something got the health advantage, we right? But Jaden clutching huge for the side of Rice. And it's a 2v4 post plan. I, I don't know. I didn't even know how Rice actually got that round. That's such an insane um shot coming from Jaden. 2v4, he get all four kills. Post plan. Ooh, we got a match on our hands, definitely two on two. And you really see Donut going on this half by from Sakti here with the sheriff. He tries to go for the pick, doesn't get it. Guy goes in with the dog, trying to get some info. See Boombot also being committed by the side of Rice. They just trying to flush out as much as possible. They try to catch Sakti here, but to no avail. Sakti still trying to spray through the smoke, trying to get something hopefully. But Pain Shells being in, he gets attacked by the Twin Shells, but level 41 HP. Now my question is, will anyone punish Ian for playing elbow for the fifth time in the game? 
Mm, he has gotten sure. multiple kills. He has gotten multiple kills playing elbow. Yeah, but it looks like Rice is just going to back off and go towards oh, the inside thing? position. But look at Saktif, man. This guy definitely has like a third eye or something, you know. He's just rotating like bro, on he... his thing and he's catching them. And bro, the right he position. busy, bro. He from Paseris go. Jurong, Jurong go Paseris, yeah. You see? He going back again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have no idea. But here you go. You see the blind... The blind comes out from sky and... Yeah, he's just, he's just rotating back now. But it's a little bit too late. Rice already controlled the side and... Ooh, you see this new phantom though i'm so much older. i'm so distracted of the new phantom than ever but whatever it is rice definitely now gets the plant down close plant position from rice and oh first kill comes from steel but never he gets the rice kill on the nut the nutty but steel gets the second a triple kill coming from steel was a quad kill and jay then got to steal the ace away from wow, him wow, wow. but Wow, a quad kill from Jaden and then Once a again, quad kill from Stewart. We have another ace stealer on the house, boys! <laughs> but wow, dude, I mean, that was like an, a half buy coming in from yeah, Jaden, so. right? So we can't really yeah. say much, but still a 4k true, coming true, from true, Stewart. True, true. He got a feel good, man. And uh, Rice is definitely slowly hitting up and Cyber, you know, one five zero, but his team is doing all, so he don't really... He, he can take his time to warm up here, but definitely once Rice gets online, it looks dangerous for Donut. So Donut definitely has to start shutting some of this momentum down. You see Sakti playing really aggressive towards this. He gets one, he gets the displacement up, he gets, and the heal comes in on stage, so he's going to be back at the healthy HP. But first blood going in the way of Donut. Nice aggressive play, trying to catch someone off guard. And you see Rice already rotating off this a shot position they have they do not want to have anything to do with what Saktiv is doing here so decided to rotate slowly towards the b area but b once again you know look at ian ian changes position up with their i think, their I think he might be complaining about him playing elbow yeah. <clears throat> they just play mains now yeah but he got two kills for that on that round still though so mm. this position is definitely solid here but seven he will be holding this passive angle from the short position the elbow position and yeah, you already see Donut pushing so close and wait. Drops coming in and oh he steps onto the trap wire and the spray down comes from seven. He does connect but doesn't get a kill. Queen Charles goes up, doesn't kill anyone but Ian gets that team, gets the kill on the Naki for 5 G3 scenario. What can Rice do here? Jaden's once again getting a first kill. 3v4 situation, Ian is still here, oh he picks out his boss one, but Jaden managed to get the, the spike down. First one position will be on the side of Rice, but Stewart goes down to Ian, and Jaden is still here, and Ian oh. gets the Ian's position, he checks everything! 3k guy for him, where you go for the 4, he go for the 4, Ian with a 4k, and once again, B side, oh. being held down by Ian. Ian is actually insane dude, at 4k? Wow! Yeah, definitely, I would say, man, his position, he, and he's so, like, he knows exactly where the players are, right? Like, even though Jaden planted and, like, he probably could have fall back or do anything, and, but the game sense coming from him is so smart, he was like, nah, Jaden is not going to run anywhere, I, I know he's there, and he just, like, slowly picked that corner and gets the kill. Really well done by Ian that round, and third round, once again, equalized on the board on the side of Donut, so... Really, really good P3. to see that. Yeah. What happened to my 13 0? Can someone add Satif and ask him PM him in game? Where my 13 0? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hey, look at Anaki starting off with the, with the dog. You know, he managed to get info on two players. Oh, he's just right now into oh, Sandra! Sandra! Oh. Kill on Milo, and there you have it. The Viper plays out of the game. Four hey, he's still playing my And, yep. The Sage just keep warring off the toilet area and Anaki tries to go for this swing but Sakti is on the other side of the smoke will he know that? No, okay, Anaki carefully backing off the smoke here and you already see Rice, you know, setting up for this B hit but B again? You have to deal with Ian and Seven here. You just like to uh, face Ian right off. Uh. Yeah, I think they're, they're just trying to just break Ian here and yep. I'm not surprised they want to challenge Ian here because uh -huh. Ian definitely is heating up, right? So you want to break mm. momentum, but you look at Ian the camera, he sees the boot, he knows that yeah. they are going to call rotation will be coming in from the side. And oh, seven! He nearly goes down to the pinch up, but managed to save because he's being out and look at Ian's position. 
Seven. Why is the kill on the steward? Please have a boss. Five beat three. Jada is still here. Oh yeah, oh, nice swing. No. Nucky goes down. Oh, Simon no. goes down. And Jada ends. Yeah, we will 2k this round. And of course, wow. I don't know how Seven did not die there. I don't know and how he did not die. I didn't know how he did not die. get a reply with a Bro, his bot. HP is one line, bro. His HP cannot see, dude. God Seven damn. should have died. Seven should have died. And now they are amazing, just like, amazing, amazing. Who's going to take this? Who's going to take that? And yeah, they got it all Three right. Three HP, up. dude. Wow. Yep. And of course, that route, luckily for Rice, only Seekers was expanded. So. Not too bad for them, but yeah, they definitely, you know, it's time to reply back and look at the buy from Rice. It's not going to look too good. Um, two Spectres will be coming out on the side of Stewart and Milo, Jaden will be on the rifle. Um, Cyber, still really quiet from here, 170. I, I'm not too sure what's what's happening, but Saptif, 832. Of course, no 16-0 as we can tell. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, yeah. I believe in Cyber. Cyber was giving a very strong game when we were doing interview. I, I believe in him. He will wake up soon. He will wake up soon. This is warm up, warm up. Yeah, definitely. And once again, opening up with the dog from the side of Rice, getting information. Know that one player is where Nels the Cam Dash comes in for Cyber. Hold the they just locked down everyone was like, and you look at this and Cyber, he gets to kill the steward once again. Both back to disengage. Cyber oh. manages to trade on Shakti. A really good stuff for him. 4v4. Cyber goes huge. He gets one more. But he goes now. And Milo gets the trade in return. 3v2 situation. And Mate still for rise. And you look at Anaki, the position. He gets one. 2v1. Can Sandra do anything here? Smoke Sandra got out. this. Sandra got this. Oh. Oh. He knows, oh. Oh. He knows oh. what is there. Oh, he's also hit. Naki nearly goes down and blind gets blinded. Oh, yeah? Naki carefully just disengages it. A wall blind comes in from Sandra. 1v3. Saki Saki! Oh! Oh no! Oh, this is not the guess why he didn't get too much cadence! Ooh! What? Wow! Was that, it was. Man? Wow. If Sandra got that kill, if Sandra got that, got, got the Jaden kill, that would have been different. And you see the difference between like Anaki going down and not, right? If Anaki didn't die there, yeah. that's five rifles on the bot. But because Anaki died there, he's a Spectre and half armor on him. So yeah, it, it definitely impacts, right, that kill. So yeah. Oh, Cyber is definitely waking up. Waking up. He heard us. We talked about him having one kill and now he has two, three. He got this. Yeah, slow warm up from Cyber, but still getting back in and you see already on the a. side of Rice. Yes, okay. coming in A. Oh, Sandra just trying again to get Stuart loves to go in to hey, to play my hey. Oh my god, Sandra! Wow. Sandra. Another kill through the smoke, headshot on the Jaden's. Oh my god. Sandra, man. Oh, don't challenge Sandra, please. Stop. Stop. Yep, Stuart just love to challenge the Sage player at showers. 5v4 situation. Mare advantage definitely on the side of Donut. But you see, look at where Shaktiv is. They know that this B hit may come in anytime soon, and they are already there, just waiting in advance for Rice to rotate back. And look at Rice position, look at where the spike is, slowly rotating towards, and but still gets a kill onto Sage. You see, a rotation comes in towards A and the dash. Rice gets A easily at the smoke. Oh, you don't know what the what uh, was that? What? That was such that a was lucky shot. Oh my god, that is an oh illegal kill. Cyber, that is such an illegal kill. Oh, so he shot coming on Cyber and oh, Sakti, he gets sponsored by the own board now. He comes in for Viper. Now they have to fight through this Viper out. What can they do here? And oh, Sakti oh gets God, one on the steward. 3v3. Sakti is just checking around and he goes in. Oh, oh my no! God, Sakti! You insane Sakti animal! Seven, but Anaki and not, oh my Viper. God! Yo, Sakti with the 3k. Let's go, come on. Nice. You see how he flicked onto the side, onto the, onto the, to the Viper. Insane shots. Insane, insane. Yeah, but Milo, oh my god, man. Like, insane. That, that's just pretty unlucky for Milo, right? Like, Milo didn't check to his right. He was like looking for. Yeah, he totally didn't. He totally didn't. Yeah, and but you would he think that he heard, shot. did he hear that footstep? I, I'm pretty sure when, when uh, Satif was checking, checking outside of showers, he did. He did, I mean, uh, he did take a footstep. 
I mean, Sub D killed, Sub D killed someone left of the ulti. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So, Viper definitely knows that Sub D is in the area, but still not yeah, checking there. Kind of get punished for it, so... Yeah, but now, you know, 5 to 4, uh, right advantage towards the side of Donut. Oh, you see, once again, another dog lead, you know, just getting rid of the trap and you see Oh, 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 Rest is available, but it's too risky to rest for the both scenario and Stewart going off here. Oh, no, a patient goes E7, gets two kills. Will 7 get punished? No, Jaden gets him. 3-2-V-2 situation and Cyber already on the Bladestorm. Oh my god! Bladestorm oh. does not connect and the double shield my judge. god! Wow! What can we even talk about this? Uh, okay. Stuart came in, gave Satif a whole a whole rocket launcher to eat. Coming in, killing with killing with paint shells again. My god, look at this. Yeah, I, I have no idea how the, the sage just go on to the side and just... Oh, and they judge, right? The judge, Yeah, huh? like literally... It's the judge, huh, boys? No one was watching anywhere and the, just walk on site, pull close and just get like two judge kills, right? Mystics making out from the side of Rice, but 6 to 4. Um, Rice there has two more rounds of opportunity to try to bring this to an even game. What will rise to here? Milo. <laughs> Milo knows not to pick that anymore. Like, look at how cautious they are, you know. Sandra picking, you know. Uh, Milo's like kind of itching. Milo's kind of itching. You see him, you see him trying to pick it. You see him yeah, trying to think like, himself. Do I pick this? Do I pick this? Oh, is he? Yeah, Sandra is just wait, 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 will, he, will he get this kill? I'm not too sure. Now it's oh, now, we turn now it's turn to play Minecraft. Okay, walls now, but oh, ooh, look at the anger. Oh no. Just look at Rise. Oh there. no. Sandra, yeah, they're just going to... Sandra, do it. Sandra, do it. Sandra, do it. Oh, he knows. He knows. Is he going to pick out the... Are they going to smoke here? Oh no. LT is being oh. used. Oh, Sandra. Sandra just oh. get away in the nick of time. Blind goes out, but... Oh. He flashed. Yeah. But look at this wall coming from the... I cannot see inside at all. Yeah, everything's like block this also. Yeah, we have a top block. view here from the observer. Really good one by him. But meanwhile, Sage should really get a kill on to Stewart. Oh, the ulti is going to go off. Sandra gets another one. Jade, Jade Dance 5v3 scenario. First one still for Cyber. Cyber goes and switch. He gets killed by Sakti. 1v5 scenario. And line up. Is there any line up here? And there's one line up, but line up. Oh, he just squeezed the corner of me, but Yen, he's getting tech now. Yen disengages and just waits for the kill to go off and yes seven round on the board for donut and that post flung was so messy right mm, that was uh oh couldn't even see a side at all was that even a side were we even still on bind <laughs> i have no idea but of course i mean you see like the extra form being used there um mm. somehow I, I i'm not sure did the extra form really help them implode in the post plant? But it definitely helped them got to the side to plant to make the spike plant. Definitely, but definitely. Still, it's kind of a bit. I don't know. I feel that the extra form wasn't like used to its full advantage there, and yeah, Rice got punished by it so hard by Donut. Sidra coming in with a with a peek on a short. No one's there. Yeah, but guess where is? Uh, Rice now. Rice is just going to hit B once again. But look at that. Three fans are here. Sati and Seven just going in. Space Shell goes out. Boombox goes in and here. Sati gets the first kill to Cyborg. Oh, no, no. 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 Oh, my two. God. Efforts. Now and there goes the know. duelist for all of them. Yeah, and now they know where the remaining players of Rice will be. Look at Sakti position. He's already anticipating three men here. Yeah, oh, spray oh. through and Sakti. Oh, he really got blocked down, but the heal goes in. He's just going to use the eye. The team engage. And look at that. He's just trading fire back and forth. But a positioning from Milo just going to go towards the heal position. And yeah, Naki just going to heal everyone up or heal. Um, mostly just healing Jaden's up to full HP. This engage comes in from the side of Rice, but Milo still on B long. He's there to play spoilers. But look at that three men stacking B. I don't know. This is this looks so difficult for Rice man. 30 seconds left. Rice. Oh, can we talk about that? Oh. 
Oh, oh my I... god. What is oh this? Oh my god, the timing. But Sakti, look at Sakti's oh, position. Okay, okay. Oh, the double rotate back. They sent something that's weird. Oh, the god, the eye is being used here. Smokes are out. That's why they wow. rotate them back. And look at Sakti's position. He's already on side. Now Spike has not gone out yet. Now Spike is just going to go down. And Sakti, he may want to punish this. Will he be able to do it here? Oh, yes, he managed oh to punish it. And Gina's goes down. Yep, 5v2 scenario. Let's go, let's go. Post plant. Okay, slow. Anaki goes out, he gets one. He can trace back. And look at Milo. Oh, no. They just didn't give any oh, opportunity no. to fight back. And there we have it. 8 to 4. First half. Definitely 4 rounds advantage. Two looks like of um, Donut. And you see. You know, it, it looks really close at the start, right? And it looks like yeah. Rice definitely want to bring it. Um, Can, can fight Donut. But yeah, last two dominant half by Donut. Uh, wow, talking now, now, now we're going into switch. Now, what now? My my question here is, how are they going to change it up? How are they going to play this off right now? I think uh, Donut has put put out the fact that they are very good at defending. I really want to see how are they going to are they going to be doing the same thing on attacking? Will they be aggressive, or will they play slow? Yeah, definitely. And of course, um, on the side of Rice, we got to see. What can they do on defense, right? You already see Cyber having this aggressive stance towards this uh, Bihuka area. And he swings out. Info has been given. They know that it's going to be A, but you see okay. the A rush coming from the side of Donut. Oh, oh a nice pull coming oh from oh. JDance. Such a good pull. Just slowing everyone down. Manages to disengage as well, saving his life. So it's going to be a 5v5 retake here. Post plant definitely going on the side of Donut. Let's see what can Rice do here with the retake and pinch has been used up but you know everyone's just say blind goes out as well. Sakti's going in corner. Jaden's get one Sakti kills one, gets a new second, he's not on the side for teammate and oh look at that Ian trying to bail him up man. There we have it. All oh, the kills go towards Rice at the end. 1v3 scenario. And you look at the nice swing by Jaden. 3k coming from him and really really good wow. retake coming from the side of Rice. Very good retake. That was a very very good That was textbook retake. They rushed in, they took control of U-Haul, and they just got the round. Wow. Now what will you do differently? I don't know, I, I mean, what I mean will it, was you do good, in there? it was a good engage by Donut, right? I'll be honest, like five men alive, which can everything. It's just post plant position. I, I think Rice just kind of read that better, so mm. I don't really say like what can be done differently there. I think Donut definitely oh understands how to attack aggressively. It's just Rice holding like Reading the game better at that point, like reading a post run position better. So, yeah. We need a couple of the gunfights, and yeah, there we have it. And now you see um, Donut just going to upgrade some pistols here. Subtief on the Sheriff. And look at Jaden. Jumping and trying to get some info. But Milo already like swinging out, getting some info. And look at Subtief. I, I don't know. This guy's like playing with some like. How does he know? Yeah, like. Some 500 IQ oh, gameplay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. oh, Milo, he needs to stay alive here and yes, he back off casually and oh, look at Sucky, he's still a J Dancer! Oh my god, that's... Oh, no. no party, just... Getting that close, and another pool comes here, look at 7 against Trap, but Sucky gets the kill on the J Dancer finally. Four, and he gets the second to Milo. 5v3 scenario, no heals will be on Sucky, but look at his rotation, he's just going to try to get heals from the Sage player. And this is a gun roll coming from um, Rice. So, really surprising things coming in from the side of Donut. And you look at the classic and oh, the classic right click doesn't connect through and the double kill comes in. Nope, just one for Stewart, one for Cyber. And 2v3 scenario. Anaki, they need, they need to go past here. And yes, he gets the kill. And ooh, Anaki, Cyber doing everything out. And Safi, super low, 50% every time. And look at that. Oh my god, he's low HP. Safi. Cyber! Oh. And that's the wake up call Cyber needs. Yeah, and that, but that was so close. Oh that was so close, that was so close. I mean, Sati was like 20, 20 something HP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I, like, from what I see there, I think based on what they did, I think that was a very good eco. That was a very, very excellent eco. But now coming yeah, yeah. into the game, this round, wait, what are they having again? What, sir? Gun round. Uh. Okay. Gun round for Donut, but <laughs> because of how much they lose on Rise. Yeah, right? That's uh, why I was thinking, wait, we're talking about Gun round, but like, 
This doesn't look like Gunroll to me, dude. Yeah, but of course, the Bladestorm will be coming out on Cyber prematurely. And look at this, they just rush into A side again. No one is there to stop them. And oh, look at Seven's position. If he goes, I think he goes huge, but then Milo, he can't find the case to kill the Seven. Oh, was something with Jaden? Yep, Sapu trades one. 4v4 scenario. Cyber still having Bladestorm. And look at Cyber position. They have to do something here. They cannot stop waiting. And oh, a nice aggressive push by Steel, but he goes down Cyber as well. 2v3 situation. Milo gets one, but gets rid of a Safti with a 3k on the round. Doing it all, and yeah. I mean, it, it was a good start, right? Milo gets the kill on 7, but yeah, everything just collapsed from there on the side of uh, Rice. Alright. Going into round number at 16. Least, at least now we get to see a very close game. Like, I think this is this is still very close in my opinion compared to the games we casted yesterday. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. I think this is like just three rounds at disadvantages, right? Break someone's economy and the three rounds is gone. And look at Jaden once again with the pool. <laughs> just pulling the boom ball back. Um, but yeah, bounce back going out as well. Um, a lot of baited utilities coming out on the side of Donut, you know? They just bait out these utility utilities coming out from the Ashra on the side of Rise, And now we have it. There are no more utilities here besides the Viper Smoke. What will Donut opt to do here? It looks like another A hit will happen, but Rice looks so ready for this. Look at the judge on Jaden. He's already waiting for the push to come in. And oh, the slow walk coming, and yep, there we have it. Oh, my he does Wow. Jaden. Uh, How did Seven survive that? Too far. But the pain shell. Oh, pain shell doesn't connect. 4v4 scenario. And there we have it, a spree. Sandra. Well, this is such a messy retake coming from side of Rice. Can they do anything off? Stewart around the corner, Saktif around the corner, and the bike goes in and he swings, he gets Saktif! He goes for 3! 3k coming for Stewart! All goes down! All the gunfights! We do it with the flicks, dude! That was a wrist breaking flick! Do you see how he just got shot? He be what? What? Yeah, definitely, and oh my god, oh, I mean. Yes, you wait the 3k is so good, but the remaining gunfights all go towards Rice. Wow. Like <laughs> literally Donut just got destroyed there at post plant like Oh my god. Even even if we don't talk about like how you know even this even though the score is kind of we're, we're kinda of like a two game lead, but like wow it's yeah. it's it's been close yeah. dude. Yeah, 100% and I mean on the side of Rice, right, like slowly slowly people are stepping up on the side of Donut and look at that aggressive showstopper coming in but Seven gets the first blood onto Cyber 5v4 scenario Pay shots goes out and the bounce comes in aggressively and Donut, that's B side control for you Heels comes in on the side of um, Viewer as well No man's loss here but look at that Pay shots exchange Boom board as well. They clear out the hall. Retake will be coming on the side of Rice. What is going on? Ian gets the first kill I on the Stewards. Exactly Milo right. trades back, but look at the out coming. And there we have it. Jaden gets one. Sandra and Ian both keeping in return. 1v3 and Rice! Wow. <laughs> Jaden! Somehow, classic still oh. gets the kill on Ian. Well, at least that broke the economy. At least that broke some some economy, I guess. With that classic right click, like I've died to classic right clicks way too many times. Yeah, but Ian, I I think yeah, I think you know he he saved his neuro tab like for a long time, right? And till that uh -huh. round, he was like, yeah, it's time to use it. And he use it, he gets all the info and donut just clean house from there. Good, I I would say rice, you know. They, they have to start thinking how to hold this B side better, you know, giving you horse I think is okay, but I mean, um, but you know, look at, look at that, you know, what, look at what Donut is doing, yeah, Donut is just going to tr punish this again, they're just going to take controls of Huka here, no one's going to do that, but Anaki, a good dog, yeah, information good comes good. in, <laughs> good dog, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, it's all the way, but a really, really good, like, uh, triple laser coming from the side of, um, Rice, you know. They get the info, they know, they know that Donut is here, so, yeah, and, but no rotations comes in, and this double, what, what's going on? Oh, oh, smoke oh, right, 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 Cyber! And Anaki gets one! Shaktish trades, one in return, 4v3 scenario, and... Any more gunfight going in the wheel? Anyone it's here? It's still rotating. It's still rotating. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah, the wall will be used by the side of Donut and Res as well. And we'll be going for the beat. Cyber. Oh, Cyber did not get the kill. Yeah, but Milo gets the kill on the stage player. Now 4v3 ah. scenario. No healers available. Whatever Not damage him. is whatever. What he is that Cyber? Jaden! That whiff though! Spawn. That whiff! Yeah, but, but cyber i think cyber like crouch crouch yeah, but, 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 dude. <laughs> yeah sub, sub team definitely 100 percent was aiming the head like it was quite obvious and uh while standing up so yeah i, I would say cyber really smart pick coming from him. you know that sakti always like to aim at this hit position so you just go for the crouch pick but of course sakti uh that we've insane 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 hey, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't i'll talk to him about that with later i'll talk to him about that with later <laughs> But Sakti, uh, hundred percent, like he. I mean, despite, I mean, other than that, weave, you know, Sakti has been doing really well. He has been, he has, he has been. I mean, it's Sakti. He does well. He does well. Oh wait, what's this? So a there's a for tactic, No, there's a technical pause. I believe is it technical? Oh, oh, a pause. I got five it's minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a technical pause. We have no idea who like. So someone definitely has some issue with their. Someone has uh, some issue with their PC or okay, something. So, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So we got a five minutes pause coming in the game, and you see the players are just like, I, a cyber is just like trying to keep active here, you know, trying to keep his reaction, reflex, everything active, just jumping about. And oh, there we have it. Oh wait, ah, that's it. All right. Uh. Really, so. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna ask you, <clears throat> Carlos, what is your predictions? I don't know. I I think this is still a really close game. Um, it's still I, a very I, close game. Yeah, I still feel that. Rice have what it takes, but oh wait, it's an eight, it's an eight, it's cute. Oh my god, they're in short. One enemy. What? Dude, what? Dude, what? What's going on? And Jaden. What? Oh my god. Wait. Wait. Huh? Stuart just. Stuart just got four K. Oh. Wait. What? What? Wait. He get four K with the paint shells. Did no, you just see got four K. It, no, 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 it's not a paint shell four K. It was a paint shell following to a four K. What was that? Because the, the, the logo wow. was marked. Wow, wow, the logo wow, that wow, was wow, marked wow, with wow, the kills wow. were all pain shell kills. So I, I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what was what? that. What? What? No, it's okay. Um, But yeah, what? Oh my god. Donut tried to pull a fast one and rise That was, a, that was an actually dead. very fast one. We didn't yeah, even I get it. We have it again. What? Oh my god. Lucky. What's going on after the tactical pause, man? Oh my god, 2k? 5v3. And Dana's gonna punish okay, this as okay. well. 2v5, 7, and... Who's the other player? 2v5 scenario, and you see the boss back on your 7. 7 goes aggressive, but doesn't check the corner. Milo doesn't see Sandra, 1v5. Sandra got this. It's okay, Sandra has a smoke. Got this! Easy! Sandra has a smoke. That's all How matters. to win Valorant game. Five headshots, you win! Smoke in front of yourself and just spray through the smoke. You ask that all line up. Got this, he got okay. this, he got this. Steward. Uh, just looking away. Looking back and forth. Sandra, he's gonna pick up. Oh, okay. the there kill. we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, opening kill. Here comes, here comes everybody. Here comes all the hunters. 30 seconds left. I mean, so smart. Look at this. Sandra is not going to do as much as possible. And yeah, he did it. Oh, yes, Cyber also. Go, go. That was good. 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 And Naki gets the final kill. And there we have it. 10 no. to 10. Just like that. After a tactical boss, we are back, Cinder. Wow. And it's 10 10. Wow. Yeah. What? Hey. <laughs>
Well, talking about predictions, right? <laughs> no, no, no. My heart's out to Satif. He's still my boy. He got this. It, I, oh, I'm, okay, okay, okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. As long as we see Cypher, we see Cyber and Satif going against each other, it's gonna be fun. Yep, definitely. Um, but you hear the Viper ulti comes through. Um, you know, going. It, it, it'll be angle. yeah. Viper Pit is just going to be used on me, so yeah. Cyber with the operator. Oh! He gets the kill to Satif. Oh! Get Rex, son. <laughs> oh no, Satif. 5v4, such early advantage for the side of Rice. But we see what Donut can do. They always somehow manage to bring back the round despite losing the mere advantage. So this is still not all over. Look at Donut. They are just... I, I have no idea what Donut is doing actually, you know. Like, they are just slowly rotating back towards B. But they are scared of this aggression. Look at how aware they are. They are like... Um, Rice has been really aggressive these two rounds, so we, we have to check everything and there, there they go. But checking all corners definitely burns away time and look at that. 30 seconds. What can Donut do here? 30 seconds left. Oh, Seven managed to look away. And there we have it. Pain Shells goes up. 30 HP left. Smoke goes down. But oh, the boom bot. Okay, yes, kill the boom bot. And oh, Wall Spray comes in from the side of Stewart. No, he doesn't even get the plant down. There's no time. 30 seconds. What can Ian do? Ian goes down to J Dan as well. 11 round on the board for Rice. Rice is actually stepping huge. Oh. Cinder is like stone. <laughs> I, I really have no idea how we're gonna do this anymore. I, I, I bet all my rocks on, on Satif. I will have nothing but, but 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 prayers and hopes for him. He will do this. Do you, do you bet your he coin as well? The, the $1 coin? Cause we, we hey, if I bet need... the $1 coin later, don't need the coin flip really. I really yeah, need to flip why, porn already. Yeah, that's why I got, I was, I'm asking you know, out of concern. Because we need that coin to do a flip, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> I was right, looking at the so... execute right now. Let's see if Anarchy gets the... Is he gonna... Oh! Oh, it's almost! So close! Uh, flying so close! Oh, he gets good. He's going to go here. Fast execute going to come in. But you see, he was already getting one kill on Ian. Seven gets one in return on Cyber and Pain Shells. And the showstopper goes out against Active once again. And oh, another Pain Shell goes out but doesn't connect onto anyone. 3v3 post plan. But look at the post plan for Donut. They're all trapped on side. And look at the Viper. Viper goes out. Push the stage away. Oh, they try to kill here but it doesn't go in the way seven gets one still gets a 3k trader in return oh my god 2v2 scenario milo goes in first swinging her milo goes down but he still will still get one he nearly gets the goes down oh my god that's such a close game that was and so close clutch that clutch from sage dude that was yes. wow textbook and Easy the clutch. resurrection span for the economy but easy clutch, easy clutch. We, now without the resurrection, you know, I, I I think Rice will be happy there. Because resurrection is used towards the end. Have well. we had such a close game? This is so close. Are we going oh, dude, are we expecting an overtime? I I, I don't know. I do think we so, do we man. get OT? Yeah, I I think we may, we may. We we definitely may get an OT. It's so back and forth, right? But you see Rice again. Uh Cyber with the operator. He tries to go for the first kill, but he doesn't connect his shots. So 5v5 still, but look at Donut. Donut is just playing this A position once again, and Dog goes out. Seven shows himself spraying down the kill coming from Sky. Seven thinking about using a pain shell, but doesn't commit to it. 5v5 still. One minute, actually more than a minute has been down from the clock already, and they are going yeah, into think, their final I think one just, minute. It's just waiting for that time to just do the five man rush into site. Yeah. Double satchel in. Yeah, but look at Cyber. Ooh, Cyber, he spots one more and he still stays with the operator. And look at what Donut is doing. They are just going to rotate last minute and what will Rice do? Oh no, Rice, it looks like. But they really push out A long. Steward, but they really push out B long, sorry. Oh, Steward gets the info. Rotation will be going back towards the B side. They know that they don't have time. 40 seconds left for the bot. Oh, oh, Donut. You are in trouble here. Pinshell is going to be used to slow down the push here. And look at where Simon, the operator, Boomba is going to go as well. And oh, the rush comes in in the end, but the spray down goes down by Steward. Steward just tries to back off his head, but something pushes through the corner. Oh no. Gets the first kill. Oh 
my god, Naki gets one return. Ia trades back and forth. Cyber gets one Cyber? with the Blade Stone. Cyber does not connect the remaining Blade Stones. He goes down 7. 2v3 scenario. Post plant for the side of Donut. And Saki already pretty and waiting. Jdance. And Milo. Milo goes down to Jdance. And there we have it. Displacement, you'll see nowhere. Jdance is. Jdance is going to lock him down. And there we have it. There we gets go. a kill on the Jdance. 12 rounds. Map point. Match wow. point for the side of Donut. Wow. Match point. That was a. Uh, wow. We're match point right now. Hold, wow, this game. Will we, will, come on, dude. Will they do it? Is this, an, is this the OT that we're expecting? We've been looking for an OT since yesterday, dude. I mean, we are we, we found it, right? On the first game of the day. <laughs> we nearly found it right on the first game of the day. Nearly, <laughs> nearly. That was nearly. This was way closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, we have it. Sakti, uh, once Looking again, for again, Oh, toilet. okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Naki. And returns back into A shore. What? They know, they know. If they are, look at that. They even use a blind to check it. They 100% know that it's going to A, B, A. But look at where Kiwa is rotating. And look at where Cyber wants to rotate to. Oh my god, look at it. It <laughs> may be an empty B side though. For the side of Rice. Oh no, is Cyber. Do we get it? Was Cyber C? Look at the last B rotate coming from the side on oh, rice. You look I, don't at want, I don't want to be cyber right now. I do not want to be cyber Prospect right now. Come see five men go realize they realize that B side is empty. Will they want to shoot the screen? Uh, elbow area. No, it looks like they're they are just happy holding the side. You know, wall off uh, elbow and just hold the side. 5v5 we take for the side of rice. Can they do it here? Sakti. Push anger and look at this. Oh. The sage goes down. They use the blind on Jaden. Last one, three v one. Jaden, gets one. Jaden, hold. Will Jaden hold this? Three bullets, Jaden. Come on. He got he this. He got this. He has all utilities. He... Time is okay, running not really, but time is running out for him. Oh, gets okay. One. Five HP and a dream. Oh, oh my God. So close from Jaden, but GG is out. She, she. Eleven. So not definitely win there and Gee, oh gee. But, but we we saw right what Rice wants to do right extra for we cut off, saw it. yeah cut off the rotation and and do it right but they just can't gee, come. Gee la, yeah, wait. Look at the scoreboard twenty nine kills from Satif. Satif. eight Satif. first bloods. Satif needs to calm down, bro. No, but the thing is, with Saktis performing so hard and Ian performing so hard, it's still a close game, 13-11, because look at Whoa. Stewart, Jaden. You, you know what's the best part about this? The fact that they're going at the, 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 the day one, we're going to actually see a Cox Long versus Cox Long. We're going to hey, see Saktis I mean, versus seen... f Dog, bro! We haven't seen the other games yet, right? We haven't seen the next game yet, so we have no idea. But still, I mean, Saktis 29 kills. It's insane! Yeah, he is and, insane. And let's be honest, like, look at the first blood count total, right? Eight first blood on him. I mean, he did his job. He did his job. He did his job. He did his job. And he went on in. The, on the side of Rice, without Cyber, you know, uh, stepping up huge, they still managed to bring it close. So I, I cannot imagine if Cyber step up, it's going to be another, like, Onigiri story, right? That we have yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where yeah, Alpha yeah, Musa yes, exactly, show up. Exactly. And then, oh yeah, oh my god, man. That's, <laughs> I tell you, that game is so lit, man. Like, I, now I still can't wow. even, can, can we, um, I don't need the production allow us to do this, but I want to see what? the timeline where um, Stewart actually get like a 4K with a paint shell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, can, can, can we take a look at that timeline? I think that can, was like second half. After I think the that was round, round 18. What was round was that? I think 19. 18 or 19, something like that. I know, no, it was a Oh, this one, this one, there we go, there we go, this oh, one. Oh, yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah, three pin shell kills. Yeah, yeah, that was three. Yeah, okay, so opening a first block, getting two, getting three pin shell kills. So that, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's, oh, that, that definitely, like, bring down the momentum, right, to, like, equalize the map. So, really, really but, good. Exactly, exactly. That was a very nice try. That was a very close game. Very close game. But uh, we're moving on to the brackets to see the Knicks. What do we have yeah. Knicks for the... So, um... The Knicks game will be... Um... Oh, we're looking at Bingsu and... Bingsu and Vanilla. Bingsu and Vanilla. 
Yeah, Bingsu versus Vanilla. Vanilla. Yes, that's the next game wow, that wow, we wow, have. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot and... wait. I cannot wait to see our our favorite dog, F Dog, mess this up. But yeah, what once again, congratulations to Donut, right? I mean, honestly, if I'm Saktiv, yes, yeah. they, they won, but they won. if I'm him, I will be I was still a bit hard on myself because like that that was close, you know. It, it wasn't like a one sided yeah, affair. It was where not he was blowing off. I mean his kills was definitely one sided, right? Twenty nine kills. Definitely, was definitely, definitely. Reach, but other than that, the, the, the rest of the other the team on the other side, like Rice, you know, you, you have big names that are stepping up, like Stewart, mm. Jadens. And yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like this is such still close and for Rice, kudos to them, you know. Yeah, kudos to them. But still, I think um they they GG, could have done better. GG, that was that was that was but that was yeah. a very fantastic display of skill. Yeah. I think they did very close. It was a very close game. It was a very nice fight. Yeah. Anyway, so, we'll uh, be cutting in for a break. Yeah, we'll be going on a short break after that game, and we'll be back in four minutes time. Fine. Yeah, yep. at seven fifty-five p.m. So, yep. See you guys then, and stay tuned. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. the desktop audio is still on, bro.
And welcome back everyone, you know, welcome back again, it's me, Gunless 2K, and Cinder Faith. Um, yeah, he's still preparing we himself are... with the phone. Back! <laughs> I thought you want to do... We got team leaders in really. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Due to the last game that got that, that really like go all the way to the distance, so we, we are definitely on schedule here a bit, so yeah. So yeah, uh, we have the team leader here from uh, Bingsu, which is F God, and Vanilla, uh, which is Kaiman. So Good hey, morning, brother taika man. Taika hoa, taika hoa. Hey, taika hoa. How, 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 how is everybody? Uh? <laughs> What's yeah, right. that night? Yo, yo. Ka Kaiman, uh, would you like to admit? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, first words to each other first before we go into coin toss. Make it a quick one, guys. Nothing, man. Saturday night, just play, enjoy, take a beer, yeah, chew. Enjoy, enjoy. You know, it's Saturday night, man. Hey, stay home, guys. Stay Cinder, home. Like that camera, Cinder. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. You need to understand. Alex doesn't BM in chat. Doesn't BM like that one. He BMs in uh, game. Uh, this is what <laughs> Alex. This is bro. this is the Alex yeah, yeah. I know. Bro, this Alex. is family friendly, bro. If you if you want me to BM right now, I will probably the <laughs> channel to be down in like two minutes. Eh. <laughs> Alex, Cox Long, Satif won last round already. Will you yep. bring Cox Long up or not? Will you win this game or not? That's how I make the team become thick. Team Cox longer. <laughs> Okay. Hi man, what do you what do you rebuttal from that, bro? I don't know, just play. We <laughs> okay, yeah. we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick coin toss. Uh, uh how do you guys wanna decide the coin toss? How do you want it? Who wants dude, it? Who wants I'll, it? I'll, I'll take hits any time of the day, dude. You know me, man. Okay, I'll take Sweet time. Yeah. Alright, come on, let's go. And we have Tails. Hey wait, this is what? Hits, sorry, hits. Hit so uh <laughs> You're wearing specs, bro. So, Bingsu will have priority. Hits. Yep. You got the Malayan up. Okay, lah. So, so Bingsu priority, you will choose sight. The map will be Icebox, oh, of course. Icebox, ah. Yeah. Ice box, ah. So, we... Ice so, so, you want uh, attack or defend? You want can, attack or defend? Can we all go spectator, no? Then, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we, take defend, we go defend. You go defend, bro. Okay, okay guys. Bye. Let's can't go. attack. You only can defend. <laughs> okay, you can. So Bingsu will be going on defenders and um Vanilla will be playing on the attacker side. Alright. Um yeah, I mean um yeah, I got one I got one question there for for F -God, actually. What? Yeah bro. So today will we see a uh, knife park? <laughs> can I leave the channel already? So any anyway, last good luck to the team captains, good luck for your games, you guys are uh, do me proud boys, do me proud. Okay. Yeah, let's we'll go, let's go. Let's, let's get it. Game, boys. Yep. Good luck. Good luck, have fun. Stay home, guys. Stay home. <laughs> right. Uh, F, F God. Alex the King, by the way. It, it was, was a tricky one because um the, the game has to start at like nine uh eight p.m. sharp. So ah, okay, 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 okay. So both, both captains are like preparing now. All right. Let's let's finally we have some time. All right, all right, all right. Can we can we can we can we can can you tell me based on screams what what are, what are we expecting? What are we uh, expecting here? What are we expecting here? Um, Bingsu, uh, F God, you know, miss having knife bark along the way, and then uh, knife bark. bark. <laughs> yeah, knife bark along the way. But of course, on the side of Vanilla, he you won't know, play Jet. He won't play Jet. Knowing that I'm watching, he won't play Jet. Yeah. So, <laughs> but on the side, he will of, not play Jet. On the side of Vanilla, we we have people like Toys Kaiman, um, who are really really outstanding uh -huh. players, and then of course you know Jubilee. Mm. Yeah, like, so these people on the side of Vanilla um, can step out to clutch. But Vanilla today, however, they have a stand in uh, oh. from yeah, which is uh Squato. I, I'm not sure who is he standing in, but, but I know the guy that he stand in for oh he's standing for noodles and okay, because okay, noodles okay. have to do like vaccination, right? Which, which is ah, which is good, right? right? Which is good, that's a good thing, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Yeah, he's doing his his um you know helping himself out. So yeah, so Squato will be stepping in on behalf for noodles. Which, in in this case, right, we will give favor to Bingsu, right? Mm -hmm. Because synergy wise, definitely Bingsu has more synergy. Uh, I'm not sure how how long did uh Vanilla play with Squato because I mean it, they know that they will be replacing the Squato like at the start of the tournament, so they have like one hour before and to probably like do ah. a short training with him. But yeah, um, with all that. Done and dusted. Um, we can go for predictions while um we can take a look at what ah yes the, yeah what agents will be selected here. So Cinder? let's see a crowd favorite. Bingsu, Bingsu, we're coming on seventy nine percent from the crowd favorite. Yeah, Twenty nine one so, percent on vanilla. Wow. 
Okay, okay. Okay, I see you, chat. I see you. Yep, we got... Hey, wait, 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 still loading. Okay, well, we have our uh, commentator's view loading. Let's... Uh, I think can go for quick reset again. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. We're in nice box. Look at the picks. Yeah, audio is good. Yep. All right, so, yep. I've got hovering over the Astra instead. <laughs> Something no, different. No, no, no way he plays Astra. No way he plays Astra. Yeah, a lot of teasing coming up from both sides. But I see Dexon already locking in the Omen. So, yeah, we have Omen on Icebox. And we know how strong Omen is on Icebox. So, yeah, but... Cinder, who do you think will take this? I, I think you'll go with, like, Bing Su, right? Because, you know, I've got... I mean, the thing is that, like, you know, Bing Su... You know, most of them are my friends. You know, I know two of them in, in Bing Su. I think uh, no way they will lose this, and he actually plays Jet. But you know what? Fuck! Don't don't care about Big Su lah. Fuck! Don't don't find them nice lah. I go. I will go with Vanilla. I will go. What is oh going on in chat God. again? Sorry. Yeah, people are like making their own. Yeah. <laughs> if Bing Su lose our stream, me sleeping live later. Okay. Okay. Ken, 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 we'll be tuning into that live later. Don't worry. Yeah, but uh, of course, game oh. is about to start. We have four seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, but um, you hear our predictions, my predictions, definitely. I think I'm going with Bing Su this time around because of the replacement coming from Vanilla. I, Whatever I, just... I joke, I still see, I still see Bing Su winning this. They got this. Yeah, and of course, you see the different uh, agents that's being selected right here. Um, oh, F got actually going Actually playing jet. jet! Actually yep. playing Jet! And the only difference, I think, is the Reyna and the um, race that's being swapped. I know, actually, Sova as well. Sova is coming up from one side and KJ is on the other side. Oh. So, I don't know, which lab do you like more here, Cinder? Hey, this one... As I see it, I think Sova is a very good pick. But taking Sova over... Over some like over a killjoy, I think that's a. Mm. They have to make the bets right. They have to make the bets right about which bomb site they're going to. So I think Moist so far, if recon doesn't find anybody, I think it's bad. Yeah. yeah oh my god, Kaiman, <laughs> ready, porting out. Oh. Uh, oh, oh my oh. god, Kaiman, F god, what you doing? He just win a ghost with a classic. Easy, what? easy. Imagine him! Imagine him with a ghost! My god. Easy. Now he's, now he's with a ghost. <laughs> now, he is, now he has a ghost! Yep. Alright. But chill is here. Every, everybody's running into A. Ice oh. wall goes out. Nice Easy wall. plan. Easy plan. <clears throat> right, look at Daxter. Look at Kaiman already holding this wall position. Oh my god, this has... They play Minecraft! They yeah. play Minecraft! Yeah. Break the ice. Oh, oh no! What? Oh, What's going on? What's Scott going on? get one. What? She gets a trade. Ari goes for another one. Now she can she goes plan like this, like that. But Dexon gets one. She kills. Oh, such a back and forth trade coming in. And now it's a 1v2 scenario for Che. Jubilee pushing forward. Che swinging around the corner. You get two steps. You need to catch out Dexon. Dexon goes down. 1v1. Jubilee 1v1. 1v1. They got this. They got this. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no! Off. Oh Jubilee. no! Jubilee going huge on the wow. side. Wow! the side of Vanilla. <clears throat> I mean, it's still close, right? It was still, it was still a very close thing. It was still a very, very close game. I think. Despite it was having a very close like fight. man advantage on the side. I think, I think one of the best things that Vanilla did was they, they took, they took uh. Their, their jet out of the way. Like the moment you remove one of their dollars, I think the 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 game pace kind of changes a lot. Uh, but I still end up in a one v one, which is mm. surprising despite the man advantage. And you see, once again, F got taking this very aggressive position. And oh no, did he made he does not spot a single one. But timing. Oh, but if he, heard it, but he heard right. it. He heard it. He heard it. He heard it. Oh. Okay. 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 F got taking revenge on Kaiman. Yep. You know me, uh, 17 HP. 17 <laughs> HP and a dream, boys. What's he going to do? Oh, F-God. 
5v3 scenario for the side of um Bingsu. So Bingsu definitely has two man advantage two man advantage. And you see the heal going up from the side of Sage. Now, it's just going to be a really slow push coming up from Vanilla despite the weapons advantage. And look at FCOT's position. He's going to know yeah, F got definitely oh, yeah, yeah. Look at F got here. He will be the key man here if he if they shut down this round, he'll be the key man. It's 3v5, it's quite more. Yeah, look at it? Oh my oh, god! god. He wow. goes for two! Spike and he gets a 3k a. that round. And... Easy 3k, oh, Jubilee. Jubilee. Oh, Jubilee. You're going to clutch. Is he going to clutch this again? Jubilee Is he going to clutch this again? This is going to be an ace clutch coming from him. Jubilee needs to be proactive here. And he goes okay, for that double swing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that was... Wow. He, he held in, he held in, the 3v1, he held in. Yeah, and um, I I don't know, I mean, that definitely 100% was around that um, Vanilla needs to win, but Bingsu just managed to, you know, um, steal it under their belt, so yeah. And F got no more aggressive position, are we seeing here from him. He, he likes to play this very, very aggressive uh, style of Valorant, right? Like defense, you just push up for more map control and stuff like that. But you have it, some upgraded pistols on the side of uh, Vanilla. And Vanilla, look at, look at them. They are just crowding around this B-Long area. Just slowly pushing up. And there's only one guy there so far. And look at that. Oh, Kaima versus f God again. Oh, f God. Abrupt. It's always these two, uh, it's always these two uh, going against each other. Yeah, f got just... He oh, just they're all forming into B, they're rushing into B right now. Yeah, definitely, and look at Shinomiya. Shinomiya just breaks the ball here. Oh, Moonbok goes out. Jubilee would spot this, and Pain Shells all going behind. Oh no! Oh. Too wide of an angle from the Pain Shells. That grenade just landed somewhere else, bro. Yeah, man, look at where um Vanilla is at now. They are like kind of trapped here. And look at the full rotation, but look at F God's position. If they were to rotate back, F God would definitely be the point man here. He's definitely smoke holding goes out. Yeah, holding smoke goes out. And look at them. They are just trying to see if they can get oh, any picks back and forth. They might not be talking. Yeah. And the dash comes oh, in from their jet player. Right clicks. Brings out Shinomiya, Wu gets the trade, Kaiman gets I'll one jump. onto Wu, 4v3 scenario, and look at f ratio, he's just going to rotate now, he's too far away from the team. He's too um, far, he's too far. But Chill is still going to fight back on this, and f is here to show up, will he be able to stop the spike planter? 1v3 scenario. Come on, f 300 FPS, let's go! Wow, they are low, okay, oh my okay. god, they low up! Oh, 1v1, 1v1, one 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 He's just going to no hold time, this, there's no time. No time, no time, oh, he, uh, no down. time, no time, no time, no time. Oh, Jubilee just for warming and all the Oh, oh my god! What? With the classic! What? F God! Wow! I don't think this is the LX system that I know is playing, ah. Huh? Oh yeah! 1v2 scenario, but of course, hell advantage for the cell F God and spike advantage as well. They managed to drop the spike, so. Yeah, but for a. Uh, for a uh, rather almost no buy round, like I think there's only like two upgraded pistols. Mm. They actually do really, really well. Very <laughs> well. That was very good. I think, I think the fact that they stopped the plant and uh, stopped against the push with Alex, with F God being so far away from sight and still being able to win the round. Wow. Yeah. Amazing display of skill. Oh my god. That, that headshot was too, too clean. Too clean. Too clean. Yeah. F God's advancing, advanced position definitely is um, giving a hard time to Vanilla to do this. And uh, look at that. You hear. The um, blade coming out from the side of the Nila. Oh, she knew again. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, so that's my advantage. Shinomiya tries to go for more. Dexter nice. punishes him. Nice one, Dexter. Nice one. Nice. Very, but very good follow up shot. Still a man advantage for the side of Bing. They're all trapped. They're all trapped here. Yeah, Vanilla. They are all trapped and belong. Oh, going out with the rest. Oh, this is where your Sova has to come huge. You know, get some shock up, get some kill. But oh, rifle is being picked up here. And look at that spot position. Okay. He's just going to do this cut the open. And finally, a shock hey, dart goes in. Stop that. And the jet player left. goes down. 3v4 situation. Oh and no. Can, oh my god, Ari! Oh, no. To the smoke. Oh my god. 
Now, 4v2 scenario, F got they are going to run back here. Oh, and F wait, here wait, ready wait, 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 and Dexter 1v4 gets trapped, Wufu brings him down, and here we have. My god, that was. Um, wow. Wow. Is Big Sue actually gonna win this? I, I think they, I think they, they may, but the, the thing is. It's still too early to call. It's still too early to call. It's definitely too early, but you look at. Too early to call. You look at what, um, I mean, I, I hate to keep bringing him up, but you look at what f -God has done, you know, like his advanced position definitely is giving some problem towards Vanilla. And they, they have to think about how to clear him out, like every corner, even on the outside of the map, can be his. Look at this. Oh my god, Kaiman, Kaiman goes down, and he, Blade goes oh, out, but there goes we go, down. there we go. And they finally, finally bring him down. Being punished for being, for, for being so aggressive. Yeah, definitely. And Mio Shinoya as well goes down. 4v3 advantage. Woof Woof is still here to play. And oh, he goes down. Oh, Jubilee goes down. Nice. To nice. He wrote. Okay. Okay. Just go back off to the hill. Alive. Butthole. What will they do now? Quarter two. Oh, they Next have woman out. Yeah, but next turn. Uh, I mean, it just. Oh, Woof just got up. Yeah, oh, my God. That double kill, oh my! Wow, that, that, that changes things. That changes things so fast. Yeah, Arif though, one v three, they are going towards B, and Arif is just. I don't know how you fight this man. Their jet, you know, attacking sided. Oh, wow. he just quietly gets three k just like that, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. And he, Arif here's up. Draft. What can you pick here? I'm sure they do not give anything here. Arif, he's just looking for this. Honestly, you know, it's just to get a cheeky one kill, two kill. To just make it even. Yeah. If he can kill the operator player, that would be huge. But he could take oh, no, 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 oh, no. Dexter just going to remove him off the yeah, was a That was a very nice try. That was a very nice try, I think. Yeah, but that operator paying huge dividends. 3k very. healing them up. Whoa. Because before the op kill, right, it was like a 3v3, mm. right? And yep. op comes yep. in to find the two kills. Wow. Man, this operator player is going huge for the side of um, oh. van vanilla. Oh, F-God's coming with a bottle. He's saying yeah. if that, that jet can op, so can he. And he is opping. Yeah, and, I, and I believe the operator player, the, the jet is toys. It's actually toys. He changed his Oh, name. is it? Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Oh! And oh wow. my god, toys! Excellent, excellent pick. Wow, wow. Toys going huge once again, and first blood goes to Vanilla, but nice to come both, getting every info here, they here. know how to play this, but look at f -God. he's not playing A, he's just playing this B long position, hoping they rotate towards him, and will they rotate to this? Oh, it looks like he's out, and then, oh, you oh. no, Toys. You almost got him, you almost got him. But Toys wasn't punished really hard, 80 HP, and look at f -God. Whoa, whoa, f -God, f -God is pushing out? Look at F -God He pressure. might he He's... might actually get a lot of Is he gonna get this? Is he gonna swing? I mean. He's holding. He's holding. He swings this. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he spots all four! He, he spots all four, they know they are here. But look at chill position. Oh he gets oh he gets boys! Rebuttal answered from F -God. Toys goes down. I'm pushing in dude. Look, dude. Look, look at this. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, Sova just trade, got punished. Continue. We got traded, nice. Three of them are in. I've got yeah. pushing out. Kaiman is still alive, Lockdown is being used for the side of Vanilla. And look at that, they push behind the Lockdown and... The plan will definitely go down here quite nicely on the side of um, Vanilla. And there we have it, look at Dexton, oh my wow. god, going huge, using the Lockdown. Yes, Kaiman. Easy, 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 easy. Kaiman That's comes in, that yeah, is, wow, 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 wow. That's yeah. such a smart play, but they don't manage to bring any operator to the next round. But still, you see a buy operator coming up from yep. the side of toys. But Dexton, so good, man. Use the lockdown, knowing that mm -hmm. they can't push forward and play such a critical position. Oof. I think uh, this is turning to be a, a cl another close game. It's another blood buff again. Oh, F-God's going for aggressive push again. 
Yeah, but Echo has a sheriff here. If this goes unchecked, oh, that oh. the headshot nearly connects. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> F got. They're trying everything he can to bring a man advantage for his team here. But look at. I mean, no, look at Vanilla. Look at where Toy's playing. He's got nothing to do with this. And they are, Dois is just going to try to get advanced position to be. And you hear the, the Blade Storm is going to come out from the side of Toys. Oh, will he know that there is a player here with the Judge Shinomiya? Oh my god, the Judge. Oh my god, he's just going to miss each other. They know that flame is coming. Look at how prepped they are. Look at all of them looking around. Oh my god, Shinomiya. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh! But he's the guest one, she don't mean oh. oh! Okay, 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 wow. Holding there with the judge, my god. That was... Yeah, but that wasn't a worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario no, was no, he no, died no. not even getting a single kill, so 4v4 yes. oh, scenario, wow. but no, operator no, being given and Echo yeah, gets yeah, one more yeah. kill, gets two kills! For oh, himself, and almost a third! Kaiman shuts him down. 3v2 scenario, pain shells go over. Kaiman. 30 seconds left. The draw. Oh! Kaiman, too clean! Smart play from Kaiman. A. Now 2v1, Dexter. Oh, Hunter 3 goes out. But I can. Oh. No, oh, he dodges all three. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. Yeah, but no time. Ten left, seconds and left. Dexter is just. Going He's to... just gonna save. He's just gonna save this. Yep. Ahead. And I believe the resurrection was used there as well, uh, on the side of Sage. So. Yeah, that's why Dexter is like, I want nothing to do with this, I'm just going to back off. But yeah, Shinomiya, they, they just pass each other and... Uh, I don't know, like Che? Is he going to op? Is Che going to op? Or passing into f -Cot? Uh, It looks like they are talking about it and yes, f -Cot indeed oh, will be getting the operator here. Oh, but and boy is coming in with another op! Man, the game of Jets, boys. The game of Jets. Yeah, and they are going to fight Geelong. This is definitely... Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is the battle of... Who is the better jet? Who is the better offer? Let's see this. Let's see this go down. Yeah, because I want to take oh! to kill. What? And there we have it. Blade Storm in they used to call me out. And look at... He knows Shibli is here. He knows, he knows, he knows. Oh, trying to oh okay, okay. Shadows traveling. Okay, Kaiman. He's just gonna come in. Hear the bot, hear the drone going to come through, and there you have it. He shot the drone, but info has been coming. And look at F he's just going to rush all the way behind them. And that was actually going to come in and show stop for Kazuya Shinomiya. He gets one move, he gets one more one, 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 Yeah, I, I, I will say, like, both sides are not scared to bring aggression, right? Like, especially on the side of, like, uh, Bingsu, right? They're on the yeah. defense, but they just keep going aggressively, you know? They don't even let, like, I think uh, they forgot. I think they forgot they're on defense. Yeah, they don't even I let, think like, they I think they forgot, up, they forgot, they forgot, they forgot, they forgot, they forgot. Hey, here you see, look at the bike on your banana. A really bad one, and they kind of, like, force up some SMGs and the Sheriff. Look at Kaiman. Trying to open up here and F got still with the operator looking around but chill, Mino chill, open one kill, who gets the second, gets the first, gets okay, the first. Okay, okay. Toys gets one in return and answer finally 2v4, 2v4 situation and Toys, what more can he find here? Look at Dexter man, they, they are just trying to get, they are just trying to do damage here and I'm not sure how do they want to play this but oh Shin Shinomiya with the fact and look at Dexter, they're already sensing something. What? It's going to happen here. It's going to be a game of timing here. Who can catch who first? The trap. The trap. If they push in, it's a it's a two v three. Okay. F never mind. A. Never mind. F got removes the rifle player. Now, Dexton one v four. What more damage can you do here? Can you kill F got? Uh, woof. Ah. Managed to get a kill, but 4 it, HP. Oh my god, they're so close on the It's okay, off. it's okay. It's still eco. It's still eco. They got this, they got this, they got and... this. I think I think Vanilla were playing on eco. Right now they're still they're still a little bit a little bit unable. But yeah, Toy is and... forcing out their op. I think uh Operator hmm. half armor. I, I guess they I think on the side of like vanilla they they are mm -hmm. like 
Yep. The operator is definitely the answer here, and so they, yeah. they definitely bring it out here, but they have to win the fight against F-Cot. Will he be able to do that? That's the question. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Look are at they F-Cot's position. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, oh no, f -Cot. And he gets reshot. Oh, my God. Look, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Spawn. What, what, a yeah, what a battle of jet. What a battle of jet. pushing mid. We, they are really aggressing on top of f -Cot. And look at that, but here we have it, the punish oh, comes through. Ops gonna pay off! But 5 HP! Yeah, but Chill, he gets one more. Oh! And he goes oh. down, Chill with the 3k. Rage who the smoke! Dexter wants to play. Oh, he does not! Chill with the 4k, really, really beautiful route. They are just wow. going to save the operator here. And... Yeah, they, despite losing F... Oh, no, they didn't bring the Operator... Did they the not? Oh, but... but they have money! They have yeah, money! Yeah, but Bingsu has all the money in the pause, world. Pause, 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 pause. looking for a pause now. Okay, so a tactical pause will be... Wait, we have to see is a tech or tech. A tactical or technical? Because technical is... Oh, tech, yeah, tech. So, Anyhow, uh, I need this f got. Yeah, he don't know how to spell, guys. I, I'm sorry, well, guys. Uh, but... Luckily, there's three seconds left to the round, but I don't know how to spell, but it, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I, I, mean, I mean, they finally get the pause in, right? This all that, but, but yeah, yo, it's, this it's so game is really just the battle of the Jets, and everyone else are just stepping up. Yeah, but Cinder, the last round, F got tried to aggress, right? He goes down, but yeah, look yeah, at what he, his team do. He, exactly, Chain, exactly. Yeah, Chill and Shinomiya just they, they straight away up. push mid. They yeah, they like, up. literally, they're like, Okay, they kill F-Cot, they are going to back on mid. We are going to push mid down. We are definitely going to slam all the way down mid and just push full aggression. And and they got the full aggression. They they kill like four players in between themselves. And, oh my god, man. And but the, but the, but the thing is that uh, with Toys, he bought the AWP. I think he did an amazing job with the AWP. It's just that it was it was unlucky. Unlucky that they, that they lost that round. Yeah, I mean, Vanilla didn't expect that Bingsu, you know, pushed the double aggressiveness yeah. out. So, yeah. Okay, it looks like our we'll be... admin will be checking what. Oh, the, okay, okay. On? They're just yeah. restarting the game. Yeah. All right. In that meantime, while we are still having a pause, what do you think? Are they? Is Vanilla gonna come back? I don't know. I mean, I mean, Icebox is <laughs> Icebox is a very like a very weird map to play, right? Like okay. It... I, of course, with the map layout, you know, you can say like it's defender favorite kind of, mm -hmm. but the rotation mm -hmm. is definitely attacker's favorite. I don't know. I mean, based on what can we look at, uh, can we look at the score real quick? Well, let's 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 look at the little score analysis right here. Let's see what how how is this playing out? Eh? I mean, we we oh. look at it like everyone on the side of um. Everyone, everyone on the side of Bingsu definitely is showing up here. And Vanilla, there are still some players that are warming up. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so, they're ready? Uh, the both teams are ready, I think? Yep. Oh, um, so, they're ready yep. to go. Oh, he restart yep. PC very fast, huh? I think he oh, restarted game. He, he said restart PC. Oh, really? But I mean, in chat, they were restarting PC. Oh, he restart PC Get fast, yeah? Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh, F1. Once again, offering Whoa, a Where is that off kill? Toys coming yeah. with the out. Okay, will he connect? Yeah, oh no. Storm does not connect a single. He takes, but he doesn't. He takes, he takes, he takes. Yeah, but that is just going to get Hugh up. And, and oh no! Hugh and Shinomiya ah. aggressive does. Out. Oh, Kaiman, you attack here. Oh, Sheriff. 2v4 situation. Two players are low. You can try to punish this. No, Wolf. Can't punish this. Kaiman, let's do this, Kaiman. One, three, four, oh, what? What? He, dude, Kaiba was just playing a blabs, dude. He was yeah, just playing a blabs. Last round in the half. Got definitely coming to clear uh, to clean up that game, that that round for them. And you see, boys going back to the operator once again. And I I would say this game definitely is who can be more <laughs> aggressive, right? How many ops were bought? They lost ops. They bought ops. My God. What is this? Where where are they? Where are they playing at? Where are they playing at? Okay, we got F F dog at the B long. Oh, and Toys is holding mid. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Interesting. 
Hoist wants to punish his speed aggression, understandable, and you see the eye goes out by yep. Taiman. Really aggressive stance coming out from the side of Vanilla. Okay. It's a 1v3 on mid. Up draft. Doesn't catch him yet. Oh, he, oh! So he said he doesn't catch that nice shot coming from Che, though. Ooh, Che will just go in huge here and. Oh, he good. Oh, so good. Droning out. Will he be able to spot it? Oh, they're going for the rest. The rest didn't even happen because F God is there oh, to save my like, shot. God! Woo, ships in another one. 2v5. 300 FPS F top. My god, it's doing well. Kaiman, oh! Kaiman, Empress. Easy, 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 kill, easy, kill, easy, kill, easy. Kill. But they're still operating. And then we have an oh, operator oh, yeah. shut him down. Nice. Right one now, easy. Excellent. Oh. oh! He gets that, he gets that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, 1v2. F God is still alive. Woof woof as well. These two players have been stepping huge time. Daxton, you want to clutch here, you have to. I, I don't know how, man. This is so difficult, but. Easy, easy. Two headshots, two headshots. Daxton, you got this. Two headshots and you win game. He's going to probably. Oh, the blinds strive. coming out. They know where he is now. Look at the. Look at how Woof wants to play this. This is really crucial. Oh, that right? angle, the angle F God is holding, though. Yeah. Okay, he, and the spike is not even favor for him. Look at this. Yep. Oh! That's what oh! Here. Wow. That's what happens when you give F, F Dog a 300 FPS computer. I, I, I Doing mean, we, well. We, we got to admit and say this. The, the, hmm. the new PC that F Dog got himself <laughs> is paying off here, right? Like 100%, right? The new PC that he got recently is paying off dividends here. Uh, <laughs> and now we're swapping sides. Now, Gunless, we're gonna ask. You, I'm gonna ask you this again. We see a comeback game. I mean, we, I mean, there's <laughs> everything is a possible. There's a possibility for everything, right? Like, okay, we see games that. Uh, yeah, definitely. This is still. <laughs> I mean, it's still all not lost yet until mm -hmm. it's like a really mm -hmm. like mad. Definitely, I think. I think. Of. I think if they want to win this, they have to step up like right now. Yeah, like, and this, I think. This, the store round will, win, will do them good. Yeah, I think aggression is the game here. Because you see both sides likes aggression. And who can survive after aggression? Oh, That's just rushing it! He's just yeah, pushing it! aggression, he man. Gets the kill. Oh my god! Blinded kill. And Shinomiya what? following up on Dexter. Somebody Three needs to five. top this man. Yeah. Oh my god, what? Shinomiya. Ari Thank even classic. chipping on. What? What a and there we go. Not even kill F God. Hey, hey, there on this we guy. go. And we were I, talking about this. We said that if they want to win this, they have to get pissed around. Yeah, yeah. And of course, like I said, aggression is the game. You know, you look at F God. This guy is not even scared of anything. He's just throwing everything at them. Like literally, he's just taking. I think even his new PC will just bring it together and just throw it at them. Like he don't <laughs> even care, man. And. I don't know. On Vanilla's side, you have to respond, right? You have to try to ex respond to this aggression, definitely. survive the aggression, and then win the round from there. But let's see. It's, it's definitely still winnable. It's definitely still winnable. But look at this. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, he's, he tried to oh, bring out no. aggression. He dashes into Shinomiya's crosshair and he dies as quick as he gets start. punished. So hard. Look at F God again. Once again, trying to punish this year. Oh my God! Look at this. What? What's that Wolf will come here from here? But Wolf will meanwhile getting one. Oh, Jackson traded one, but basket. gets traded by Shinomiya. 1v4, and there we have it. Jumbi goes down as well. 11 3. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's just pure aggression. Like, literally. <laughs> literally, Bingsu is like a train now, right? Like, even on defense side, they just roll all the way in. Like, full speed ahead, you know? Like, no one can stop them, which is. I don't really? know, it's I mean, coming from them. Okay, well, we're, we're looking at a very different thing. Oh no, we're still they're still going for the same push. We, Is Toys going to push out on B again? Nah, I don't know. We have to look at Toys here. Toys definitely Is, going is he going to push it out? Here. If he pushes out, it's Toys, Toys is either dead or alive, dude. Okay. He he has a guy that the five man coming. Yep. The post goes he's out. Engaged. Oh, he gets the F-God! Yeah, he gets F-God here. Five he people. Oh, and... Oh, whoa! Here. It's just trades after trades after trades. Yeah, but now 4v2 scenario for for the side of being oh, for the side. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. What? 
a beautiful 3k coming from Dexter and Easy. this 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 what we this what I was saying right you yep. have to you have to like fight aggressively which is which is what Toys did he kill F got mm. E4 back and you see exactly, another yeah, aggression yeah. coming from Shinomiya they traded the game, Shinomiya the game would have turned out very differently if uh Toys died died there yeah, or she I think that round, yeah. Kills, right? yeah. Exactly, so exactly, exactly. I think they um, survived the aggression. They brought back it and they won. I think all they need to do is to keep keep this ball rolling. If they just hold the aggression and fight fight them man on one on one, they got this. We can't stand no one, no one, no one. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? F got just showing that, that he is superior jet here. What was that headshot? Yeah, Ari gets one, Shinomiya gets another for himself, 5v2 just like that, as quick as it is. Hey, look at Shinomiya, 23 HP, he's still double, pets in, non-stop aggression from the side of Bingsu. No fear at all. Hey, look at Amcos position, he gets one more for himself, for his hard work here, and the updraft going in onto the Raptor's position. And look at Squatool, he, he has no idea what to do, right? Perfect. Okay, he oh, fights F-God, he gets a shot. That whiff by F God! What is that? One v three on the rest. And then change. How do you have how do you have 22 kills and you whiff like that, F God? How? 12 match to point. 4. Match point and map point coming on the side of Bingsu. I don't know man, this <laughs> this is No not no no, it is right. it is still winnable. It is still winnable. Because you have to understand that going against F God. Okay, and he is known to whiff. He, I, 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 I still, I still, <laughs> we're still holding it out. I'm not calling it. I'm not calling it match point end game set and done. Okay, there is still hopes. There is still hopes. It's still definitely winnable. Yeah, but it's definitely difficult for Vanilla here. Yeah, definitely, definitely, it's now. gonna be. They're gonna give it their all for this right now. Yeah. And look at Scott going. It's super aggressive. What is this coming from everyone? Look at that. The two stop yeah, that, that nice comes into play, but Shinomiya is there to fail them. And oh my god, Squaddle just that trying to fight back. Toys as well, but the trick goes back as well. 1v3 scenario, come on, he goes down. Oh, G! 13 4. G! G! What is going on? Wait, how long was that? That was the fastest game we've had, I think. Okay, so we, we had the longest game, right? Just now. And yeah, now yeah, yeah. Now, now, now we come, come down to the shortest game. What is this? Yeah, we, 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 definitely, we definitely have. And look at the scoreboard, man. It, it says it all, right? I, it's, top oh. three. Top three is all the side of Bingsu. Definitely, definitely. I think... Uh, well, like As I said, Carlos, like I said, it's Coxlong for a reason. We've seen fantastic plays from Coxlong in this, yeah, in this uh, tournament. And with their teams, I mean... I mean, the, the last round, let's be honest, the last round was like a F got bug, right? A knife bug. The, the, his knife never hit a single soul. Yeah, but then Shinomiya was there with the with the showstopper, gets one, and then gets a second kill following behind him. So he can miss all the knife if he wants if the team is following him <laughs> like that. Like, the team is willing to go like deep with him and it's just full aggression. Like the name of the game for this match is just endless aggression. That's... It's nothing but aggression. Let's be honest in the. I mean, it was. It was all. It was all fight. They didn't care whether if they won or they lost or anything. They just. They just. They just ran in. Yeah. Even on defense, right? Like, like you see the way they play. Even on attack, they lose one guy. They have another guy that will jump in. Like that's why you see the jet and race combination, right? The jet goes in. He dies. The race double jump pads in. Gets into a very awkward position for the defenders to deal with, and they just shreds them like, like no, like there's no business that. Um, Bing Su is winning that much rounds. Let's be honest. <laughs> that is right. That is right. That is right. <laughs> but I think... it just happened, right? Oh my god, but man! I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I have my, I have all my rocks out for F God. But then he does to whiff. He he whiffed that last shot. Remember that last kill on Killjoy? He whiffed it. At... Yeah. What? What am I can? Oh, I miss it. Hey, hi. Okay, and we will be taking. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Um, we haven't. We, we haven't. <laughs> we have to. Yeah, we have another. We what's on it? Yeah. Game? So, um, the next game will be um. Chocolate, I think. Chocolate versus. Chocolate, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we, 
Ah, this is the infamous game that I've heard. We are gonna see Jopix. Yeah, Jopix yeah, playing. Yeah. A and very, course, a very, um, very good friend of mine. Yeah. After that two game, you know, now looking at uh, can we, production. Are we okay? We take a look at the brackets. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We have brackets up. Yeah. After the two game, this is uh, this is what the bracket looks like. You know, donut will be fighting Bingsu. We have the two cocks long fighting each other, which is the wish yes. we you wanted, right? Yes. And you, we got it. Uh, meanwhile, on the side of vanilla. Uh, Rice, they will be they, they will still be fighting in this tournament but they mm -hmm. will be in the lower bracket they will fight ah. each other so yeah, Rice, Vanilla one of them will try we, we have to fight, you know, Waffles we, yesterday we saw Waffle, right? They, yeah. they, Waffle is another guy that, uh, mm -hmm. that that we know so yeah, so that, that's going to be interesting but the next match definitely is going to be Chocolate and Kimchi so yeah, we will be taking um, a short break Shall we? Actually, how how long? Can uh, we take? yeah, yeah. We're, we're checking in production. We just see how long is this yeah. gonna. Be? Yeah, but for now, let's talk a bit more about that game. You know, what 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 are your thoughts? You know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. All I see, all I remember from that game is <clears throat> we were so focused on the jet versus jet that we didn't we, care about other thing, right? <laughs> the thing is that, and then you need to see everyone else started creeping up. You saw. You saw. Magnificent plays from 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 the from the race player Shinomiya, right? Yeah, Shinomiya. I will say Shinomiya. Bozy, we saw Bozy. it was <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. But I think, um, like I said, I think uh, I I support I support F Dog. I got him. I got his back. I think he. I think we'll, we'll see. But let me ask you this question here first. We've yeah. seen how Luca plays. We've casted Luca's game yesterday. Yeah. Now I know this is our last day casting. We're not gonna be cast. I don't. I, this is my last day casting. I won't yeah, be casting anyway. Yeah, yeah. I won't be casting. But what do you think? What What's the face up? If we, do we will we first of all will we be able to see anyone take down Luca? I and, I, I mean, and, and yeah. what? No. And another thing is that will we be able to see the 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 battle between the the Jets? I'm sure we will definitely come down to that, right? But of course, um, there are many teams that I think... I mean, we look at uh, Luca's team, right? They yeah. do not look as unstoppable as, as before. You know, they, they definitely bleed. So but when, on, when but something then, bleed, you can kill yeah, them, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, then I throw you another bone, which is... Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they bleed, they can be killed. Ben, and there are many teams that that are a threat now, right? Like Onigiri, we, for example, the one you mentioned is Onigiri. And then, yeah. of course, uh, Chocolate, which is, uh, no, as, I think it's Cake, yeah, Cake, which is Luca's team. And then, now you have, like, the mix of, you know, um, Sakti's team, which is, yeah. um, and and then uh, you have, um, yeah. and then you have Bingsu as well. You, you have so many of these talented team with talented players in it, right? And it's exactly, it no exactly. longer just, it no, it no longer is like the, okay, Luca is definitely going to, like, storm the show no it's not it's definitely not going to be that of course and of mm. course um yeah we we didn't see much from being so so let's be honest like that game was literally just aggression 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 and they just win it like there wasn't much strategy that's being shown yet so yeah. i would say in terms of strat books being so definitely has something deeper than what what uh, definitely what definitely saying. i don't think i don't think that was that was how being so not being so plays <laughs> i think they their... can definitely do better imagine during all their practice it's like guys you're just going in fast just double you only. Yeah, just double boss pet. I will dash in and we go in and we Double you only. <laughs> Those are their but strategy. That be funny. Either way, okay. Either way, I think uh both teams were playing it out. They they held their ground as best as best as they could, and I think Toys did an amazing amazing job with the op. Remember that three, silent three K kills that we didn't even see. We only yeah, see the last part of the second kill of the third yeah. kill. And the and the two of them were like flank kills, right? Like yeah, and there was flank kills. Flank there was flank kills. Operator. <laughs> Exactly, insane plays from both players, dude. From both yeah. teams, sorry. All right, yeah, uh, we'll be definitely. cutting. Any, Gunners, any any last words before we cut in for a quick break? No, I I I think that kind of sums up the game. And yeah, we we have one more game to cast after this, which is which is chocolate versus kimchi, which we will be. Back at, we have ten minutes break. Yeah, around eight fifty p.m. So yeah, this is me, Gunners Two K, and I have in the faith here and we will see you guys in 10 minutes time it'll be my last game casting already so sad Felix will be my last game 
Bye, everybody.
and welcome everyone back to the Fairy Fan Tournament, the Summer Edition. And yep, I'm gonna Good stick morning, everybody. brother man. Yep, like with me is Good Morning, Cinder Fifth. <laughs> like, 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 like. Now we are we're in we're in for it, really. We're in yes. for this game, really. Uh, this I mean, the next the upcoming kimchi. game will be. Kimchi and chocolate. And chocolate. Kimchi and chocolate. Wow. Yep. Have you ever had, you ever think about having kimchi plus chocolate? I, I don't know how that tastes, man. Hey. I, I have kimchi and I have chocolate, but I never you try it, try it, try it. You try it, try it. For the memes? Uh, For the sorry. memes? But I, actually, I don't know how, how do you want to do it. What? Take the chocolate and then put the kimchi on top and just... Yeah, oh. then... <laughs> Okay, I thought melt the chocolate and mix it with the kimchi. Oh, okay, that's more disgusting. Okay, yeah, no, 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 we have yeah. Jensen from Kimchi and Japix from Chocolate here. Good us. morning, brother Hey, good morning, bro. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Boys, what are we what are we expecting? What are we expecting? We're going into Haven. <laughs> what am I gonna see? Uh hopefully a good game, man. I want a good clean game, boys. Is Will you guys give us the OT? You know? We haven't had an OT yet. I haven't try. cast over time yet. Try, I'll try, I'll give you OT. Oh, <laughs> Hopefully no OT. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, amazing, amazing stuff coming in from the two teams. Uh team captains, I don't know. Do you have any words for each other? Do you do you guys wanna do you guys wanna wanna hash out some stuff or not? Nah, I'm not gonna be a man. No VMs? No VMs? No VMs okay, no VMs. okay, okay. Yeah. We're taking the skills back into game. Alright. Before that, uh let's just let's just do a quick coin toss. Hey, where my coin go? Uh? Hey, hello? Oh, I found my coin, I found my coin, I found my coin, relay, 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 I found oh, my coin. Guy, hey. Yeah, hey. Right. Heads or tails, let's go, boys. Uh, I'll choose head. That's us with the head, all right? Japix, you want head also? Or he got like no move? choice, why? If one person take <laughs> No, they, I mean, they can, they, <laughs> we, can do a, we can do a 1v1 show, right? And then, nah, I'm what is he? Bro, he did there all time. <laughs> okay, okay. Japix, okay, 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 Tails. Okay, so uh, finally we have Tails, yeah. So Japix, uh, so Chocolate will be choosing side. Okay, Defender then. Chocolate defender. is Defender? All right, all right. Uh, Japix choosing Defender, meaning, you know, all this respect, you know, respect choice. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, Chocolate will be defending and Kimchi will be attacking here, so... Yeah. Any... Definitely, definitely. Okay. So now, before we head into game, once again, both team, team captains, I wish you guys the best of luck. I want to see a good show. This is my last game I will be casting. So I want right, to see some okay. I want to see some good clean fights. Let's go. Someone knife someone, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck to both of you. We will see you guys in heaven and yeah. Heaven na nah, heaven. Heaven, heaven. Hey, good luck. Have fun. I don't want to lie here, man. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Thank All right. Guys. You, can, you can join your teams below. Enjoy yourselves. All right, team captains have officially left. We are going to go into the game. Let's 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 take a quick look into predictions, shall we? I think predictions yeah, I mean, just we, started. It we just have started, seven I mean. minutes to do all this, and the, so. Oh, you got seven minutes, ah? Oh. Yeah, we can yeah, we can chew a bit. Yeah, yeah. We, we have seven minutes to do all this. We we are good, but yeah, the oh, predictions oh, just started. And wait, we are it's, a, it's a very good half. Oh wow, 50-50? Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see you, chat. I see you. I mean, I. Sorry? Ah, okay. We have the we have the players up. <clears throat> so once again, Gutless, talk to me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You were saying something when we were getting ready. You were saying that I should own I should look out for a lot of people on on uh on team uh was this Kim Chi, right? Team Kim Chi, yeah, yeah. right? I mean I, I watched Kim Chi scream like a uh -huh. couple of games and I even casted their games, uh, uh -huh. the screams and I gotta say Jensen, the captain, he's pretty yeah. cracked himself too, you know. Like, like uh -huh. we, we, I mean, when you come to this, a lot of people are talking about Japix, right, on chocolate. Yeah. But on Kimchi's yeah. side, you have Jensen, and then you have the duo beside him, right? The Mao Wofu and Maple Combo, mm. which I always like to say, because these three guys, when these three guys step up, you mm. always see Kimchi with the W. Like, no questions asked. Like, these three guys, they definitely do a lot of work. And of course, with Sawada and Fosso, you know, mm. pushing behind the force, 
that's how this kimchi team has been working so far and it's working so well for them even in screams they have been dominating screams they have been slaughtering teams they are definitely on the roll okay okay i think it's the very first time i've seen on predictions that chat is very 50 50 when it comes to this yeah that and, is and, and, oh and it, and it's understandable right like i say uh-huh. three duo from kimchi and then on the side of chocolate yeah. you have japix right i mean what what I we do not need to say anything much about Japix. Let's be honest here, right? Exactly, exactly. I think I think they are absolutely gonna 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 go ham. I think, but uh, like I said, I think it's still very hard to say. I want to see. I want to see what they can prove to themselves in game. I think uh, it will be very interesting. Yeah, and of course, I mean, um, talking about predictions. What what's yeah. your prediction then? My like, prediction. I yeah, what are you bro, looking at? Yeah, I. I cannot, I, I cannot say anything. I mean, the thing is that when it comes to this, I got to back a brother up. I am going Team Chocolate on this. Right, yeah. I am going Team Chocolate. Uh, a, a lot uh understanding. And of course, you know, I, I even hear from like production now, you know, Japix have been really, um not, I mean, he has been putting work on himself, right? But he is putting work in the team as well as a captain. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He has been doing like dry runs and a lot of other screams and, not only screens, but he's also doing tactics with them. And he has been going through helping individual players perform uh, yeah. and improve. So, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a close game. But I think Kim Chi, um, with how they have been rolling teams on screen, yeah. I think they are going to take it here. So, I'm going to Okay, 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 okay. We'll see, we'll see. And, and apparently, Chet is favoring with me. They're going Team Chocolate. Yeah, what, we have an eighty-two percent on chocolate. Wow! I thought I thought it was like a forty. <laughs> it was supposed to be a fifty-fifty big, but no, no, we're going in. I think, Gallas, you swayed them with the with the preparations that he that that uh, Japix has been doing off stream. I think uh, that's kind of swayed the vote a little bit, but yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll see I how it actually plays out. It is understandable, right? Like, mm, like I said, exactly, ever- exactly. Everyone in the community knows Sharpix, let's be honest. Like, these guys yes. don't need much introduction, so... Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but An like insane said, animal. Trio, yeah, but the trio over there, they are not, they uh-huh. are not you know, bad, you know. They, they definitely can fight. And they have been putting up a good fight against, like, people who are better. And uh, if I'm not wrong, Kimchi... I'm not sure if Kimchi did scream with some of the teams, but I'm, I'm sure they definitely scream against, like... Have mm. got team before, and I, okay, I think okay. it was like, yeah, and I think it was quite a one sided affair if I if I remember right, yeah. So they are definitely not one to look down on. So yeah, I would say definitely it will be a close one, and I would say probably out of three games, this this game may be the OT one. You know, I I mean maybe one, was, maybe was we. I mean I mean it's the last game I'm casting. We let's just see if we hold me for a little longer lah. Yeah, but game one, I mean, we, we were surprised with game oh, one. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, 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 definitely, game one definitely. Wasn't, game one, let's be honest, wasn't like a really, you would think it's going to be a close, but it's that close. And now, with this exactly. game three, you got two teams that are this close in skill. This is definitely going to be a match to watch, I'm sure. Definitely. We'll just, we'll just wait on the team cap, uh, the teams to get ready before we roll in. I think we have about, I think we're coming in soon, I think. Yeah, yeah I think in two minutes time, we will be starting. <clears throat> can, yeah, can, 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 can. Two minutes time. Um, the captains are still, you know, probably get, giving their teams, you know, um, last some, motivational speech. Yeah, motivational speech. Come on, we have to do this. And then on the side, you know, on Kichi, probably it's like, hey, you they know, got this just, they got this yeah, let, let's just crush Japix, man. <laughs> 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 on Japix, on Japix side, can you imagine on Japix side, it's like, guys, you know, we, we, we do so much, you know, it's up to today. We have to get it down and let, let's, let's just do it, you know, let's, let's just put all our hard work in and pay and make it pay off so yeah no definitely i think we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes <clears throat> i mean i i'm so hyped for this game man like literally i think this is the game that makes me the most hyped because of how close these two team is so yeah and of course whoever wins here is going to have a bigger momentum swinging forward right like uh-huh. you get rid of one of the more tougher opponents in the bracket i, I i'm not going to say that uh subjective or and F got teams are are not good. I, I they are good too. But I would say uh-huh. definitely this bottom half of this bottom bracket is yeah. definitely a tighter game compared to the top one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. Okay, <clears throat> who wins gun round? Let's see lah. I mean, pistol round is gonna be huge here, and we are nine. It's nine p.m. So we are going to load into Haven now. Hey, sharp, sharp. Ah, let's go in lah. Yep. 
And let's right, take right. a look at picks. Let's take a look at picks. I think I think in Haven, I think the picks are very, very important. So what are we going to see? Jump picks, Reina? <laughs> Why all play Reina? Are we going to oh, see wait, jump picks, Reina? Wait, is he going to... Is... Okay. Is... Yep. No, no, is he going to Yoru? I is don't that... know. <clears throat> I, I, I'm feeling jump picks, Reina, man. Uh, no. Uh, we, 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 yeah, we, we do a thing. I don't know. I I feel I feel Japix Raina. Do, 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 do you feel it? Japix Raina? Yeah, all good. Uh, production all good. Yeah. Is it Japix Raina? No. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, hey. He's trolling us. Uh. He's trolling us. He's trolling us. He's trolling us. Yeah, but then you see Jensen. He's trolling us. Yeah. Japix Yoru. What is this? So much my guess. Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, he know that we are like predicting this shit and he's just going like, yeah, we are just going to <laughs> yeah. Jumping Sky. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. This guy is just having fun. But I think it's going to be a Yoru ultimately. Uh, with next step going on the Reyna. Yep. I oh, no. Jumping hey. Jet coming out. <laughs> there we go. La. There we go. There we go. Is Chester going Reyna? There we go. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I think... I think we are having mirror matchups wait, here. Wait, what? Yeah, no. it's mirror matchups. Sawada? Yeah, Sawada plays oh, Omen. I know this. I saw him play Okay, Omen. okay, okay. It's a, okay. Wow. Yeah. Mirror okay. matchup. Even, even in Asian, it, I, I mean, we are going to have an Asian div game, right? And one side has like the chicken banner, the other side has like the mountain banner, so... I want the breeze line. Like, you... Okay, breeze banner. I, I don't know, man. I didn't see the banner. <laughs> yeah, but the, I, I, I think the chicken banner definitely brings luck here. You know, lucky chicken. Yeah, lucky chicken, man. I, I, I want to see, see this because, okay, I've seen Maple play Sova. I think Maple Sova is actually very good. He does miss a couple of lineups here and there. But I think I think, I think, I think it should play out well. Let's just come in and look at, looking at the guns they're buying. Oh, what's, what's this? Two I'm goes. actually surprised with the Mao Waffle, Mao Waffle Jet. Okay, really? Really? Does yeah, he not play Jet? He, no, he, he plays a certain amount of Jet, but during screen okay. he always play Race. And Jensen you, will be the guy that is either switching between Reyna and Jet. But okay, it okay. seems like they decided to swap it up here and you know, give Mao Waffle the Jet. Uh, so probably this, this is something they hide in the scrim and they are just doing it now because they know they are going against like Japix. So yeah. So the, the respect comes in, you know, to play their player um their main operator, but yeah. Their main agent. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see, let's see this is. <clears throat> Coming in with the A push. Running in short, we're gonna see an engagement. Oh! Okay, now no shots connected. Yeah, everyone is just chilling now. Jensen, they are just poking. Like, look at how Kimchi is playing. They are just poking. Oh, we can't they're already yeah, in on Silom! Yeah, and Mashir goes down as quick Maple as Maple comes in. Waffle, sorry. Waffle comes in. Wow. Yeah, Mal Waffle's doing what he needs to do as Jet. They managed to split up the defense. And here you see Postman's going to come out from the side of Kimchi. Meanwhile, on the side of um, Chocolate, they are just chilling. They are just chilling to try to retake this. And look at this. The shock. The. Dark coming no, out from can... the side. Oh, yeah, yeah Mawa Post just swing around the corner and ooh, Whoa. I think just a Xiao Shen gets the kill on the Mawa Post. He gets a second on Xiao Shen. Holding into Kobe? 4v3 scenario and you see the post run coming in, the shot start post coming in. Maple! Maple gets a double triple! Why? The shot start! Get shot, Dutta Lion boys! Maple! Wow, 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 wow. You were Amazing talking about place. him, right? Amazing <laughs> Amazing so far, so so far. Wow, 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 wow. Double oh, shot that, that kill. double shot that kill. Following up with another. Wow, wow, maple. Too good, yeah. too good, too good, too good. Yeah, and you see the the capabilities of both Sova players, right? Shell yeah. Come in two kills and maple just is like nah. I will one up you better. Two shot that kills and a pistol kill. That's the wrong. Right, now this. round two. Oh wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait! It's an A rush. Yep. Coming in short. Rush coming from Kimchi. But look at the look at the respect of the rush still. You know, it's not a bum yeah, rush yeah, to yeah. rush. Just switch oh. again. He does oh. the check. It's a 50-50 check and next time gets the 50 percent here. Another right goes in, doesn't go. Lots of it is short. Yep, trade back and forth, but they managed to get the side control on the side of Kimchi. Oh I shot that lead doesn't stick. Xiaoxue tries to deny the plum but he just managed to dodge this, but look at this, Jumpix got one, but Jensen gets the trade on Jumpix, 2v2. It is Jensen, Maple versus 
Oh, the shock that going to come in for the. We're going to be. Ah, okay. nice. Okay. Joshua predicted it. But it buys some. Jesse swings in. 3k coming in. Marsha. 1v2 situation. Maple and Jensen versus Marsha. What can Marsha do here? Marsha. Marsha goes out and. Whoa! And Maple! Maple with on that, but the timing oh, goes no. well for Jensen. 4k. Wraps around. Easy 4k. Okay, okay, okay. That was. um. That was a very questionable eco eco round. They did they did very well. They did very well holding out for that eco. Yeah, definitely. But a beautiful 4K coming on Jensen just closing everything. Easy, out. easy Jensen 4K. Yeah. Uh, now you see the buy coming in from the side of chocolate, but meanwhile on kimchi because they lose so many players, I don't think they'll be able to yeah. rebuy everything. And yes, look at that. Some SMGs, a charge, or the mouth waffle. Um, got judge, got judge, got judge, got judge. Yeah, attacking judge, you know. <laughs> Comes in, and you see Ara banking, just going down A. They know A long is clear, they know there's no money A. This either B or C here, and once oh, you see the C, C comes in. Mao of Foes, a dash comes in with the judge. Oh, they get the dash. Oh no, the double smoke again. Oh, there's a cypher cage going down. And another dart going to go through. Oh, Jumpix went up, Jumpix goes down. Yeah, he gets kill Jumpix, 5v4, 5v3 now, Maple gets one. Mao Waffle just holding around the smoke. He hears a footstep coming from the next step. He's still with the judge. Oh, he tried to go for the judge at long range. He doesn't connect much on the judge. And there we have it. A disengage comes through. 5v3 and look at that. Maple. Jensen gets the kill. Oh my god. Jensen gets the kill. Xiao Xue, 5v2. Next step. I think this is going to be a safe call coming from the side of Chocolate. And indeed, it is falling back everyone just falls back here and yeah flawless crowd coming from the side of of kimchi and yeah it was it's not even like a perfect buy from kimchi and they make it work and look at that just like that three zero on the round and they upgraded most of them except for fossil Okay. Well, 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 let's let's take let's take a look at this. Zero three. Yeah, what are they going to do to change it all? If pushers haven't been doing well, will they be holding default? And what's this now? I, what are they going to do? I think Japix Judge is the answer. Japix Judge. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Got a judge, right? So that may be the he answer. He saw Waffle. He say, he saw Waffle play the judge, and he's going to say like, "Yo, come on, I'm going to show you how to play judge." Yeah, and look at this, a passive and a passive like hole from the side of Kimchi, even though one that managed to go in on the side of A, just trying to get some info. No info has been given yet. But look at this B's empty and look at how close Maho Fo is on the side. Oh next step, he nearly Oh oh, oh, oh next step because this he nearly goes out. Oh my god, there's a trade of damage back and forth here. Between Maho goes and next step and I goes out. Okay, Xiao Xue just holding the rush window. No one's losing anyone yet at this point of time. As you can see, no Sage, no Sky, so no heals will go up. So both damage are permanent done to each other and we can mount those. Oh, oh, this is going to be a tiny yeah. It's gonna, they're just gonna, oh! Tell you, just died! They got in! Yep, Jensen just kills got Jensen. Mount first kills, just jump X, 5v3 scenario. And just like that, C is wide open. Spike oh planted. no, post plan again for chocolate. What can he do here? Ice go up from next step. Next step tries to swing this. He doesn't see anyone. What can he do? And uh, and a banking just goes I uh, gets the kill on Mao for next step goes down to fossil 4v2 situation. So what is the life and support? And you see the neurity being used on the side of Kimchi to push away chocolate. They don't want to have to lose any more guys here. And a really good disengage coming up on the side of Kimchi. And uh, he gets one. He goes two. Uh oh. 2v2 situation. Jensen is still alive here. Jensen probably will have to die the bomb. But it's five it's here. Five HP. Whoa. Maple. Okay, Maple. Maple. Alignment still up. And he, even though Maple dies, but he gets enough He's, time. He buys what a clutch. What a clutch. But. That retake, that retake was excellent, it was very good. They brought him down to one Maple. They brought him down just to him, but still, Maple able to clutch that round. That was a very, very fantastic play of Silver, bro. Good job, yeah, Maple. Definitely, yeah, definitely, I would say um, expensive round from both sides, but. Very expensive. Yeah. Uh, but Kimchi, they managed to string rounds. It's 4 0 now. What can Chocolate do now, really? They need to try something, and you see. 
Yeah, just go have some upgraded pistols. I see a rifle on the side of chocolate. Not sure where that is. And yeah, next step. They're just going to go this aggressive A to try to get some map control for themselves. But look at it, MTB and Jensen is already up here. Uh oh. This was spell disaster and here will step rotating will be and yeah you have it you hear the you see the blades going back and forth jumping smith all of those and doing the shorty oh, just pushing for it and Jensen Jensen and Jensen and Jensen 2k for him I think he comes in for one onto him Mouthful straight on to next step 4v2 Oh and now Blaze comes up for Mouthful Now we go for the right click goes on right click to get much here and Fossil also cleans out the ground and 5-0 for Kimchi Wow, excellent display of skills. Definitely, I think uh, this game, this game right now, oh. zero five, zero five. Got this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> looks like we, looks like you got it right. Or is nah. it? Or do you think it's still too early to call? I what think it's think? still too early because you know, uh -huh. Jumpix can't get anything going for now, right? But if mm. he can get something going, we'll definitely see round start to swing back, right? So. Exactly, it's still too exactly. early to call definitely, but zero five. But really I think I think Jensen, Jensen has been wow. Jensen is is just yeah, solid, he's, bro. He's here to play, man. Look at that opening in for drone, here. trying to get some information. You realize there's no one playing at Sea Long and the pushing in the drone. Any rotations will come in by this. No rotation. Smokes goes in. Dash comes in by by Mawofo. Just trying to go side. Oh my god, he nearly goes out to Marsh here, but both stays alive. 5v5. Both front scenario. We take will start coming in and we see Jarpix. He finally gets the kill on the Jensen. That's a really good opening on the side of Chocolate. 5v4 scenario. And the drone on the corner out here. What can they do? Teleportation will come in. Mawofo, no Oh no, Hunter Spirit is going to come on Xiaoxue. Xiaoxue tries to go oh, for it. Oh, he doesn't. He takes also. And, and now I know his Hunter Spirit comes out for Mabel. And they try to defend him. And oh, really good shot coming in. He takes wow. a multiple target. Oh my god, but the defuse is going to come in a little bit they too late. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, wow. Chocolate. Oh what? my god, they were like. They... Wow, oh, that was neck and neck, dude. That was, that was an amazing fight for both. Both wow, side wow, committed wow. Hunter's Fury, Euro Tease, and oh my god, everything is thrown in that round from the side of Kimchi, but they failed to secure that round despite all that. And I'm not sure, it, it really feels like um, it was a much needed round from Chocolate, I would say. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I think they have to they have to step it up at some point. They yeah. cannot and, let it let it carry on. And they the gotta stake, stop the snowball. Know? Yeah. Yeah, they stick to the defuse. They stick onto the they defuse the, the spike at the end, so yeah. Um so now going into round number seven, we see that oh. Kimchi once again just he is still widely open. Me. Yeah. What is this coming out from the side of chocolate? Like literally, I think they just want to play retake B here. Yeah. Yeah. And you see the rotation comes in once again, but someone is gonna catch off time here. Japix main goes down here to Mount Awful. Uh oh. Next step, also this crossfire between both teams on each other this is going to be really crucial. And you look at Jensen. Jensen is just looking at the thing. <laughs> oh my god. Timing and oh, Jumpix and Mawafo. Jumpix gets the kill. Next step gets his as well. Both oh the kills my goes god. in the way of chocolate. And you see the, the stepping up starts comes in on the side of chocolate. Now Kimchi. 5v3 scenario. What can you do here? And yeah, really, okay. pretty good, pretty good. Very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. Yes. I think, I think, as we look at this, like we said, I think I, put, I was talking to you about this. Oh, we just need to make sure that Jopix gets his ball rolling. We do not want to see a Jopix tilt. Yeah, definitely, and yeah, see when the shop that comes in, trying to stop something. We can't, we can't see nothing. Jopix goes down. Goes down. Oh, oh no! My God. And Fossil oh, no. chips in another one, and now Marshall two comes two. back. One, two, v two. Two v two. Swing, swing, swing. The crossfire. Oh, Swada gets blocked. Swada. One v one. Over. Over. Let's go. Over. Let's go. Marsha. Swada. Swada gets taken to the box. And... Oh my god. What? That was just trades after trades after trades, dude. Okay, I I gotta say, chocolate. A much needed round. Um, very well done. Neat. Very yeah, good. Very but good, on the very side good. of Kimchi, you lost your two big fraggers on the team, and you still bring it down to a one v one. You gotta feel is... so good about it, man. Everybody gets to buy guns. Yeah, but I mean, if you are Kimchi, you'll definitely feel more confident, right? Like, 
Right hey, team. we lost our two top fraggers. We managed to bring yeah. it down to one yeah. beyond despite all that. Come on, that's... Amazing that's... display of skill. Yeah, that's why I say you can't sleep on this kimchi team because any of them can just like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Something, Are man. you seeing what I'm seeing? It's a C push. Yeah, the C push comes oh, in. Oh, wait. It's a very slow push. I think they're just waiting here and you hear, okay. Okay, so recon, recon goes, goes out. In. Recon goes... going to Icebox. Yeah, yeah, the recon definitely goes so wide there and yeah, but still Jensen gets first blood on the jumping and now you see the trade comes in from Xiao Share 4v4 but Mao Fos comes back with another kill onto Marsha 4v3 scenario for the side of Kim Chi. Get the side once again, but I comes back in. Maple gets one to Xiao Share next step, tries to step out kills with Maple. Trace the kill, but you look at Sawana, gets next step now. 1v3, he Taking it back. It Taking Jensen. it back, wow. Jensen is, Jensen is actually really, 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 really. When you, when you mentioned to me Jensen was cracked, I didn't believe how cracked he was. But as, as I see it, he is really cracked. Yeah, this guy has, wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Japix is still amazing, slow. amazing. Yeah, it's still slow stuff on Japix. That's the problem here. Yeah, and I hear, and I hear, sorry, yeah. what? Jensen, seventeen years old. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't what? know, man. Yep. What are kids eating these days? I, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> what all eat, all eat mouse. Ah. Oh, it's so sad, man. <laughs> you see, another B abuse comes in, but Japix comes in with a huge flank from A. He knows no one is there. They are ready to rotate. And look at the rotation coming from the side of the chocolate here. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Uh, Japix, look at that. Japix oh, no. is just going to push out the window here. He's going to get a huge one here. It's timing here. Oh, will they catch him here or will they not? Oh, is it the garage? Florida house. Japix, garage. Oh, oh no. Why he just does eat? No, Japix, Japix. going to fight no one else. But next time he's oh. here to close out. Iron Man, he is chipping us hey, now. No. And oh my, okay, okay, wait, 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 I have no idea, but you look at Japik's movement at the end of that round, you know, start of this round, you know that he has confidence. He held in yeah. trigger discipline. The My god, this guy. From Japix 3k, I mean, come on. This guy is going to start rolling here, you know. This round is very important for both sides still. Mm. Um, of course, Chocolate, they want to win as many rounds as possible, right? They are down three rounds and all three rounds left remaining of the half. Oh, nice recon. Gets taken out. Oh, look at the crossfire from long and oh, oh that's okay, 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 okay. that. No, no. Marvel tries oh. to trade it. Look at the Why is the trade? 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 It doesn't pay off with his trigger discipline, man. Look at that. Man, oh, but he's got the kill. Oh, okay. oh, no. Oh, no. 3v3. Waffle three. shouldn't be alive. Waffle should not be alive. Japix, man. Japix tried for the trigger discipline to go for that 2k, but it doesn't pay off. And look at Jensen here. Next time, look at next time. I know it's going to be close here, but oh, he goes through. Oh, my shit. Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 next time, Jensen. Okay, okay. Both, both Reynas are low. They use double eyes to disengage each other. Oh, look no. at Mawafo Mawafo comes comes in. In. Marshall, oh, 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 for the side of chocolate, what can we do here? Urbanking. Uh, Iban King is pushing up slowly. What can Iban do here? Come on, Iban. They are ready for this trade. Look at this. And then we have Iban the for the ace! That's the ace! What? Ayah, why the ace never got stolen? Huh? I, I have no idea, but that's the first ace we see, right? Since wow, past, like, six wow, games. wow, 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 wow. No, 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 no. We've seen an ace. We've seen an ace. This is our second ace. Wait, did we? We did, we did, we did. We did. Someone, someone, someone I, I know that we, I know we've seen a lot of ace got stolen. <laughs> 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 but what a beautiful time for Mao Very, up, right? very, yeah. Yeah. very yeah, amazing day. Off and he wow. up and... Seven yeah, but, three. but he shouldn't be alive there, like Japix. He should not, yeah. Like, he shouldn't be alive. Yeah, no way he should be alive. But we understand what Japix wants to do. So yeah, 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 yeah. Can't for him there. 
Okay, the Bun King gets the Recon Drone out and Cell Share counter Recon Drone. Look at how <laughs> <laughs> they're just showing utilities at each other. Okay, and another... this one going to this one going to split. Confirm yeah. he split split in middle. Confirm this one. We still checking <laughs> the Recon, but we yeah, still checking the Recon. It. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's at speed already, yeah. Definitely scanning some enemy in speed now. But yeah, uh, But look at... We look at Kimchi now, you know, they are just going yeah. to double back, you know, poke this C, double back towards, like, the B or A, A side. And you look at Chocolate just holding back, no aggression, right? Like, literally, they are just giving map control. They are like, yeah, you want map control? You take it, alright? We will try to play this retake as hard as possible. And look at this. It, Here. It's going to be a double back C, but... They have players on C now, which is really good. But Mao Wong so he can get a better. And oh, the jump pick goes in and the Brown King gets tagged, but the dash comes in from Mao Wong Fu. Mao Wong he's going to say, oh, he's supposed to. He got it, he got it, he got it. The Brown King, yep. Shock that goes out, but doesn't connect much. Xiao Xue. Oh, Xiao Xue with the double kill. Why? Three kills with jump picks. Hunter Shui is being killed. He knows, he knows. Oh my god! 2k from Wow, 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 wow. Wow, Jarpix was just into the fray. Went right in. Good job on you, Jarpix. Good job, good job. Yeah, and Jarpix was so confident, right? Because was, yeah, the, yeah. the two kills coming from the side of um, uh, Xiaoxue. And, and, he knows, kind of, and he knows his team got his back. He knows his team got his back. Xiaoxue yeah, coming of, in. Wow. And they kind Easy. of read it right that Kimchi yeah. has to play these two on side three long positions. Exactly, so exactly. He just rush long immediately, like full yeah. confident that the team will like back him up no matter what happened. Here. Really good play coming from that side. Here. Ooh. They got this, they got this, they got this. I think. Wow. Yep, I, I would say 5 7 across the half. I think it's still a decent. Awesome, um, awesome. Get out but I mean, like way. if they win this round, 5 7 is 100%, you know, doable for the side of chocolate. Okay, okay, everybody gotta found them. Droning in short, no one's short. Oh, yeah, this dude. Japix. Playing here is a three man A. Will Kimchi run into this blender? It looks like it because Blaze is being used here as well. And then look at this. The dash goes in. Marcia gets the first kill on the map. But right click from Mawapo. A second oh, kill of the Marcia. GG3. And he takes on to Japix. Mawapo quickly clear. But the Bun King goes for 2 for himself. And Suwara. 1v1 scenario. Suwara. HP advantage. Tries to bait for the plant here. 15 oh no, oh no. He, he saw him. He saw him through the cage. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He. Yep. He knows so this. Oh, what up? Oh, what up? Oh! A nice clean up kill from him, but oh my god, Marwaffles doing nuclear with the Blaze Storm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, and uh, I I mean, that was what I said. I I said that earlier, right, um, Sindo, about. What? Mao Wofo suddenly booting on a jet because he wasn't yeah. putting the jet on screen, right? And this is why they hide the jet from everyone, right? Because Mao Wofo will go on the jet and... What yeah. a cheeky player! And Baby. the funny thing is, they hide Shred and they are still storming people on screen. That's the funny <laughs> thing. <laughs> no idea what they are doing. They're not better than me. Yeah. But I, you I know, You have no idea what they are doing? They are giving us a good show. They yeah, are but... giving us an amazing gameplay. Definitely wow. respect respect pick because they know they are facing Japik, so respect pick coming out from them and definitely. I gotta say, yeah, eight four really dominant half coming in from the side of Kimchi so far. Oh, now, it's, a, it's a very very quiet last round, first round. Yeah, very very quiet. Yeah, Jensen oh. is just holding this position. Oh, the... <laughs> Sweet. oh very, very close, Jensen is like, very close. Wow, sweating out, sweating. The two bullets inside. Like... <laughs> On the left, left side, but you look at Japix. Oh, Ooh, Japix. Okay. Oh, timing doesn't favor him. He gets tagged down to 74 HP. And look at the recon. Look at Maple. Yeah, this recon. Hey, the recon. Hey, B side, no enemy confirm. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Just to spot out Japix as well. Next step means well. Oh, he took. He takes out the trap there and takes out the cam. So maybe another field rotation. Japix, a nice clean headshot onto Sawada. 5v4 scenario for the side of Chocolate. Chocolate making the way with their spike towards the garage position. 
<clears throat> they're just trying to test this, but look, you have Jensen that you have faced here. Cell so, Shot kills Ma Ma Morphos and it goes down, but Jensen is saying he clears away the record. And so oh, no. it's open and no. yeah, that makes him take kill. Five V Last one scenario. One. Uh, what is he <clears> gonna <throat> go for it? He's going yeah, for think, it. I think he just wants to die here. Also, right? come on! Oh, what? Who he actually Yo, kills Jaffy? He did it! He did it! He got it! He got it! That was so good! That was so good! <laughs> yeah, but of course, um, at that, at that point of time, you know, you lose Mao of here. Yeah, Jensen trying to hold the point, but 3v5, two guys rotating. You lost, you lost so much map control, and yeah, plus they just get picked off one by one, and yeah. Finally. You know, finally, um, chocolate is is getting that first up. round they need. Yeah, they, they are they stepping up. Is. They are stepping up. Yeah, we look at Japik's KDR, right? Yeah. From bottom to the top, this guy is coming huge. He he, he has to untilt. Knowing Japik, the moment he tilts, it's 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 a real different game. He has to untilt himself in order to to mm. win this. He he got this. He got this. Yeah, Drone's Jens coming in. Jensen got a cute guy. Oh, oh Jensen what? tried to go for him. <laughs> Yeah, he, he tries to just make um sell share pay, but Jafik's there to pay him and look at Mabel. Oh Mabel, Mabel, Mabel barely survives this. Mabel's gonna die here? Oh Mabel what? Mabel. Nice shot coming from the side. Right and he tries oh, to challenge Jafik. Oh, he finally gets picked down. Yeah. Oh no. 2v4 situation, but this is just pistol rounds, right? This is just like some uh -huh. upgraded yep, yep, pistols yep, yep, for yep, the side yep. it's, it's, it's still okay, it's still okay. We yeah. just, we, this is just, you know, just, you know, play play around, you know. Oh, Japix just baiting the chance of And the ace coming from Japix. Japix ace, bro! You cannot cut this man short! He is too good! Now I told you already. Japix, you give... wake up already, brother. My brother you... man, wake up already. You give him an ace. He wake, up really, he wake up already, he wake up already, he wake up already. Let's see, he, he, I'll tell you, the moment he got this ace, this is the moment he starts to off, he, he, he's just zero tilt already. He has this in the back. Yeah, I hope, man. And of course, like, um, people like Luca and all, right, from the other streams, they are, from the other bracket, they are all looking at this game, they are like, oh no, these other guys are going to face. Either one is going to be tough, right? And look at these jumpings already out with the blitz, the blitz stop. From the ace and oh oh no one is in A. And you look at the shop that going to come in from Cellshare. Shop that goes in. I like, I like, I like. Land where? So it's on the back oh, of the oh, side, which whoa. is good. Yeah. Wow, very very nice shop. That very nice yeah. lineup. During that corner, they have no idea that no one is in A. But that shop that was used, so there'll be no more lineup shop that for the post plant scenario. And then we have it, chocolate okay, already okay. on site. Okay, jump big, jump big, jump big! Oh no, no! The miss! <laughs> that miss! That would have been so big! Now he only has a shorty. Yep. 5v5 retake. And <laughs> he turns to the recon. <laughs> just the recon with yeah. Yeah, oh! Okay, okay, okay jump big with the shorty kill! Oh. Joshua trades, Joshua trades, but the the seal comes in. People dying. Yeah, trades back and forth, and of course, there we have oh, it, Mar Waffle. Oh my God, Waffle coming in, saying no. He got this. Yeah. Oh, Twenty no, HP oh, remaining. Man. Wow. So low, like Marsha, man. He 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 got caught reloading by the dash from Waffle, and yeah, Waffle just cleans it up from there. Nine round coming in on the side of Kimchi and Cinder. You have your favorite score line here. <laughs> coming in with a six and a nine. What are you yeah. favoring? What are you favoring? What are you favoring? Come let's come let's come on. What am I favoring here? Come I mean, on I'm favoring Kimchi still, right? But Japix, you know, stepping out huge time. Oh, I I, I scared lah. I scared. Japix wake up really, bro. Yeah, Japik is definitely showing that he he can he can tussle with three with these three guys. So yeah, it's good. It's not going to be easy for Kimchi out, out out here. But hey, they proved that they can stay in this tournament. They proved that they're meeting exactly so exactly. On. Oh, the recon one. Okay, okay. Yep, they know where Japik is at least. But look at this, another A open side, and and I feel that Kimchi is so confident with their A retakes that you see uh -huh. they just leave like Cipher there, right? And if anything, Cipher just backs off. We play mm. retake, we gain side again. Yeah, but Japix just what trying to that? catch anyone from this B, use a smoke to try to force someone to rotate over or someone to respond to his smoke, but no one is oh, holding it. Oh, they're holding it. They're back. holding it. 
Yeah, the patience coming on the side of Kimchi. <coughs> Japix is like, come on, pick me, man. <laughs> Give me a kill so I can open the side. Look at some of these players okay, okay. inside on chocolate. Okay, Japix. Trying to fight Jay Jensen here, but. They're all just poking around. They're all just poking around. They're just waiting for that one moment to peek in. Yeah, Japix is still. He's so brave, wait, right? Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. okay, okay, Japix. Japix, calm down, calm down, brother man. You see the guy, no. man? Japix goes down. So, Ara goes huge. A follow up on the spam from Aries comes out, but no one comes here. Shall Xiao Xia has to go for Garage and Mao for Punishers. Team, not 5v3 scenario. Uh oh, but look at chocolate, they got oh A side, but Fosso is still here. Okay. Fosso also gets the planter here. Things will turn around. Next step gets the kill on Sawada. 4v3 scenario. Can chocolate turn this around? Oh look at Maple! Maple comes in with the chocolate! And no time! No time! Come on, stop that! Oh my god! And next step still goes down. Oh Maple, Maple, Maple Maple has Maple has proven us. With all his insane shock darts, wow. There's, there's two, there's two so rounds good. of, of game-winning so shock darts, right? The first one is the 2k yeah. and then now with yeah. the 9 on the planter. Well, it's just too, too good, too good, too good. I mean, we, we talk about Jensen, right? But look at my yeah. waffles, man. My waffles, <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah, like you said, like you were telling me earlier, to yeah. the both, they are, they are cracked, they are cracked. Definitely yeah. an excellent game that we're looking at. Yeah. And look at Mao for holding tight angle with the operator. Uh -oh. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, the spray comes in, takes a little bit of damage, but he's still fine with the operator. I mean they and know Jabbix. they know the operator is a garage. They're not gonna peek it. Yeah, look at Jarpix here. Jarpix goes oh. for one, he gets the first kill and he knows that Sawada is not Sawada. Sawada was there to trade for Sawada. And look at this. And they have B side control. 3v4. Close plant, Mao with the operator. Jensen is still alive, Mao is still alive. Fossil, yes, Fossil starts off the kill with a bunk, a bunk king. Bunk king goes down, and Mao Oh, that quick flip about Jensen, he doesn't care. You look at, oh, oh, okay, look okay, at okay. next step, he's confused. 1v2, Mao Ho, you got this, Mao Ho, you got this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. Pulling it out with the classics, bro. The classics have been doing so good this game, dude. Everybody is just whipping out classics left and right. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, and and, and I was saying, right, Fosso and Sawada, they, they are they, they are support players, right? They yeah. definitely like enable Maple, Jensen and Mao yeah. to, to go ahead. Right? Exactly, but exactly. You look at Fosso stepping up huge time here, you know. Sawada, yeah. even though a little quiet game for me, but Iron Man Sawada is doing a lot, a lot here for his team whenever he can, so... It's still a really close game coming from both sides. Going into round number 18, you know, a nice recon goes out and gets destroyed, but look at the aggression coming and Jumping just trying to fight back here. Oh, Maple getting punished with the... Oh my god, they are just fighting! They're at... Oh, Mahofo is getting the kill on the Jumping! I, I, I just wanted to say... Oh, Hunter Fury is going to go out here. Oh. Someone's gonna get picked up by Hunter 3, but no, Hunter 3 doesn't connect. A third shot does not connect at all. 5v4 scenario after the Hunter 3. But look at them. Sherry play like a okay. rifle. Garage pick... in. Garage oh, in. Waffle. Share. Waffle and pick out. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. He gets the kill on her bomb kick still. He nearly gets the second one. Oh, but now they are trapped here. Okay. Shell share. Kills one. But Maple is still there. Oh, Maple. Maple. Okay, okay. 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 Here Jensen. we go, here we go. 1v2 Jensen. He needs to get a rifle and there's a rifle for him. Oh my god. Jensen got this. Jensen got this. He has this. Yeah. He has this. 1v2. Definitely. Spike planted. Plant goes out. Okay. He has the headline. Oh no. Oh oh. Oh oh. Okay. So okay. Wow. Okay. What is this? Jensen he just needs one kill. Yeah, he, he, has, he just needs one kill. He just needs one kill. Let's go, dude. You got this, you got this. Come on, come on. Oh, oh that smoke. Probably, maybe Jensen's favorite here. I'm not too sure. Okay, okay just think past smoke and oh my 13 god. HP. 13 HP and a dream. He can't, he can't do this. Yeah, he can't cut. A really, really well played coming in from next time, Marshall. You know, not giving that 1v1. Just keep Jigger picking him, trying to do as much damage as him possible, stay alive. And he worked out really, really well there. And you can tell how scared they are, right? Even though Jensen yeah. is like 12 kills only. Yes, it was. Yeah, they... <laughs> 
I don't know, man. I don't and know, I can, man. I, I can tell. Jumping will be in the comms like, guys, don't play. Do not give the one here. Do not give the one here. <laughs> no, and although you say Jensen having 12 kills, but all 12 kills were witnessed and all amazing plays of skill. And when we're talking about score right now, since we're talking about it, dude, Jopix is leading already. He went from bottom fragging to top fragging and over. Easy game for Jopix. Yep, Jopix is going to come in with the Blade Storm. Leading behind is the Recon Drone. And you see Mount Offos. Oh, he just oh, missed yes, the Recon Drone. And look at Jopix just pushing aggressive okay. on this. And Mount Offos doesn't expect Jopix. this. Jopix. Oh my god, the right click is going to come in. Oh, oh what? Oh, shit. <laughs> But they keep Jopix. But Hunter Shui is more, but they keep Jopix. Um, oh, 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 no, and they oh, have it. Oh, Jopix just got run! Oh, he got traded! Yeah, he got traded by Sawada. PvC scenario. Marsha, another smoke going to come to him for him. What can he do? Oh, you see the neuro tap being used here. They know what's going on. Okay. Now, this engagement. <clears throat> All three players going to be at long position. No line up will be for them and you see the TP going to come from Marsha TP going to come in Winnable, Winnable oh, Winnable, Winnable, Winnable win 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 no. They were just going to stick this Oh, 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 oh And then you see the trade back and forth and see Oh it's my free. god A Ban King oh, goes my. huge with the 2k and It's the comeback game 10 to 5 here, Kimchi Now they are one round ahead only You know, that, that, those advantage they get You know, 8-4 from the half oh, Now 10-9 Oh, I don't know, Chocolate is bringing back round after I, round, you know, I, staying resilient. I tell here. you, I, I tell you, all, all Jopix did. I think the first half really got Jopix tilted. He really got tilted. And the moment he got that ace, a few rounds ago that ace, I think that really woke him up. I think my boy is going to do well. We're going to see a very, very, very good game. Yeah, I see a marvel judge coming in uh, on the side of Kimchi. And oh, where they check? Marsha! Oh no, timing didn't go well for Mao. Marsha gets the first blood here, and they're opening here. They're oh. it's triggered and trapped. Utility is going left and right. Traffic's going in. Okay, okay. Neuro TP used on the side of chocolate. And oh, you see, double shot that's going to come to. And nope, safe plant going to come up on the side of chocolate. And yeah. Oh, but it's so low. Yeah, they, they have to try to get a kill here. They be able to get a kill here. Oh! oh. What? 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 Oh, what? 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 We went from a 0-5, ladies and gentlemen. We went from 0-5 to a tie eight, game right four. now. 2-8-4. 3-8-4. 2-10-10. Wow. That's... It's insane. Insane stuff coming from the side of chocolate. Like, they, they proved that they can stay resident, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, My man woke yeah. up. My man woke up. Japix. Man. He's going huge. And Mount of Fools, he brings out the Blade Storm here. But look at where chocolates are heading off. They are heading towards A once again. Not the C. Kimchi, also you need to step out huge time here. Getting one two kills will be good, and you have the Odin. You have the one weapon that can do it all, right? Odin, that range, you can okay. definitely. Oh, Odin, laser okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. This is gonna be very interesting. Yeah, no. Rotation. Really, just waiting for that one mistake to do. Oh, oh, they went in. Jumping, went in. Yeah, jumping. He just the dash. out. Time is being for. And look at that. They know also, he plays seven. Yeah. Okay, oh okay. God, it's gonna work. More bang here. Okay. So five four three wire triggered here. And you see, he goes for the camera. They don't know where. He, they don't know that his camera is there. He's good. Now they oh, got it. They got it. They got it. Got it. And now the old okay. will show himself. Oh, no, oh, he kills the he kills a bad king behind the wall. And oh, Josh, he just goes for the camera. Oh, that. Come in, oh, oh, come in. Oh, oh, just oh, 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 o
Who hey, who was the ace stealer? Ah? I did not see that. Who was the ace stealer? I I, I have no idea who stole Jarpix ace. Got but... another, another stolen ace. <clears throat> but Jarpix man. <sighs> oh my god, this uh, Malvos gets the blade kill, but Jarpix. Look at Malvos position. Oh, okay, okay. Operator. Gets information, know that they are coming, they are at A. Oh, Look at the they're, they're rotating out, they're rotating out. Yeah. Okay, Morpho coming for another pick. Will he see? Will he see? Yeah, a smart pick oh. coming from him. Okay. He knows he don't see anyone at A. This is the info call, but Mashi actually got tech here. <clears throat> okay, the recon drone going in together with... And Maple <laughs> gives himself up, but... Oh my god, Jumpix is here. Jumpix goes for up, jump there. She doesn't see any of them. Don't know where he go. Oh my god, Morpho! Morpho is actually here! Morpho! I think we got the kill on Morpho! Jumpix gets second kill! 2k for Jumpix coming in and they need to shut him down here. 4v3, both fronts. Morpho! Morpho, come on! Oh, Morpho. Yep. Um, I'm not sure what they want to do here, but... Ooh. Oh, look at Jensen. Oh, Jensen He's trying to go. Like, Malfoy gets oh. the op kill on the out of the here. And look at that. Oh, Jumping gets the trade. with the GK. 3v2 situation. Malfoy trying to go out with the operator. Jensen gets the kill on the Mashiah. Mashiah, and oh. now next step gets the kill on the Malfoy. Last one, one, last one, last one. He got this. Oh my god, Jumping with another 4k. Amazing, amazing guy. And it, another, another ace is stolen! Another <laughs> yeah. ace gone! Map point and match point come in on the side. Wow, 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 wow. Chocolate. And how the tights have turned, right? Being down and now you have to map and match point. Hold the turn table. Hold the turn table. Kimchi, you can tell they, they are definitely a bit more desperate here. <laughs> Despite that early good start coming from them, they are slowing oh, down wait, now. Wait, wait. We're looking at we're looking at double jet peaks. We're gonna see this again. Jarpix versus Oh wait! And what? Jarpix, Jarpix gets got the it! Win. On to my Jarpix just gets it! 5v4 now. Oh my god. Kimchi. Dude, I am I am sweating. This game definitely 100 percent is so exciting here. And you see. What is Chocolate doing? They don't just rush on behind kills, right? And you see a TP coming use. Osawada try to get information. Info is given that, hey, you know, we see them partial A and me. But you see the A hit is going to come here now. They're still going to challenge. They're going to challenge this Cypher. Okay. Slow and steady for Chocolate. They don't want to screw this up. They got man That's advantage. Not land. Yep. Once again, they clear double shock that They bait. It out and look at that the rotation back to see coming from chocolate huge big brain play coming from them no one is at sea and look at where Jarpix is already he's going to play spoilers here where you see that no Jarpix gets another one 2k coming from the side of Jarpix already needs to stop this monster and, and Jarpix goes down Maple gets the kill now for this scenario Jensen is still alive Maple is still alive holding out the flag goes down. okay Hunter Fury connects way too one, many people no kills yes Jensen three, three. gets one, three, three. unfortunately, and now Hunter Suri will be used. They baited Hunter Suri down from the side, but look at this. These, these players are going down Xiao Xue. Uh oh, that's take 50, and look at that. The shield block's gonna come out, and look at that. Oh, oh. also, yeah, nice oh. kill, but then oh. we have also 2k coming up from this guy, and now 12 to 11. Oh my god, they lost Mao for early. They lost the Wada, but 3v5 Jensen. Oh my god. Maple actually, I, I wow. mean, Maple actually killing Jumping Sand kind of helps them a lot. And then Jensen, Fossil, they all stay like, you know what, Jumping is dead. Let's go in. Let's go in now. And 3v4, they. they dude, they what, is, what is Jumping on, dude? The man, my man has 32 kills. He was bottom fragging for like how many rounds? Here. I have no idea, man. Look at Xiao Xue. Once again, opening the recon drone, and yep. There you have it. Information is being given out, and a counter recon drone being going up here on the side of um, Kimchi, but not getting much info out of it. But look at Jarpix, man. 
already opening A long. Look at this, they're just walking in without playing no. Until the last moment, you look at it, Recon goes in and now the dash comes in. They know that it's going to be A, but it's too late. It's just the one on A side and that smoke goes out, blocks all the vision. We take we will have to come in on the side of Kimchi. And what can they do here? The last few retakes didn't go down. Oh, look at the uh, the shop that's it's gonna come. Again. Coming in. Is it gonna and... land? Uh, oh. Doesn't hit. Does not hit. Does not hit. And that's it. And look Whoa, at the jumping. What? Yes, the what? Jumping going for that aggressive, aggressive life kill. Mine goes out to Jumping. Jumping's gonna be Jumping's gets one more. <laughs> so what are trades? Four v three. And you see the line coming on Xiaoxue. Jensen gets one more on Marsha. Jensen gets two. So what are gets one? He's so three v one. Now it's one to play the game. Oh my god, that's just And then we have it with you, Bozzi. And plus, Bozzi, we are going over time. It's the oh, what? We finally get an OT, dude! Oh my god! Super Definitely fast. holding it Overtime. in! Holding oh, it in! Oh. Team Kimchi refusing to back down. Saying like, no to the god of Japix. Saying yeah, no! Yeah, like Japix was like having such a dom- like, like Chocolate was having such a dominant um, yeah. problem, right? And the last two, when it's neither the most, Kimchi said, yeah, we lose man advantage. And both rounds, they lost and man advantage. We got to admit that. But somehow, some way, they still brought it back. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> 34 kills on Japix. 36. Is that 36 that you know? Uh, the thing is kind of choppy, so yeah, can't really see that. I'll find it's 36. Uh, yeah. it. My man, my man. Now OT, everything resets. They can't nice. see it's no cool. one. Yep, they know it's not C here. But now look at this mouth OT. They can call up by jumping and a dash. Oh, field dash, they punish the same. But no, <laughs> Japik somehow with a lucky man. He's away, but look at this. The fight still comes in between Japik. Jensen is holding the anger. They are not going to let go of this one. Now Japik's got some error. Uh, got some um, way to move away from this. And look at the off angle with Japik. And then we have it. Oh my god, Japik's going to oh kill Jensen. Oh my god, you can say Jensen kill. That is big. Now 5v4 situation. Let's see what. Oh, they're all gathering. They're hard, hard, huddling up. An A? There's yeah, going to be an A hit here coming from the side. A? No, oh, no, no. It's no. going to be a double back. They know that. They know that, um... Eight, no, never mind. They're this. still going back to A, bro. They're trolling us, bro. They go A, they back out, they go back in again. Yeah, but we Japix already on the flank. They know that info is given here. It's going to be a full A. They know they see no one at C long. This is definitely going to be an A or C. Japix holding the much needed angle that Chocolate needs here. And Sawada gets the first kill next time. Now info has been given. Look at Japix. That's going to come around the flank. Will they be able to get everything in place before Japix comes around? Yes, Maple gets the kill on a banking. And now, 4v3 scenario. Japix still on the flank. Anyone will spot him. He's going to try to get Oh, 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 he the DP. Got it. Easy, 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 easy. 3v3 here. Okay. He knows what more he shot. I think he saw him. I think, I think he saw him. And yeah, look at that. Look at Okay, Boso. okay. Oh my god, Xiaoxue has killed Boso. And Japix comes in the flank. Last one, last one, last one. And now Mawa falls in a 1v3. Goes down to Xiaoxue. Xiaoxue with the 3k. Xiaoxue with the 3k. My god. Tell you, is this like this 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 person that we never look at in, in the rounds and he just Switching silently down. comes in. Match point. Yeah, so silently Xiaoxia comes in like, with all the kills. Xiaoxue is like he, amazing, amazing, amazing 15 year old. 15 years old? Am I hearing this right? Bro, years. what are oh, kids right eating here. these days, ah? Uh? I swear <laughs> they all eat mouse, yeah. But, but I mean, right, we, we keep talking about Japix, right? But you look at Marsha, Xiaoxue. Both have 17 Bro. kills each. It's not 100% a Japix show here. 100% I can say that. But definitely, Japix definitely, definitely. Japix definitely giving like 70% of the muscles, right? And just having 30% of his team. It's just all a team game. Else. It's all a team game. Yep. Oh, oh, with that. oh, that is big. That is big. That is big. That is big. Mao Waffle sacrificed every single thing to bring out an operator. That and that operator kill. works out well. But look at that Japix just trying to punish this meat again. I, I don't know what's with Japix and meat. He, he loves to just keep doing this meat thing. And look at that Mao Waffle just going to put clearly this. this every, every round he W's into me. Yeah, what's going on? And you look at Maple, you know, oh no. Oh no. Uh, that smoke actually is going to not allow the recon drone to catch um, Japix out. So they have no idea where Japix is. But look at this. 
already rotation into garage here. Oh, Xiao Xia is not going to check this one. And the oh, wait, oh, 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 one kill in return and look at this one waffle oh he misses the shot but there we have jensen there to okay, okay 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 waffle might get this oh. one waffle doesn't get the second kill here and they're going to oh, be but he gets the tag he actually gets the tag yeah oh okay 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 and the recon and, and the shot that oh with another shot that kill yeah oh but my god two, jumping still alive jumping gets the clear shot on maple can't see the trade one v2 marcia versus Bosso and maple and oh my god the timing doesn't fit here i think he's going to try to oh. this maple thinks him we are going to double ot here Double overtime! Inside. My god! Overtime. And the oh, technical force will be used on the post. side of Kimchi once again. Uh oh. That goes there. That means uh -oh. having issue on pause. That means having issue on pause here. Can't you type to them? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yep, 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 yep. It's paused oh. out. It's paused out. Yeah, we got Barry Fam stepping up for us. Our, our production team is having problem bossing. I don't know. I think the game is like kind of glitching itself right at, at this point. You know, the game like... cannot take so much Japix. They cannot yeah. take this. Yeah, now we'll go disconnect, reconnect. And look at next step. Just trying to like shoot the ball. You know? Just trying to get his aim in control and a good warm up, right? Oh, man, 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 Japix. Holy. Yeah, we, we look at the we look at the scoreboard and you know why mm. the score is like that because you you, you look at the scoreboard and you see Japix on the top right and mm -hmm. of course it's quite obvious, but you look at the side of Kimchi, it's more like a team effort. Everyone is stepping up. We, we, obviously, you had the big names like My, Maple, Jensen, and Malfos, but um Sawada and Fosso they are also stepping up to the game. So you can see it's like a team game versus you know a partial chocolate that's mm -hmm. going on here. But yeah, a Bun King. I mean, he he. He gets kills when he's needed, right? That 2k. I mean, yeah. I mean okay. although we give we give the the top fraggers the props, everybody is stepping up. Everybody in their team is just doing what they need to do. Yep. And I think they both sides are ready. And we are back into the double OT. Ooh. Let's get this show rolling once again. You see. <clears throat> Who do we have? Okay, Kimchi. Kimchi decides to go for this, but look at the aggressive pick coming on. Oh, Jumping! 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 Goes down to Jensen. Oh no, the pick doesn't work out for him. And now five v four, just like that. Okay, you for Kimchi, you 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 get the big man out of the way, you know. But of course, the recon drone sees that, and info goes out. But you you get the big man off the you get the big man out of the way, right? Yeah. Kimchi. Yeah. Time for you, but... I, I, don't I don't know, I don't know. The thing is that like I said, we keep crediting uh Japix for being for being good, but you have to know that the, the his team is not bad. His yeah, team Celsius is stepping is up, Celsius, yeah, all of them are stepping it up. And they know the fact that they know Japix is down, they're gonna step up even further. Yeah, look, at it, look at it, look at that, look at that! That's the first kill on also making the 4v4, but now he's hunting for this kill here. He's just going to swing out, you know where the guy is. You look at the pre fire coming here, just easy. That. Jensen gets another one, so 4v2, easy. just like that! Kimchi playing it right, not going for any mass challenge here or overstep here. And look at that next step, a banking. You want to give your round. You want to give your team a chance to win this. They have to win it here first. Two v four. What can they do here? And you see, look at that next step. A really nice pick fire displacement being used. Right now. One gets another one. Who is it? Maple gets one. Okay. One v one scenario here. Yeah. No one. Maple. Maple clutching with the 34, 34 HP. Dude, he Maple Maple is just clutch. Yeah, and, and we were saying right, like we can't sleep on the other team, other guys on chocolate. Right? Look at a really? banking, you know. Cannot double kill. <sighs> wow, proud of it. I already got his game. Wow, I, I, I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm pushing myself over and over again, but now you have match point for the side of Team G. Will they be able to secure this, or will Chocolate be able to bring this to a triple overtime? Okay. Let's take a look at this and yep, an A aggression will be coming outside of chocolate. Also, we, Odin we, once again. <laughs> 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 
Okay, right. okay, they heard him, they heard him. Next Coming step. in. They are gonna push him. Rotisha to come now. Rotisha is still oh. coming out really, really slow here. Yeah. Planted. Okay, planted. All coming in, everyone's coming in. Oh, 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 get the first gun now. Marsha and the spray down comes from the Odin. Uh, not connecting at all, but 5v4 scenario on the side of PG. Will they be able to do this? Four more kills and they'll be able to bring back Marcel Shell with the recon get slided out. And look at this. We just got from here and they know there's two and there's no skills! Marcel Shell gets one. It's now Marcel Shell in the four. And it's a flawless end for the side of Team Chi and finally it fulfills. They managed to shut down John Lix. And there we have it. 15-30. Team Chi stepping huge time. Close game to both sides. G G G G G G G What was that? That amazing display of skill, my god, but like oh. Man, definitely, I, I, definitely. We we did not expect Jafix, brother man. Jafix, brother man. <laughs> Thirty eight kills, two more to forty bomb. How are you? How are you forty bombing this game? What? This is not pubs. This is a tournament. Thirty eight kills on Jafix, ridiculous. Um, but like I said, Marvelfuls, Jensen, Maple. Remember, I brought out the three. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. three step up, and yeah, you 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 got that, and you see that the difference is Marsha and Next Step couldn't keep up with the. The other two, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, but you see, like Xiao Xue, uh, a Bang King. The 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 reason why some of these rounds are even this close is because people like Xiao Xue, a Bang King, who are not mm -hmm. who are who have a, a slow start. You know, they start to slowly catch up with the likes of Fosso and Sawada. And when that happens, you have a really really close game. So yeah, fifteen thirteen. Congratulations to Kim Chi and oh my god, yeah, and oh my god, I I can tell you this um. It's, it's I, chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> well, looks like predictions were out. We were wrong. I was wrong. Hey, hey, I, I was right. I, I, I put kimchi. You in. were right. Um, you were right. You were yeah. right. But my man, they, they gave us a really, really good. Uh, that was show. a very good game. That was yeah, a very, I, very, very intense. And, yeah, I, I got to say, uh, we. Game. Yeah, while we continue to talk about the game, let's take a look at the bracket for a quick one. You okay, know, okay. Uh, yeah, this is what the bracket is looking like. Uh, we have. Um, hmm, what do we have? Chocolate going down to the lower bracket and Kimchi, they will be staying alive to play the upper bracket and it will be either Cookie or Cupcake here which it will be casted um, by... Uh, it will be casted by our lovely um, Soul Berry as well as um, Shadow Banjo, our talented Shadow Banjo but of course before we end off this um, I would like to have a last thought from Cinderfaith because this will be your last time casting here on the uh, on the Barry Fam uh, tournament. So what are your final thoughts after casting six games in two days? I don't know how y'all cast games. This is my first time casting. I got invited to do this casting. Oh, I'm tired, sir. Right, other than that, so far it's been an awesome journey to, to cast with you guys. Thank you guys for inviting me to cast. Uh, I think uh, hopefully I wish all teams the best of luck. Uh, they got this. I think um, I'll definitely be keeping my eyes up on some some interesting games. See you guys in chat. Anyway, once again, Gunless, I thank you for being my co-host, for being a good friend and carrying me through all this casting journey. Uh, um, and yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody in the, the Berry Fam family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, no, no worries, man. Um, yeah, so that's it from me, uh, Gunless 2K, which I, I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll cause... To, uh, from Cinderfaith as well and yeah we will see you guys in uh, uh, we will see you they will see you guys later after this and short then, break so then wait wait so I got no more games to cast AD right yeah I'm coming no! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's uh, we, uh, we will see you guys later uh, with uh, Shadow Banjo and uh, Barry and Soul Barry yeah see All you guys right. take care peace
Barry, Barry, you want to do the opening or I do the opening? You know, it, it should it's be you. Life. Mm? Hello. It should... Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm Soul Barry, and beside me, we have our professional caster, Shadow Banjo. What's up? Okay. Yeah, he's he casted for us like for our previous tournament, and there you go. And you guys know how good he is, right? And here he we have again him, Shadow Banjo, and he'll be casting uh this uh the later the later games. And yep. yep. So first we have our Cookie first game will be cupcake. Cookie. Yes, Cookie and Cupcake will be in the map split. Mm. Yeah. So that the game just now was so hectic, though. It was so everyone was just like on point, like super crack, you know, team kimchi, mm -hmm. team chocolate, both of them. Oh my god, the both teams so good. But team kimchi will be advancing to round two, win the bracket. And mm -hmm. chocolate will most probably go to the lower uh, loser bracket. They will have a second chance. Um so good luck to them. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the game? Uh, said the I I watched every single moment of it. I have to say everyone was cracked today. Everyone had their games on point. Everyone's aim was on sharp. But I have to give props to. I think I have to give props to Maple. Uh, no, not you know, like not fragging as much as he could. But I think with like what Gunless and uh, with Gunless and Cinderfe just said, the triple, the trios of that team actually made them, uh, you know, made the game happen. Eventually, they took the game and they won them and won themselves like, the game and proceed moving towards our sixth match, which is going to be later on today. But uh, I have to say, Donut was being so awesome match as well. At no. Like no cap, that was the most epic match of them all. But have to give, uh, I mean, Donut was a big I mean, Sandra, Saktif, uh, F God, all these players are like absolutely cracked. But I have to say, Barry, what are your predictions for the next up uh, for the next match? Ah, oh, this is also very stacked, like Cookie. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, Cookie, we have okay, Skullman. Okay, Skullman captain is really cracked. I think he usually plays uh, duelist. Hopefully we'll get to see him play duelist. And not to forget, Cookie has uh, a really, really nerd Sova. You guys will most probably gonna see it later, Kenzo. And on the other hand, we have Cupcake. Cupcake has okay. Who is in Cupcake? Let me see. Uh, we have Ritofu. Yeah, Omega X. Omega yes. X. <laughs> He's also another level. So yeah, it's really, really, really like gonna be a tight match. I would say. But I am so far on the screams. Um, the cookies are the one winning a lot during the screams. So, yeah, I'm not so sure about like who's gonna be better. Like they're both like both teams are super good. Yep. Oh, oh, oh it's better. Oh, <laughs> yes. hey yo, hi, Team Cookie Captain and Team Cupcake Captain. How are you guys? Hello. <laughs> hi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Nervous? Okay, okay. No, not nervous. No, no, no. Must have, must have, <laughs> yeah, must have positive thing. Uh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Since we, oh, yeah. What what do you guys think about your teammates though? Like Team Cookie, like honestly, your team is really stacked. What do you guys think? Are you like happy to have this, like you know, good members in yeah, your I'm, team? I'm 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 happy, man. Because we are using Mandarin to commit. Yeah, we are using Mandarin. All of us can talk Mandarin. Oh so, wow! Okay, that's nice. Okay. It's easy for me because my English is not really good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. How about you, Cupcake? Oh my God, X. What do you think of your teammates? The roster. Yeah, okay, uh, I mean, like, I have a good IGL. Eros is good IGL. Mm. Um, I have player one and Rito Fu. Uh, your your sons, you know, they say they are your they are your sons. Uh oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they always call okay, me mom. Oh my God! Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we will see. We will see later. Anything to add, um, Shadow Banjo? To that? Well, 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 since both of the captains are here, we'll go back to our traditional, and I mean traditional, this came from the last tournament. So, Skullman, Omega, you two are here, both respective team captains for both teams. But before we even proceed to the coin flip and we start off with the match, I want you two to have a friendly banter, a friendly trash talk, okay? Friendly, uh, yes, talk yes. Wow. Give, it, wow. give it your best shot, okay? Give it your best shot. <laughs> okay, we start off with Omega first. No, this kind of. Honestly, uh, I got nothing to say. I uh, just like good luck, have fun, and like if we get 13-0, I'll get OT. All good, all good, you know. 
Oh. In the end, we just make friends only. Yeah, we just make friends. Okay. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah, yeah, peace oh and my love. god. Everyone's so friendly. <laughs> la. Everyone's so friendly today. I mean, this, I mean, this is the first day. So uh, I wish you guys best of luck because your games are going to be coming up. But nonetheless, Barry, would you do the honors of having the coin flip? Yep. All right. Okay, so um, I have a 501 coin here. And the numbers, 500 will be the heads and the bird will be uh, tail. So who would like to go for heads and who would like to go for tail? Any preferences? Skull one, go for head. Skull one, go for head? Okay. So Cookie will go for head and Cupcake will go for tail. All right. It's going to be tail. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I will take Defender first. Okay, so Team Cupcake will be taking on Defenders and Team Cookie will be taking on Attackers first on the map split. Good luck, guys. Okay, good oh luck. my god. Thank you for casting. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the best. <laughs> all the best, chaps. Okay. <sighs> oh my oh. lord. Okay. <laughs> so, Gunless had two crack games, okay? We are, we are gonna... We are not expecting less from these two teams that are gonna be competing right now on our on our first cast, which is gonna be match number three between Team Cookie versus Cupcake. But I have to say, uh, familiar old names, Barry. We got Kenzo, we got Player One, Ridofu, Skalman. You know, all these players did. I think uh, some of them did play on the first uh, on the first tournament. But we have to see how this goes. And they're gonna be playing on split, and Cupcake will be starting on the defending side. Uh, as we all know, Split is a uh, very defender side of the map. Sometimes it more favors the attackers if they have a very good coordination intact. But I have to say, what are your predictions, Barry? My prediction? I mean, the previous tournament, Team Cookie was the champion. Hopefully, mm -hmm. they can keep up the legacy, although it's a different, you know, members. But, mm -hmm. okay, hopefully they'll keep up, keep up the legacy. And I think, for me, for this game, Team Cookie will be the one taking this game. Okay. Uh, how about and you? How about you, Shadow Banjo? For me, statistically speaking, Cookie, yes, it, they are the current champions to beat. They're current, they are the current team to beat, although the roster is changed up by a little bit. But I have mm -hmm. to say, they have to keep up with their legacy. You know, they, will they keep up with their legacy or will uh, Cupcake take them down? You know, eventually, you know, bring this into a whole new other level of Berry Fam tournament because we have seen different stuff happen in the Berry Fam tournament. You know, teams that are, you know, predicted to win somehow, they just, you know, not, they were not there to show off their full potential. But I have to say, since you're going with Cookie, I'm going with Cupcake. All right. Okay. We will see. We will see. Are the predictions ready though? All right, we will. See. Oh, All let me right. see the predictions. Uh... Oh, Cookie has a ninety-eight oh, percent. What? Oh wait, ninety-eight percent is a bit too much though. Wait, come on, oh. guys, give some love to Team Cupcake. Come on, come on, you know? guys. Come <laughs> on, guys. Oh my God, Team Cupcake. They got only twelve percent for now, but eighty-eight mm -hmm. percent goes to Team Cookie. But, um. I have to say it is it's not weird to have this kind of prediction rates because you know Team Cookie, uh, looking at their roster right now, they they have Skowman especially as their captain, which I can mm -hmm. say, uh, pretty solid lineup. But Cupcake as well, you know, Omega X is a really scary player. Not gonna lie, because with uh, with, I mean, so far I've seen a lot of aimers in the tournament. I can say Omega is one of the most. Uh, has the most crispy aim of amongst all the all the good aimers. Not gonna lie, like Omega is gonna yeah, be one yeah. of them on the table. Not to forget Kenzo though. Like sometimes Kenzo just somehow match MVP. Like recently, mm -hmm. he has been doing so well on the screams, and he's been getting match MVP a lot lately. Yep. Well, which is just weird because he used Sentinels, and yet mm -hmm. getting you know getting so much frags. Like how is mm -hmm. that even possible? Really? That, so you gotta that, look up to him. That will be another day for we discuss. But we're <laughs> gonna be jumping into match really, really shortly. But I have to say, like you said, Barry, things can happen in the tournament. We will not know till it does. But we're gonna be jumping right on to game. This is match number three between Team Cupcake versus Team Cookie. Team Cupcake will be starting on the defender side, and Cookie will be starting on the attacking. Agents has been locked. Oh, we, okay. Okay. 
so everything is going all good so a li little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff happening are now on the production side but not a small problem but looking at the agents as now small glimpse of it um i could say pre very default lineups for the for the most of the time you no know, very default agents which uh you know but i have to say omega is pretty scary omega looks pretty scary on this tournament yeah uh, i mean the both watermelon bracket players are using race uh i'm not sure whether we see a race diff here because both players are really strong to be honest nonetheless on split and we have some players not on their signature agents but we can see team on the attacking side we have two they're running two duelists on the defender side, they're only running two duelists, but the duelists are gonna be different. They have a jet on the defending side, and attacking we have a raised. So things could play out differently. We'll see how the attackers could mess up the defenders' momentum. Because if you're defending first, you would need to have more points as you go on, because you want to close out the game on attacking later on. But I don't know, Barry. What like what what does Team Cupcake need to do right now as a defender? Team Cupcake. Well, I mean, they should not over rotate, especially. But but who knows? You know, like they might play aggressive or like say, there you go. We see the aggression here, right there. Zane oh, shells going out already. Elbow gets tagged up. Running in the frenzy gets the first kill. Skullman is there for the first blood, but trade off. Omega, Omega, with two gets two kills for himself. Gets three. Hank will be trading him off. What? Will Hank get the kill? But no, she will trade off a Hank as a Hank will trading one off. But the rocks is will be there getting the last kill onto CWL and an explosive round coming from Omega. Oh my lord, that aggression from Team Cookie though. Well, I mean, that was a good effort. I mean, attacking is not easy, to be honest. Yeah, it, it is not yeah, easy. Yeah, and wow, the rotation from defender side so fast. They were like running a spit of light. It just, you know, retake the side so quickly. It was so hard for the attackers to go in. Yep, but good effort. Was... Yeah, that was good effort from the attackers. They made a they made a good run. They started off strong, but a little bit drop momentum after Omega actually got three picks off his own. But patient for going on to market, not landing onto anybody. So we just backs off for now. But I rarely see we will rarely see Silver on split. But I think we can make it work. Player one gets one with the Spectre, will not get the second. As Brady will be taken off, the only smoker in the team gets taken out this early in the game, and they'll have trouble pushing onto side already because Omen. Or any other smoke on attack is the most important uh, agent of them all. You cannot be picked off at that early stage of the game. But right now, we're so being real sneaky. But oh, Skullman just takes off a Rox's head. Instantly gone and beaming is there for the control. But Kenzo will get the kill onto Omega this time. Now four versus three. Kenzo pushing up onto B Heaven already. Will he get the pick? But no, she will get the kill onto CWL. Player one will get the kill onto Kenzo down to a 3v2. Player one has to have B Heaven hold on dearly for his life. Do not let it go. Smoke being popped out onto mid, and she will be holding onto B main as Kalman and a Hank will be right down onto B main holding each other's backs. Right now, she just backs off, but Skullman has gotten the info. Right now, oh, the defenders are actually rotating left. back to A. They do not know where Skullman and uh, Hank is, as for now, they're gonna be slowly creeping in. G! Bad timing! No, he looks away! Skullman gets the kill on the G, and now B side is there for the take. Skullman is the respecter, gets the kill onto player one, and right now, Pace is going up to B heaven, not landing onto anyone, but. Omen will be there as we know will he be there to save the day. Dark Harvest going out already. Gets tagged out by one shot. Skullman fighting with him, but Skullman with the 4k. Retakes that eco round for themselves and defenders are gonna be having a hard time after this. Oh, that, I got a compliment Team Cookie. I mean the timing was that they were really disciplined, waiting, waiting for the defenders to try to rotate. They thought that they might have rotated to A because they were hiding at B main, right? And she didn't spot that. And she thought that he, he kind of took a peek on B main, but he thought there was no one. So he thought it was A and he was just chilling. Turns out they were just waiting at B main and just pushing in without she, you know, she wasn't looking. It was really unfortunate for Team Cupcake. Yep, but so as far as start, strong start from the attacker, so Hank pulls it out already. Cookie, will he get the kill? Yes, he will. Hank gets the first kill onto Omega. Those are the captains respectively, but player one gets the trade on the CWL. Here goes your stage. Player one holds on to deal level elbow, but Skullman will be there to take him out. Shoulder step 
just teleports right up onto heaven. Right now, Skullman will be there onto Amit. Eroxus, nice shot. Kendo, and Hank will be there as Raid. Eroxus gets two for himself. Now down to a 2v2. And Hank will get the kill onto Chi. They're now down to a 1v1v2 1v1 from Eroxus with a Sheriff. And with 95 HP and overhealed Reyna. Will he get the kill onto the woman first? Yes, he will. Another kill. Yes, he does. There's a Eroxus. That is, that is not fair. That is not what? fair. It is illegal. It is a tournament. It's not ranking. How? It's a tournament. Sheriff, if four kills, oh. by the way, even the Spectre can't even defeat that with Erexus and that Sheriff. You know, it's not about what gun you use. It's about the cross and placement. We talked oh, about this oh, yesterday. Gosh. And Erexus is really showing us how it's gonna, how it's gonna be done with a well. Sheriff. Oh well, this is gonna bring Team Cupcake back on their feet as they're gonna be bringing this momentum up to speed. As I said, they need as much round as they can get when you start up as a defender on a map like Split. But the attackers are not showing any signs of weakness just yet. As everyone still looks good on economy, nothing's nothing much detrimental. But oh, they're going for the A rush again. Cookie going up for the start strong. Mori running up to heaven. Double dash back. Skullman with the showstopper going in, checking the site, but no one would be on site and. Site is clear for cookies for the taking. Shows how to get shot off, but Omega will be there to be waiting right down on the bench just in case of any lurkers. Kalman holding on position onto site. Kenzo slowly creeping down to Amy, but player gets killed onto a hang first. Will Kenzo get another pick right onto Amy? We're catching up by Skullman. Oh, trade down with Omega down and four trades are happening everywhere. Kenzo gets the one to play one. Omega gets a kill onto Brady. Omega gets another trade onto Kenzo. Trades going back and forth. Roxis will eventually get the last kill onto CWL and third round. Goes on to Cupcake, winning two rounds in a row. Oh, like, I not gonna lie, Team Cupcake's defending is really strong, to be honest. And the thing is, what I like about Team Cupcake, Cupcake is the fact that Team Cookie goes in really aggressively to A, right? And the Team Cupcake, whoever is on A side, the defender side, they try not to, you know, try to wait for their teammates to, you know, rotate first, and then they will retake together as a five man. They don't try to push fights they can't get because it was smoked and everything. They don't push their luck, they just wait for the rotation. That was a really good like job well done to Team Cupcake. Oh, but this is gonna be a this they have explosive three rounds already for the defenders. As Team Cupcake grabs themselves a two-point lead against Team Cookie. But Team Cookie not showing. Oh, this is a Rox is gonna be on the up this time. A CWL. With the team, is going to be checking down onto Beam and Omega with the face shot, checking the bus hiding in the corner, but Omega will be blast back inside the dodge of some of the utilities, but not dodging everything. As Team Cookie is actually hiding on Beam main, making fake movements. They lost one member, but four members are still alive. They are still holding on to Beam main with the gear life, not making any sudden moves. But Omen will be onto mid. We'll be lurking all around to check any if anyone wants to peek. Brady is going to be using all of his smokes down already, but Team Cookie already explosive star. Blast pack going in. Skullman gets the kill onto the Roxis. There goes the off, switching off to the off. Oh, dropped out the hell. Will he get the kill? Skullman! One more shot does the job onto Ridofu as Ridofu just wills on everything. With that paranoia being landed on him as player one. Lockdown being initiated as Omega X will be onto B Heaven. Slowly creeping up as the defenders have to play for retake at this point. Player one already moving up onto the plant. Using the spike already, we'll be sticking out to her, but she will get the kill onto Skullman. The Hank swings wide, gets she. Oh no, player one! Player one! Oh no! Player one just took the risk. Oh my god, they say pros don't fake, and there you go. We got player one here showing us how it's supposed to be done. Not letting go of that spike. <laughs> oh, his name is player one, you know? You don't mess with him. He has now. <laughs> Show that pros really don't fake as he takes a third round in a row. Exactly, he he trusted his teammates. He trusted his oh teammates that the teammates god. would be there to defend him, and while he just defused the spike. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so detrimental to the mentality for Team Cookie. That is not looking good at all. But we're gonna be new round, new start. Team Cookie will be attempting for a mid push this time, not going for the direct A or B side pushes. Now, Arrow's three, three people still on mid. Shooting down the wall, not making any sudden movements just yet. But we have two players from Team Cupcake will be holding on to Heaven. Now Brady smoking off onto be Heaven again. They'll be going for a B push this time. They're just waiting for the right timing as Kalman will be there. Ready to, ready to blast back in surely. 
as Roxas will be there with the Phantom holding down on this tight angle. Kenzo has recon darts, has his Hunter Fury up, and has his owl drones. Oh, going for that recon dart. Will he get the lineup that he needs? Recon dart will be sending it out, landing right on to B site. Tags out CWL and Hank Ori, but Skauma will be there. Strouder step goes on top of the wall, but he gets put out by a Rox. will be taking now down to 4v4. Skauman still holding on to his dual life, will be holding the angle onto heaven, but she will be there on CT. The defenders are not making the moves yet, but resurrection comes. Right, Roxas will be there for the updraft till win, but not getting much off. But she will be there for the triple kill. She with the quad kill and finish off the game, but he will get an ace! What? Just get an ace! He there was an, an ace for Chi? Oh my yes. lord! Hey. Look at him, top frag him the sage, battle sage right there! The so good! What oh in the world? Oh my god, I just realized. I just realized that. Oh my god. I, I, I thought it was a 4k at first, but I forgot that CWL was playing. Um, would be playing Sage as well. So, you right one of his teammates that was be pick, picked down, which is the Omer to the Brady, but eventually she will be there to just sweep out everyone off their feet. But attackers call for their first timeout. So one minute left on the clock, so they have to discuss everything. But Barry, like yep. defenders right now, having four rounds in a row, now it's down I to five to am one. So shocked, honestly. To be yeah. honest, I, I'll, I guess. Okay, first of all, okay, I although I support Team Cookie, but you gotta know that split is a really hard map to attack. To be honest, like mm -hmm. I've been playing a lot of split matches, and I feel defenders just seems to be, uh, it's much more favorable for defenders. So it's really too early to say they might come back, who knows, hopefully for Team Cookie because they really do need, you know, to win more rounds to catch up and close the gap. I don't know, what do you think, Shadow Banjo? I think that attackers have to really, really, really talk uh, talk about this because they had that one minute timeout talk. I hope that, I think, uh, Skull, I think uh, Skullman was the captain. No, 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 wait, hold on. Let me check back the round. Yeah, 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 Skullman is the captain yeah, Skullman, for Cookie. Skullman is the captain for Team Cookie, so they call for the timeout. You know, remaining 15 seconds left on the bye phase as well. So they're going to have to talk, uh, they got to rethink, rethink their strategies and everything. And they have to just come back stronger. They have to make those executes more precise because with the way Cookie executes is a really strong exploding start. But nonetheless, they just fail to execute onto post mid games. But as right now we can see, strong explosive start as first as as what Team Cookie usually does. But right now they already got sight. But right now comes to the crucial part, post plant situation. As of right now, they have no one a single post plant situation for now. But C -O -L will be planting the spike. Spike is going to be down. Ooh, loses the fight onto A main. Omega gets two. Brady will get the kill onto Rado. Both of one moment down. And right now, down to a TV4. With Team Cookie and Team Kaki. Right now, things are going fast. Things are moving fast forward as. Oh, player one gets killed to a hang. Hang gets killed. CWL gets straight onto player one. Right now, down to this 2v3 situation. That's the attack that's going to get pinched. CWL, wait a minute. No, everyone. No, Omega, you just ripped the shot. We just ripped the crucial shot. But Roxas will be there to clean up the game. As Omega will be there to finish off the round. You'll be hold. Like, like I said, Barry, attackers, Cookie, they start off strong. But they just keep. They, they yeah, failed I on just, post plan. I just don't get it. Okay, they, they get the site, okay, security, but they they are having a really hard time just trying to defend and protecting the spike. Yes. Uh, yeah, because I feel Omega X is doing a lot of plays. He's like making space for the team. He is always just killing people in Team Cookie somehow. Yep, he is taking... always. Yeah, he's always there so for the easy. job. Yeah. It is. It makes it so it makes it so easy for him. But I have to say there was a little bit of a position issue coming up from Team Cookie, but hope they still got this in the back. I think they'll be going for another A execute with that pain shot throwing off onto A main. But Kauman will be there leading the charge. But all the members of Team Cookie are already inside. But right now, here comes the part where they need to fix. And right now they're gonna be going on to post match situation. Wall being shot down already by Omega. Block. The wall is almost broken, and right now Pinch is being thrown out right onto Brady! Brady cannot escape, and you will get taken out by Omega. Roxas will get the kill onto Hank. Right now down to a 2v3 Omega with the showstopper. Gets another kill onto Kenzo. Will he go for that wide swing on the left side? Another Pinch being thrown out. He goes back on the corner. He gets a 3k. Oskar will get the kill onto Rito. Put down to a 2v1 showstopper. Gets the kill onto G, and now down to a 1v1 between Omega and Skullman. But Omega just sticks the spike to use. He will get the kill as well! Oh my lord! Omega, that is not fair! Why are you oh. smurfing in the tournament? Oh, but 
you know, we've seen a lot the same place that Team Cookie is going for, right? They just try to push A to get the spike planet down. And again, again and again, they fail, you know, to defend the spike. What maybe I feel like they can do something different is, you know, have someone lurk and backstab them from behind because we have never seen like a flanker yet so far. They are just yeah. dedicated to plant the spike and try to protect, but they're not doing it well. Oh, but I think we see something different here. Yep. We see the brace. Yep, we see really different. Yeah, Skullman. As you mentioned, no one was lurking. Skullman will be there for the lurk. Right now, attackers down to six <gasps> rounds. But oh, a Hank already taking out player one. Ooh, this is going to be a real spicy right here. As Team Cookie has the lead. Oh, Skullman just sneaked up onto vents. No one noticed him. No one knows he's there. No one actually knows he's there. Oh, Rito Fu! Not looking at the spot! He gets secured to Rito and Hank gets secured to Omega. This is looking bad for Team Cupcake as Roxy will be rotating down onto CD, but she gets back up a little bit. Killing Mr. Rubus at the now, but Skullman will be there for the duel, but not winning the duel at all, but she will be taking him out. Now down to a 4v2 situation. More being shot down, she. And she and the Rock since make this happen. A 4v2 dream, 46 HP left on the jet, but Playstorm is there for him. But who doesn't know where Brady is? Brady is right on to heaven. Shooting down on the bullet. Oh, but Rooks is with a nice flick. Gets onto Brady, but Hank will be there to take him out for that trade onto Ramps. Now down to a 3v1. Can she make this happen? And now down to the third tick of the spike. Not much time left. Only 20 seconds left for his own timing. But oh, Hank going for the aggressive push. Trying to hunt for Chi. Oh, Regan Dart is going to be spotting him out. Shots it too late. Uh, Hank has the op in hand. Oh, Chi just doesn't get the kill onto that Silva. And he just lost his life with the spike. Down it together. But yeah. uh, Hank eventually picks up the op. So that's a really, really big pickup for them. And there you go. That is the winning round. That the different strats, you know, having a lurker really puts a lot of difference. And there, Team Cookie finally get to win a round after so long hopefully to see four more <laughs> oh, um, no. oh my guys okay. chat <laughs> zero chat? kills we don't really chat so hey. me. come on yeah, oh but we start off a rope to split that place one gets the first cut to hank reckling misses shorty just misses but brady will be there for the kill Right now, Team Cookie is starting out strong. Already 5v4. Gets the first pick, but she will be there for the standby with the shorty as well. But a good pick nonetheless coming up for Roxas, but she will... No, but uh, sorry. She will be there for the revive, but not, not she, sorry. It was uh, it, it was that it was Team Cookie's race, but right now Skullman will be there, double blast packing on to TT, just for making some noise, setting up the boom bot as well, but Team Cookie going for the deep push already. Already inside, but Omega with the nice one dig! Just takes him out from the board, now down to a 4 v situation, it's the winnable 4, Defenders, whoa, Rito, nice shot onto Brady! And that is the moment, that is the one pick that you need, right now they don't have, the Team Cookie doesn't have an omen now, but the Hank will be there for the first shot onto Omega, gets the kill, first off kill for the round, but Rito will be there with the scattered weak, and right now Rito stays on to B main, and Hank knows where he is, but he doesn't quite know where Rito's position is, click onto it, but... Eventually, Kenzo will fall and Rito will fall to CWL. Yeah, props, props to Team Cookie for finally getting the momentum they need. The strats, yeah, they're trying to, you know, adapt. That's really good for Team Cookie. But, man, this game, Team Cupcake is really showing us that Sheriff is the way to go with, with that one tap. Rito Fu got his first kill finally with a Sheriff one tap. Okay, chat, you saw that. Okay, yep. he's proving he's proving himself. <laughs> that's, a, that's a clean one tap as well for for Radofu especially. I mean, he has improved a lot since when we first started the tournament. Uh, can't say he has improved, but uh, although I see progress on the scripts, he has definitely improved a lot. But right now we have our tenth round in as going to be Skull, you know, eleventh round. Sorry, as Skullman. Everyone holding on their positions. As player one will be holding on to be alone this time. He was solo holding as Brady will be going for that super push. Omega on Rams. He's going to be holding dear, dearly on this. But right now we can see Kenzo with Hunter's Fury. And a Hank with that Empress. But Lockdown is available for the side of Team Cupcake. It's nonetheless, there's nonetheless that 
this could go bad for Team Cookie, but eventually it will go bad for both teams as well. If one team just makes one slight mistake, let's go, man, with the double splash plus gets the kill on to Roxis immediately. Run of first frag being done. He draws first blood. Will the team draw second, third, and fourth? For right now, teams are gonna be going. The defenders are gonna be retaking that site as Delma will be down on to fast. Holding on to heaven dearly, but Omega. The Hank with the off as well. Hunter Street being popped. Now Genzo will be tagging someone. No, he won't. But Rito and Omega will get the kill onto Brady and Skullman trading back and forth as Omega. So Stopper gets the kill onto a Hank. And Omega throwing out with the pencil. Genzo with one kill onto Rito. Gets the trade. Will he get the second? But no, he won't. As Team Cupcake get a run. Another round for themselves. Clean, clean retake coming up from Team Cupcake. I mean, they're going back to the same strategy again, like, in the push A. And this strat doesn't seem to work for them somehow, for Team Cookie. When they aggressively get to secure A side, and then the re and then the defenders come to retake. And the retake is so strong that they can't even do anything. Yep, they can't do anything because, like, as I think Team uh, Cupcake learned for them is learn from their previous uh, mistakes. As when Team Cookie just hard pushes on the exploding push coming up to Cookie, always they took three rounds for them. I think right now Team Cupcake has already read through the what read through what are they gonna be doing after that rush, and so as well they are always they are already prepared for this. But right now Rox is down with the up will not get the kill. Norman throwing the pinch shots onto A main. Oh, missing the shot onto CWL by Pixel. Then our rocks is going for the aggressive pull. Oh, showstopper, double blast pack going onto side, clears off side. Showstopper shoots onto a shoots onto screens, but not tanking the rocks by a little bit as well. But a hang, ooh, nice shot onto Riddle. Right now, no omen for the defenders, but ooh, nice trade coming up from a hang and player one. Right now, player one is still holding on to be heaven, looking down onto elbow. Right now, the defenders have to make a move at this point. Rooks is stuck onto screens with the op. Shots are being thrown out. Rooks is giving nothing out of the mail, but player one gets to get onto Brady. Now, down to a 3v3. CW will be there for the trade for Chief. Right now, Elman will be there for the trade for Rooks, and player one gets to get onto Kenzo. Now, down to a 1v2. Will player one do it? Will he get the ace crush of his life? Picks on the CWL, but CWL says no. He wants that last round and will be switching sides switching from this side. point. Oh wow, player one. I mean, damn, that this Killjoy. Really what? We have a battle Killjoy here right now? Yep. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that was like so close to A's, but unfortunately he has like really low HP. But good play though, from player one. Yep, really Hopefully good we see play. something different though. Now the the side changes. I mean, it's eight four. It's actually kind of winnable for Team Cookie, to be honest. Like, hopefully they can buck it up. Now they're defending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they are defending already, as yes? they need four rounds to tie this up, and I believe they can, as Barry you mentioned, and we are and we all know in the Valorant community that split is more towards the defenders' favor in terms of gunplay and most of the elementals that most of the elements that comes into the game but oh brady with the first shot onto a roxas already aggressive omen place working out as he gets a sheriff one tap with she gets a sheriff one tap already onto a roxas that's a nice shot landing onto him but the, oh we can see team copy actually getting off they don't want nothing to do with brady at this point as brady showed dominance on to be main as player one will be there Everyone is going to be pushing mid at this point as Omega knifing down onto the wall, getting ready for the push. But CWL will be down onto B. Heaven holding that spot. I mean, they're making a lot of noise onto mid. They might go for a rotate, but with a frenzy spray, Omega not getting the kill, but tags off in CWL. But Kenzo right now with a recon dark. Kenzo with the, with the frenzy gets the kill onto Omega, finally. Trying out Team Cupcake. Really in a dire situation, now down to a 3v5 as all the remaining members from Team uh, cookies are very very healthy as we don't case a 1v1 fight against a hank loses the fight oh he can sting but player one will get the kill eventually with over here being popped up oh skullman just nice shot from him and she will be the last vitality from skullman as team cookie gets one round first round for themselves hey, yeah i mean oh <laughs> yeah as like as we said, you know, defender side is always much more easier to defend, and we can see the difference here, right? Already, and the fact that Team Cookie finally won the first round, they most probably gonna get this round either, because it's the bonus round for them. Hopefully, yep. they will see. Hopefully, they will prevail, and they're gonna be bringing up onto a tie eight to eight. But we cannot count less from Team Cupcake because Team Cupcake has 
has a pretty, has a pretty solid start, but will be will will they be able to close this off? We are not sure just yet because this is the start of the defending round. It's only the second start, I think it's second round for our second half of the phase. So recon just scans everybody. Nice recon from Kenzo. Right now, Eroxis. Ooh, if he doesn't check where Hank is, he will get the free kill. Hank already gets away from killing Eroxis. Yes, Eroxis is not having a good time on attack for himself, but Hank will be holding on to heaven at this point. But Kenzo will be there to back him up. Anyone push him down onto A main. Kenzo gets another kill onto G. Oh, Omega gets the double kill for himself. Just sprays it down with the classic Randolph Leo 1 gets a spectre for himself. Jumping down, CWL will get the kill onto that killjoy. Really, really that situation from Team Cup. Omega gets the kill to Omega, but Riddle will be there to kill our CWL. And now, right now, down to a 1v2 situation from Riddle. Oh, he has made a lot of noise, and Riddle knows where exactly where he is. He just loses us. Riddle. Almost getting that clutch. He already dinged right. He already had some bullets on Brady's head, but eventually not working out for him. Yeah, that was a really good try, though. I mean, what? Omega existed two classic shots. It was so good. And the fact they're fighting against like, Spectre. Yep. So, yeah, that nasty. was a really good effort. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I mean, look at him, like 19 strikes as well. I mean, the two yep. rays are showing a really good performance. It's, there's, no ray, there's no rays, Dave, honestly. Yep. They're both yep. 19 kills. Yep. There mm -hmm. is no raise diff at this point, but nonetheless, we don't have any diffs on this turn because this is going to be a fair play. Everyone should be on their rolls and this is a team game overall. There's no diffs, but will Team Cupcake will be able to prevail this because they are losing two rounds in a row already against Team Cookie on attack. And as lower being thrown out onto being ready holding this very, very shaky angle. I don't think they saw him. Oh, Tail Wing Dash is in. He's not checking onto Roxy. Roxy gets his first kill. Right now, all the members from Team Cupcake are already in. As Omega gets up against Kenzo, gets a nice spray down lineup. Right now, Chi will be there for the trade. But oh, Scalman will be there for the double blast pack. Chi will get the trade for him. And right now, Hank now down to 1v1 against Player 1. As Player 1 sneaks up behind him. But everyone knows. Uh, over here, Reyna is very, very, very scary. He didn't check that corner really well. Player 1 exposes his position. Turret being put down. He has nowhere to cross. Oh. Player being popped out. Hank going for that swing. Just misses that timing. This is going really tense. Right? No, he won't. As Hank lands a nice, clean headshot. Oh my god. I mean, there you go. We get to see a closer. A closer gap right now, 8-7. But I mean, it was a really good effort for Team Cupcake, you know, the aggressive push at B. And there was a jet dash, and the thing is, like, the one of the members didn't spot, right, for Team Cookie. Like, they, he didn't spot the jet, and then he ended up, you know, sacrificing his life for nothing. But, and. I mean, the retake, the retake, Team Cookie's retake was really good. Yep, Team so, Cookie's yeah. retake was really, really good. But it was real close at the time as Team Cupcake has something to say for towards Team Cookie because as an attack they're doing pretty well this far, but they are struggling with the same uh, with the same issue that Team uh, Cookie had on attack right now. Kenzo with the early Aldron. Turning on to aiming, Otto Eroxis tags him out. He doesn't check all the corners, so he doesn't. He doesn't know that there's others right behind Eroxis at this point. But Eroxis back on that sheriff. Hank will be there firing the first shot, free firing onto a main, not getting any kills. But this is going real slow, Barry. As it's one minute left in the round and no one is making a single move. Kenzo throwing out that recon dot. Oh look at this wonderful dot. He's gonna be shot off just in time. If not, you will be scatting all the remaining members from from a team cookie at this point, but oh, team, team cookie already making the moves. The hand is coming, getting two kills for themselves. Each and Kenzo over there to finish off the job. I love, I mean, I love how team cupcake just wanted to, you know, play time and wait. You know, people might think, oh, I think they, the defenders are, will be thinking, oh, they're maybe rotating to B or not. And then Kenzo, team cookie Kenzo here just tries to, you know, recon and see where they are. <laughs> and, and the fact that they got, it was a really good dart, right? It was a really good recon, and they know that they're still camping at A side, and they're just like, oh, right, okay, let's just go aggressive and just push. And then they got punished for that. This was really unfortunate for Team Cupcake, but it was an equal round, so all yep. good. At that point, I think. At that point, I think, I think we have the most nerdiest solo of them all. I think Kenzo is the one. 
one of the most many yeah. Sova in the tournament, but oh, boom bot scans on the players on to be heaven, but Skullman is not detected at this point. But Skullman is gonna be there with the Spectre. CWL gets taken off by Roxy's first flag. Oh, running gun gets a second. No stopper being popped out. We get the kill. Yes, he will as a triple kill for Skullman for himself. This show stopper is a one man show from Skullman. Throws down their paint shells, sprays down onto mid boxes. Boom bot no detects where they are. Oh, blast back. He gets a 4k. But Rito will be there to get off the game. Off the Skullman gets a second kill for himself. Just going intense down, down, down to a 1v2. Skullman with a one man stole. But Rito has something to say as Brady is going to be ready on to be having with that Odin as Kings will be pushing up for it as well. This is not the one he's doing. Will Rito make that play work as Rito will be teleporting on to a site? Oh, take a plate. Take a absolutely plate as Rito is already planting onto A. He has sight alone, and he knows that there is no members from team. Uh, there's no members from team uh, Cookie at this point on site. And the Cookie going for the retake. As yes, Rito will be putting up a dark cover up onto a heaven. Recon dark. Oh no, Rito Fu just not aware of that recon dark. Now they know where they are. Brady with the paranoia being thrown on to Luca. Oh, Rito! Rito with the paranoia? Will he get a clutch? Seven bullets left! Three bullets left in the chamber! He's so almost for Riddle Fu, but Brady will be there to retake that round as Riddle almost, and I mean almost, almost won that round and yeah. potentially bringing Team Cupcake back into momentum. And right now, Team Cookie, they're in a really shaky state at this point. Yeah, I mean. Wow, Ritofu. I mean, that was a really good effort, okay? And yeah, chat, see, he's proving you, okay? He's doing his really best right there. Okay, we saw his plays, it was really oh good, just really God. unfortunate. He only had like three bullets left to kill that one guy. Uh, just so unfortunate. And the fact that he got the flashes there, though, it was yep. really, like, so close. He could have gotten the kill. So unfortunate, really well done. Really, really well more. played. Yeah, really well played from both teams at this point. But right now, Team uh, Cookie has the lead 9-8 to eight at this time. But Cookie broke this with the play. Star pushing down onto mid. Gets slow orb and dark cover being popped out as well. Right now, Team Cookie will be holding... Having the post positions being held and they're doing a real good job at it. As Team Cookie just... No, they're really, really disciplined in holding their positions. They're not overpicking anything. They're not doing anything extra. They're not doing anything flashy. They just play the game and they play the game when it should be played and how it should be played. Right now, Team Cupcake having a hard time already on the tank. Nonetheless, a split is going to be defended side of the map. But Team, uh, I think Team Cupcake has something up their sleeve. Yes, and they will. Roxas gets the first kill already, but they will be tagging out with the Owl Drone. Roxas with the Playstorm. Putting on to Anger on to the heaven. But Brady will be there with the, with the Odin. Roxas gets the kill onto Hank and he gets two picks by himself. As the Killjoy lockdown is being popped out. Will he get the third? Yes, he will. He gets the fourth onto Kenzo. Will he get the fifth onto. Yes! He wow, Poggers and Roxas! Oh my god. Eroxis. Really well done. Wow. So crisp aim with that knife. Definitely, well, wash dish, man. I think you're washing watch. his dish for, for yep. his whole life. Just washing dishes. <laughs> well, I think Team team Cookie is washing dishes at that point after what Eroxis did to him. They'll be back in the kitchen washing the dishes and rethink their strategy because Eroxis will be the sole lurker that takes out all five members. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm just speechless at this point. This is only match four. It's only a crack game. No, these two teams are showing up on, you know, they give it their all at this point. Because this is a BO1, no one wants to go for the lower bracket. Exrosis gets the first kill again. We'll be opening up the match with that first blood. He draws first, who will draw last? You know, Omega, no well flanking in, Brady gets to get onto Rado. He just, he just double blast flex and headshots Brady off in the air, but player won't get the kill onto Kenzo. She will be reviving Rudolfo up to battle. Down to a 4v3 as Roxas will get healed by his lovely stage. She will be picking on, picking on to that pillar. Ooh, as, ooh, Mr. Hank, you gotta be careful. Really, really gotta be careful. As they did not check out as a Roxas will get the kill. As a Hank will not get any more kills as she will be finishing him off. As mm -hmm. Team Cupcake bringing back the points. You know, they, they are slowly coming back. 
Yeah, okay, yep, no I mean, doing on attack. yeah, I mean, Omega X is just, you know, he's so aggressive. Like he saw yep. Brady, he was with that Odin and like spraying, and he was like, oh yeah, there's my chance. I'm just gonna, you know, push in and blast back in and just kill him off. That was so good. But that <laughs> like, was Brady just King. nasty. <laughs> that was yeah. just nasty with that double blast back kill onto Brady. That was just nasty. <laughs> Oh my lord, but uh, Hank will be holding on to his post position. He's all he's always up onto a ramps and uh, I'm surprised to see that you know team cookie actually switch switch uh, things up a little by little at this at this moment at this point of the game because they are losing one round ahead of, towards team cookie right now this is a close match we all know we all know what this is gonna be as Goldman will be holding will be holding on to events. We had a Spectre again, and uh, we all know what wonders can a Spectre do. Sometimes in an eco round, you will never know how a Spectre can help you out in that one round. Omega, everything's starting off slow as Team Captain Cookie is still not peeking anywhere. Omega fires the first shot, warning. Oh, misses just by an inch. Dueling with a Hank, but the Hank gets attacked by a little bit. And the dart, just dart, he just... The dart just reveals no one at this point, and I think Kenzo missed his dart and shock dart. Preparing the shock dart lineup already. So not, but nope, nope, not, not telling anyone as Oh, Omega already blast back across the screens. They're going up to her heaven already, and she rocks to get the kill onto Skullman. That's first blood. Right now we get the second. Yes, he will. Rido get the kill onto a uh, Hank. Very good duels coming up for both of these players at this point. I mean, Cupcake having their lead, and she. Well, she and Omega wow. just close the round off and Team Cupcake back to the lead and 11 to 9. I really, what I love about Team Cupcake's strat is compared to Team Cookie, you know, Team Cookie likes to push through uh, main. The, like, you know, they always go through A side and they push through main, right? Like all five of them. But on Team Cupcake, they what they do different is instead of going main, because you know, main is really hard because it's really narrowed down to just one row. But if you go to Haven, and somehow Eros is just... You know, the duels are doing so well with their team, with the, with the team backing up, and they got into Haven, con uh, Haven Control. That's something different, you know? Yeah, that's really different. Like, they switch things up entirely and just throws off the cookie abroad. But, ooh, just as I mentioned, Brick gets the first kill onto Omega. That's a really, really crucial pick uh, if you're on a team cookie. As Brady sprays down onto mid with a hand going very, very aggressive onto He just swings left and right, left and right. Not getting one, but she will be there for another trade. And it's gonna it's gonna be trading on one for one at this point. And right around 21. Player one slowly creeping up onto mid. Throws down another swarm to deny any and any any aggressive pushes coming up from fence, but he has no idea where a hank is. As a hank is gonna be holding He's gonna be holding that cheeky cheeky angle, that really common angle that most of the players doesn't check most of the time, but Eroxis, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Bringing the charge onto B main. CWL hold. Oh, he just missed that timing. Oh, almost gets hit again. But they'll win. Oh, is it? Roxy gets attacked out by a little by CWL. Roxy still checking left and right onto that corners. But oh, we can see that the team Cookie going for the retake already as Brady will be down onto hell. CWL holding onto the default. Oh, they're just slowly creeping in. Cupcake just slowly, slowly pushes in. CWL will take out Eroxis, but she will be trading it off. Right now down to a 3v3 even battle. Like plant going down. And it's post plant time for a team a cupcake. Riddle. Holding on to that paranoia, not throwing it off, just waiting for that perfect timing from that. But Hank will get the kill on to G with a Spectre Riddle. Nice shots, but not landing any. And player one down to a 1v2 against Spectres. Will he do it? Gets the kill on to Skullman. He will get the kill, he gets the clutch. And he brings Team Cupcake to wow. match point. Match point. Player one, I mean... I gotta say, Player was really doing good for his team. Like seriously, Killjoy. We we seen how well he's been performing today. Wow, just well done to this Killjoy yep. here. <laughs> the clutcher. He's, he's the clutch master in the team. I think officially, you know, he's the late late kind of fragger because mo he got most of the most crucial rounds for Team mm -hmm, Cupcake mm -hmm. as as a Killjoy himself, and he did the utmost best of clutching every single round that he can. Right now, Team Cupcake, will they close out the round? Because this is a match point for them. Will they prevail? But no, Heroxys takes out CWL. 
crispy shot. He gets another kill onto Brady, and now he has opened the site for his team. Master Team just gonna be rushing in onto B site. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that Team Cookie can do about it. As they got site all for themselves, they're now down to Skullman, Kenzo, and a Hank for this retake. All three members of Team Cookie will be retaking from that B heaven. Player one holding holding flank with Riddle who this is going to die. Skullman gets a kill with the showstopper Hank with the trade, and now down to a 3v1. We cannot count a Hank out. He has been popped up by the alarm bar. Will he get will he get another kill for himself? That's why I've been thrown out, but Player one wow. with the last kill onto a Hank closes the round off and Team Cupcake, you are moving forward. Wow, congratulations to Team Cook. I mean, really job well done. I mean, they, they proved me wrong. I, I thought Team Cookie would actually take this back, but it seems it's the other way around. GG's Team Cupcake, I mean, GG's props GG's to Eroxys and Omega GG's. X, they are seriously one crack duelist. Like, the yeah, two of them, well. just, GG's, you know, they're attacking GG's. so good. They oh my are, god. They are just wow. playing out of their minds and... Ladies and gentlemen, this is only day two. Yeah. We have a lot of days to go. <laughs> and with day one and day two, with this amount of action already, I can, I, I can say that in, in the future of the tournament, I think it's going to go more intense and more intense because as we all know that if we recap a little bit on our first tournament, we have a triple O, you know, a quadruple OT for the grand mm -hmm. finals, which Team Cookie won. Yeah. And right now, the second and third match already having OTs, and this match, Cupcake... Oh my god, I, I, I have no words. But let's take a look at our bracket, as our next mm -hmm. match will be Team Donut versus Bingsu. And our final match today Girl, will be Kimchi cold. versus Cupcake. Cupcake. And that is a match that you don't want to miss, because, mm -hmm. because, I mean... Obviously, Cupcake and Kimchi have already warmed up with their intense matches. And, uh, you know, Donut and Bingsu, you know, they've been chilling a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, I think Bingsu had their game already. And uh, this is the second game for Bingsu today. Donut, I, I, if I recall, Donut didn't play any games today, if I'm not mistaken. So this. Uh, they did, they oh, did. They did. Okay, yeah, they did. They did. Mm -hmm. But oh, they yeah, have okay. been chilling. They have been yeah. chilling. They have mm -hmm. been chilling. So that period of time, I think. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of cool-off time for them, so they have to, you know, step it up because being so, you know, they just played recently and they played yep. really, really darn well. But mm -hmm. uh, I have to say, but Barry, what are your thoughts on that match? I have the many match, speechless. I mean, I, I mean um, you know, Skullman, I mean, Team Cookie Captain Skullman is honestly, like, he got match MVP. He's doing really good. But I don't know, I just, maybe... There's like some miscommunication or something, but just somehow Cupcake has like a better teamwork. That they are, they are, first of all, their decision making is really fast. Like mm -hmm. they realize, okay, this side, okay, not so good. It seems like, okay, let's rotate. And their rotation is really fast as well. I feel somehow like their attacking is so good. I mean, Eroxis, you know, and Omega X, you know, making the paving the way for, you know, everyone, you know, as a duelist, they're doing a really job well done, you know. So props to Team Cupcake. They, they, I think they really deserve the win for this game yep but i have to say after that match i have my own mvp barry and mm. that mvp goes okay. to rito Fu. Uh, <laughs> that that he is my mvp <laughs> so okay, okay. Is why, my MVP. why do you think so why do you think so because on that specific round where team cupcake needed that momentum he did it he actually did it he made plays right. he showed up he got he got he got kills that actually mm -hmm. was very crucial and it made the team one. You know, they got he got off he got off those very, very important picks on that game and oh I mean Ridofu, I mean I mean on the early round I guess he's you know he's a little bit down, you know, uh, I can't you know can't really perform that much, but after that I see him slowly, slowly and slowly, as you can see as well. And he's slowly warming up, getting his shots uh, yep, much yep. more comfortable and eventually he did it. He just did it. Yeah. I mean well, well done, man. I mean, the, the members in Team Cupcake, you, you guys show that you guys are the better ones. Really, congrats. And, yep, I guess we'll be having a break. And we'll mm -hmm. be coming back in five minutes.
Welcome back, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Berry Fam Tournament. This is the summer. Uh, we have witnessed, we have just witnessed Team Cookie versus Team Cupcake. As Team Cupcake takes the win and Cookie goes down the lower bracket, but nonetheless, they still have a second chance up ahead. And reminder, every tournament, uh, all these rounds that are being played are right now a best of one. So uh, everyone has, this is a double elimination, so everyone gets a second chance to climb back up onto that grand final spot. As we can see right now down onto that schedule, we have Team Donut versus Team Bingsu up coming next and sooner or later on our last match will conclude with team kimchi versus team cupcake but teams are going to be getting ready in the lobby but barry i have mm -hmm. to ask yes. you this what do you think about the round the game just now and before that what i like what do you think about the tournament today you know what like on this or like the summer series versus the previous mm -hmm. one you mm -hmm. know what what are your thoughts Okay, I mean to be honest, the previous tournament, like the first, uh, the first round, are uh, usually are uh, so much more tighter. But for these case, because we have like we expanded, we doubled the amount of players instead of forty players, we doubled to eighty. So of course, like we will not be able to see as you know as close matches during the first round compared to like the previous tournament. But I mean, the game we had previously was actually really close. Like today was really close compared to yesterday. Yesterday was slightly one-sided, but today the games are seriously intense, I gotta say. Which is something that I was like really excited, especially for Team uh, Chocolate versus Team Kimchi with the double over time. Okay, it was really uh, like fun to watch. And I mean, Team Cookie and Team Cupcake also like good, uh, put up like a really good performance Okay, with the 13-10. And I am excited to see Team Donut versus Team Bingsu with this winner's bracket round 2. What yep. do you think? I think, what do you think about uh, Team Donut and Team Bingsu? I can say Team Donut versus Team Bingsu. Uh, this is going to be an intense match as well because you know mm -hmm. there is a lot of returning players coming back. We have Che, we have Chael, especially you know the man, the myth, the legend himself. On that <laughs> moment, he is considered, I think, in my eyes, one of the one of the best Omen players in this tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. Can't really underestimate him. We have Ian as well. We have Seven. Mm -hmm. We have Sandra K. We have DSG. And we have Taktif. He is a very dangerous player. He is yep. not, not, no doubt that he has one of the most crispiest aims in the tournament. But we can't count F God out as F God showed us how um, how dominating can uh, can he be in a tournament, especially not only with aim, with his game sense, with his abilities usage. It's just top notch, and I can say this is gonna be uh, this is one of the tier one matches that we're looking forward to. And to be mm -hmm. honest, all the matches are gonna be tier one at least because all these teams are giving out their best because it's the best of one. Nobody can you no know, really afford any mistakes at this point because dropping down the lower bracket, yes, it gives you a second chance. But you will be a little. You will, there's risks that needs to be taken, but it does. But it doesn't always come up with a reward. So. And welcome, team captains from Donut and Bingsu. Saktif and F God, how are you guys doing today? Uh, uh, good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ask a question first for Team Donut because it was a really close match between Donut and Rice. Like, how do you feel like winning against such an impressive team? How do you feel? Um, it doesn't feel that like, good because why, why? we underestimated them. Oh, and they almost won us. Yeah, but I mean, you you guys showed your team showed that you guys were the better ones. Okay, you guys will get to moving to the winners bracket round two. Like, congratulations to you. And how about you, Bingsu? Do you feel like uh you guys have the chance that your team has a chance to fight against Donut? Mm, I mean, it's against Saktish, you know. Mm -hmm. I can read. I can read him like a book. Oh damn! Fuck. Damn! I mean, I know how Alex plays also. Uh. He just, mm -hmm. you know, like, he looks, he doesn't entry for the team or anything, so... Oh, yeah, I mean, it's easy to read him also. Oh, I mean, I heard you guys were best friends, you know, Team Cox Long, yep. F-God and Saktif. I mean, good luck to you guys, and this is like a battle of, like, Naruto and Sasuke, and let's see who will actually, you know, prevail. Yeah, yeah Saktif, <laughs> you know, right? Tonight I'm gonna make you suck my... <clears throat> oh, 
I'll show you this one. It is the cock's long. I have a, I have a longer cock, bro. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, oh get, let's see. Let's see. Better. Getting hot oh, up here. Oh it's my lord. Oh, getting heated. I need some aloe vera and some suntan lotion right on my side. God damn! You guys are giving those friendly banters out. But nonetheless, uh, I've got active. You know, this is uh. You know, down to round two of our se uh, a second day, and we are down to round two. And you guys did, uh, you guys did absolutely awesome. You know, awesome, awesome performance coming from both of you and your teams as well. Can't count out your teammates, but nonetheless, we are moving towards our coin flip. So, donut versus Bingsu. What do you guys choose? I'll take hit. Okay, Sakti chooses hit. Barry, okay, Sakti. drum roll. Because you love right. hit in your life before. So, me. team donut would choose hit, which is the five hundred, and. Uh, Bingsu is just tail. All right, let's go. There you go. It is hate. Team oh, okay. Donut. I'll take Defender. E Pussy! <laughs> okay. So Team Donut will be taking Defenders for Essen and Team Bingsu will go with Attackers. Well, good okay. luck to both of, both of you. We don't have much time left. Look, yeah, any any good. last words? Any last words for like to say to each other? Um, hmm. For me, it'll be good luck. You need it, uh, the same. Oh, it'll be the same. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything, man. I mean, let like the score speak the word, huh? I mean, the last time Cyber said that he ended up losing, you know. So that's why he's Cyber. I'm F got different. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, all right. God. All the best, guys. <laughs> all the best. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, Thank you. Good all luck. The best, okay, bye bye. Uh, all right, I didn't have to mention any segments and they just brought it up and that was pretty awesome from both of them as mm -hmm. we all know mm -hmm. that they are, you know, best friends after all. So, Barry, mm -hmm. what, like, uh, what, I mean, what are you expecting, you know, for this match to happen because I really don't know. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a really tight match. You know, I've, I've got to bring up Shinomiya here, okay, he has shown a really good performance just now on Team Bingsu, Shinomiya with that race, and I hope to see more from him, okay, from Team Bingsu. On the other hand, we have Ian. Ian is also popping off, by the way, for a Team Donut, which is really rare to see, and when he pops off, it's really crazy for Ian. So, like, I mean, both sides are really stacked, no idea who's gonna win, but... Okay, let me. Oh, this is a really hard pick, honestly. For me, I think I will go for um Team Bingsu. How about you, Chido Banjo? Do you have any favor favorite tier? I think with what Bingsu did earlier, I think it's gonna be Bingsu. Oh, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, chat. It's a one-sided castle prediction. I'm sorry, but. Things could go out of the way because Saktif is still there. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You never I mean, know. I thought I thought Team Cookie was gonna win just now, and like, look, I mean, they they lost, sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, you never know, you know. So yeah, we will get to see. And also, like once again, I would like to bring up our sponsors for like you know contributing our the prize pool. Like without the sponsors, you guys, I we will definitely not have such a a really great prize pool among so. Thank you so much. You're the reasons why we get to, you know, do this tournament. And hopefully that, you know, we will uh, show a good job and like, you know, impress you guys. And yeah, thank you so much, sponsors. Yep. Okay. Nonetheless, as Barry said, without the sponsors, this wouldn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they have, they have uh, contributed a lot in order to make this happen because without them, there will be no summer tournament and have to give, have a big we have to give a big thanks and a big shout out to the sponsors that actually sponsor the tournament. But moving forward, we have Donut vs. Bing Su. This is a match that everyone is kind of waiting for because we have Saktif and Fgot going head to head on this match. But nonetheless, we can count out. Like what we said, we have Shinomiya, we have Chael, we have Ian, Seven, Sandra K, DSG, and Saktif on the side of Donut. And on Bing Su, we have Arif, Wolf Wolf. Shinomiya, Child, and F God. These two teams are really scary. These two teams can dish it out with each other. They have all the skill. They, they in a individual skill wise, they all are. They all top notch. I can't say less because they are giving that. They're giving. They're giving their all in this tournament. Um, 
I just say I just can't I just can't wait. I'm excited for this match. Yeah, I am really excited. Okay. Let's go. Yep. So this map the game is starting. Mm hmm Right now we have ourselves ascent. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, strap in your seatbelts and let's get ready for Team Donut with Team Bingsu on Ascent. You can see Ian already hovering that Omen DSG on the Arena 7. As usual, back on the Cable Joy by Wolf. Wolf will be on the Omen. And surprised to see that Chaya will not be on the Omen on this particular tournament. And we can see Sandra K locking on that Silver for himself. Saktif will be on the Phoenix. And we can see Shinomiya on the Jet hovering up. No, still hovering there, not picking anything but F God. Uh, F God going on a Cypher. That's. Uh, 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 okay. oh, I don't think so. I think he's, they're just trolling. Yeah, they're just I mean, trolling. They're just hovering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. But you I never know. I mean, there's still 30 more seconds. Uh, no, there's no audio. Can you switch? Yep. But as for now, we can see you no know, agents. When agents are being locked in, we have to uh, have to chill out for that moment of time. I guess we the final lineup has been locked in. We have Shinomi on race. F got on the jet, Wolf Wolf on that Omen, Arif with on that uh, Sky, as well as Trial with that Sova. Major changes being happened on that Asian mm -hmm. pool. Yeah, I gotta say, like, oh, I mean, Damshine, he, he is playing on Reyna because previous on the previous game just now he was, um, you know, playing with Sage and not showing much stuff, just being a bit passive. It, I, I'm actually quite curious to see how he would do with uh, Reyna. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. Good. And yeah, like like you mentioned, baby, like them shine on Reyna. It's um, it's an eye opener. And as you mentioned, he's going for a little passive route. Maybe, I mean, maybe he's you know, not feeling it just yet. But I think he's feeling it right now at this point because they just had their games being played. Mm -hmm. Um, they're already good to go. But so to speak, that the most important factor right now in this in this round is actually it's going to be Saktiv and Fgod going head to head, and these two are nonetheless um, these they have their respective you know skills and everything individually. But we have to see how they lead their team to victory as going for a quick B push. Updraft tails being down onto side, and Fgod has B side for himself and gets a kill onto Sandra already. First blood being drawn by Fgod himself, Shinomiya. Holding it's already onto stairs, holding that angle on the market. Will he get the kill onto them? Nice, Devon gets dragged out by a little bit. Four shots be popped up. Shinomiya gets the kill. As we can see, Damage Shine over healing up. Ian with that good with that awesome paranoia going up at the backside. All the all of them are clueless on what's happening right now. Ian just pushing with pressing the double two for with the class. He's not getting anyone, but child will be there for that look away with the Prince. He gets the kill. On to that Toba, but the M Shine almost clutches the round. Oh, as well wow. will pick him off. I mean, <laughs> I wanted to compliment like the retakes were there. Okay, I, I see the effort that retakes, the defender retake was quite good, but I mean the two people in both house with that frenzy, just killing everyone. Like the defender, as long as as. As when they rush into the boathouse and then the attacker just take them down in the boathouse. That was really nice to see. Coming from Chill and F God. Yep. I mean F God just went in full ham. They just W keyed in without any hesitation. And they got themselves to that round right now. F God doing the same but seven. Oh nice shot on F God. The card gets dropped. Seven will be there for that for that trade and gets you know Shinomiya actually gets two kills for himself. Wolf will get a kill on the Zaki, gets a third. Shinomiya popping off and it's all down to E and you know one B four as an omen. No paranoia, no smokes, no shrouded step. As the dark harvest is gonna be coming back up, one stack for him in three seconds time. Now Ian slowly creeping around the corners. The Tasmanian Tiger is running down on to CT and tags him up. He gets revealed by that record door and just wow. nothing he can do as Shinomiya closes the round with a 4k. Wow, I mean, I've said previously, like, Shinomiya, we gotta, you know, look for this guy because this guy here is really popping off ever since the previous game. But, okay, it's still too early to say because it's only the first two rounds. Hopefully, you know, Team uh, Donut can, like, we take this, like, hopefully they will win this round with the bonus round since they have their Vandals ready. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
they have their guns ready at this round and so in fact the teams are ready to rock and roll but uh, it's a little bit worrying about about 40 attackers because they still not have the full buy just yet they're still going on for their bonus round as you said and uh, now you can see a recon that being prepped being thrown on to A with his land with his can might be thrown out plus we shall be thrown oh yeah nice shot second kill he just flicks onto his head and right now down to a 3v4 right now donut oh looking really dire this time as being through as well one by one dropping down as donut will be there on the body advantage for versus two situation as i've got all alone down onto hell but he'll be with the team on the gen but he gets again now i've got Ooh, he can reap away, but no, he won't. He gets two kills for himself, but Sandra K will wow. eventually eliminate him out from the round. And okay. God, that was a fast round. <laughs> I mean, props to Ian. I mean, and the very fact that Ian got scanned and he still managed to get two kills before he, he you know, was taken down. Like, really well done to Ian with that crisp crosshair placement and just getting headshot, two headshot right there. Seriously, this guy this, really so this, good. This guy, this dude is just bopping off at this point, and I have to say, big props to him. Like you mentioned, he made that he made those two first picks really, really crucial. But Bing Su still has the lead over on the donut. Now down to a two to one, one point lead. But Shinomiya can't count him out just yet, as he'll be there bopping off later on in the game as he gets his momentum back. But Arif. Not using Trailblazer or the Guiding Light to just be able to get any info out, but Sakti. Ooh. You know me, I just get flashed and he just backs away at this point. Sakti will get healed up because he just had that really, really nasty deal on up to B main. But Chael will be there on to mid. Spraying down on to CG towards market side, but Damshai pushing in really aggressively. He is get the kill onto our the sky. No more flashes, no more Trailblazer being popped, and don't need to worry about that. But. On the side of Donut, they have lockdown ready, and Wolf Wolf just takes out Ian immediately, and Shinomiya will follow up on to Sak Thief. Down to a 4v3, Bingsu looking really, really strong. Start of the match. Right now, down to a 4v3. They're pushing for A, but San, but Seven has no idea that the whole team from Bingsu is going to be looking right now on to A. And right now, ooh, Wolf Wolf just picks on the rock time, man. Damn sure he gets the kill with a Spectre. Now switching off to the Vanda already upgraded. Yes, indeed he will. Asandra, ooh, bounce out the guy to aim it, but Seven with the lockdown popped, and right now down to two v two situation. Lockdown will be destroyed. Sandra holding dearly onto heaven, but Fgod will be down onto A main. Is a duel between these duelists. Will the god be slain, or will them shine prevail? Oh. Well, burst going out right now. Okay, Sandra gets one. Sandra gets two. What? Yes, Sandra. Wow, he's mad here! <laughs> but, you know, in for Team Bingsu, like, can we talk about the spike? The spike yeah. was left there for so long at mid lane. Yep. They did not realize the spike was, was, you know, was not taken, was not picked up, and they pushed all the way at A side, only realizing the spike was still at mid lane. So, the time over there was really wasted, and the fact that the defense were already rotating, so I guess the position was not ready yet. That was really unfortunate for Team Bingsu. Yep, that is really, really unfortunate for Team Bingsu. As you mentioned, the spike is the uh, most important thing to be taken up. But Fgod just misses everything. As Shinomiya will be there for the trade with that best, with that good gun and with the best gun in the game, which is. A judge at seven. Oh, Seeker's being thrown out. Seven with the kill onto Shinomiya. Seeker actually tracks down three three members from the side of Donut, but Bingsu has to make use of it. As RF already gotten the intel that they need for his team. But right now, oh, we can see, we can see actually Damshine already rotating back onto heaven. Eh, no, sorry, it was not, it was not Sandra, it was Ian. Already onto hell, and right now, oh, Ian just plays sneaky peeky like he's gonna be onto hell. No one is checking him! No one's checking him! No! No! Ian might just be getting away with this free pick. Ah, oh, for bad timing on that paranoia, Ian. Right now, down on the side. Hello, guiding light, we popped out flashes. All members on the side of Team Donut. 
no. Get in guiding light. Will he get it? Yes, he will. Hunter Fury being popped out as well. Gets one kill for himself, which is Ian. Gets taken out by the Hunter Fury. And DM Diamond Shine just sprays onto the smoke and run right now down onto Chael. Shock Dart. Will he get the kill? No, he won't. He misses the Shock Dart. Oh, he gets the kill. He saved the day. He will break on Dart being thrown out. There's no time for Sandra. And he just clutches the round oh, out. Chael. Chael. Oh, my God. <laughs> You can see how happy he was Damn. making the play for his team. Really, that, that round, he deserved the MVP for that round. Oh really well done with that shock dot saving his team. <laughs> and he got that lineup kill. The shock dot dealt damage, but they lined up for him, child. Was... Exactly. Oh My no. Lord. I mean, Ian, I mean, he was being cheeky with that hell play right there. Like getting one kill for himself, but. Man. Man, oh man. But Ian almost got away with it and, and potentially securing the round for his team. But now let's move the round to round number six. Flash being off the Sakhtiv with the shirt. Cannot do anything towards that. Sure, the Shinomiya and Avkov moves on to side. Gets two kills up in hand. And Ari will be down planting onto the spike. Recon not being thrown out. Damn, Shine will be holding on to him. And Sandra K is there to back him up. But Avkov already on heaven. Just ready and ready for this fight. Move on to throw out. He gets one. He would not get second as damn shine will be there for that trade. With that Shara one tap, gets a free kill for his star, overhealing himself in the meantime. He gets another kill onto Wolf Wolf. Oh my god, these shares are taking very, very big help. Oh just I mean Shinomiya, you literally have the best gun in the game right now. There's no way you lose this with that range. There's just no way you could lose this. There's no I way. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we've seen how much a judge can do and he is yep. actually showing it that you know she know me of the judge really well done well i mean it's an equal round for uh team Dona. hopefully we see something a, di a bit different for this round on round seven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. round seven yeah. right now i think Team Bingsu at this point has gotten their momentum as Shinomiya finally picking up a Vandal for his use and not actually tilting his opponents with the judge ever again. But we can see on the scoreboard they're all doing pretty right well. Donut really really Donut is doing not that bad at this point because they're only two round they're only like one round down at this point. No, sorry, two rounds down at this point. But ooh, nice ding, Arif, but not enough to take them out. As Hunter Spirit being popped out, not tagging onto that race. As Shinomiya just jumps up and down to dodge that Hunter's Fury. Right now, F got with that pop in hand with the duel 1v1 as Diam Shine will eventually win the duel. Shinomiya gets taken out immediately and down to 5v4. So, team, team, team Bingsu. One man down. This is a five man strong donut. Shock dart being popped out. Rico dart being popped out. Well, but not tagging on to uh, F guard as F guard just holds on to the angle onto market. But if seven picks this at the wrong timing, oh, he won't. But the turret was on F guard out. Klaus being popped. And they know for a fact that F guard is. Is holding it up, so they won't be peeking that aggressively this time. As they've been holding their position, still still playing relatively much. But I'm trying going for that aggressive peeks. Everyone's just playing really smart. Oh, by child, nice shot onto Damn Shine. Run down to a four v four. Oh, child. Oh, child getting for ready for the lineup already. Puts a recon dot right on to site. Watch us active. Flash being thrown out. They can flash being thrown out, but. Sakti actually not going for the aggressive push, but he'll be there waiting on the result. I guess who gets free? Yes, Sakti! Sakti! No! Sakti! Sakti! Oh my god! I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm speechless, okay? Sakti, you win. You win. No, first of all, I really love the fact that it was only 10 seconds remaining, okay? So Attacker didn't yes. have much time and i love how he tries to delay the time with those flashes first of all he they just he just shoot two flashes because they know that he, he know that the attackers go into a side he, de he delays the time and there is no choice for the attackers to go in and suck it with a criss cross and placement just get all these headshots with that four kills really well done to him yep he just takes a round for his team secures that round 
for Team Donut and um, uh, we're doing really good by OF God just rushed with him again, pressing WK with that tailwind Gets Sandra K, that's a really important pick which is the Sova So there'll be no more for the info for you But Saktiv is gonna be holding her up as the Phoenix Right now he's down to 7 HP, there's nothing that he can do as you know Mia will be there with the judge again Oh he's jumping up and left and right, jumps up and gets the kill onto them shine He's still very very healthy you know, right now, Saktiv deals with all but the Bacious will damage him a lot. But I've got will be there to sell things down. I stay as team um, team Bingsu gets another round for themselves. And I have to say, this is looking pretty good for team Bingsu. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how can we stop a race with a judge? Okay, There's she no know me. Uh, I mean, she know we just blast back in and just, you know, shoot everyone down with a judge. You know, making the making a spa a, a paved way for the team. That's what a duelist should do, and he is doing really well, performing so well for the team. Well done to Shinomiya with the top fragging 11-6. Yep, and only with a judge. He rarely uses a rifle, but right now Team uh, Donut has a lot of work to Right now, Saki gets a first kill, Demja gets a second, and down to 5v3. Bingsu not looking really good, but Shinomiya just beats up onto A main. Gets a kill onto Sakdiv and Ian will be down onto hell again. Shinomiya! Sharp shot onto Ian, bringing it back to a 3v3. Shinomiya actually ha absolutely making big work on this round. Securing securing two kills, two very crucial kills onto A side, and eventually opens up the site for his team. But Seven will be there with the lockdown. And King Donut is attempting for that retake. Six seconds left on that lockdown to actually lock everyone down onto his side, but Wolfo will playing onto one. Damshine throws out the Leer. Sandra with the owl drone. And right now, ooh. Taps onto the bomb. Ooh, child. Nice shot. And Wolf Wolf gets a kill onto Damshine and Sandra. Rath gets a kill, does get the trade, but Shale will be there. Trade things up in the end. As the up actually making big work for the side of Team Bingsu. I mean, I say Chae is actually really popping off compared to the performance I've seen on the screams. Because he's been, you know, having a break, a well, a really long break due to his, you know, work schedule. But damn, this guy is actually popping off. It's been a long time since I've seen him this. Really well done to Chael, honestly. Yep, it's been a long while since we see Chael playing this spectacular. You know, he came from a long way, you know, he played on the previous Berry Fam tournament. He did a splendid job and right now... He is here to prove that he is one of the players to be feared of. And all the players should pick him up on to his team on the next one. But Ian will be there holding on to Amy. Something slowly creeping up on the sword. Boombot, our drone, the tag seekers. Even tags him up and Ian just gets tagged by the seekers, but not. He's 5 HP left and he has not a lot left to work with. But Wolf Wolf Plant going down. Shinomiya. Up on the aim and oh, the flash back is this on Ian, but unfortunately, he'll get the kill on the Shinomiya in there as well. Evan with the frenzy shot, and Epcot just dashes up on the sock defense. Evan gets the kill on to Wolf Wolf, down to 4v1. Nothing what can chill do. Not to forget, they are equal rounds. Yeah, Trifty right there with that frenzy and Spectre just running it down, getting all the kills, killing all the members. You know, on the team being suicide, wow, team donut, you know, showing yep. that although they're echoing, they still got this. Oh, uh, so chat, let me bring you up to speed. So, on the previous tournament, we have seen multiple ways that an eco round can successfully take a winning round and eventually getting that grind final round as an eco round. So, do not underestimate any players in this tournament when they're going on eco because they can make anything work with frenzy, stingers, you name it. Yep. And now Shinomiya. Ooh, gets sacked out by a lot on to that spray, but oh Sakti is just getting killed on the F not the Jam Shall will be up to trade. Then seven down. with the Nerosan kill and that sweet headshot onto Arif and right now down to chill again. Into a 1v5 and uh, oh. have to get momentum back. Wow. Damn Shine will finish off the round on to wow. Chael. See the team Donut is actually you know getting back the momentum they need. Yep. Okay, five six right here. 
You know, I I mean, finally, like the team Bingsu is getting punished for playing so aggressively because we've seen a lot of times uh, team Bingsu has been either going aggressively to B and actually secure inside the B, but they are actually getting punished this time. It seems like the team um, Team Donut is adapting to their playstyle. Yep. Team Donut absolutely adapting to the playstyle indeed because they are reading Team Bingsu like a book. Sandra sending out that recon dot right onto short. Not tanking out anybody, but uh, Shinomiya, same thing again, creeping up onto B main. Oh, gets the turret down to Saktiv, gets the first pick onto Arif. Pick this off with that Phantom, he gets tagged out by the Aldron. Oh, Hunter's Ring dropped out, he gets tagged once. Will he get tagged twice? No, he just bobs and weaves, and he gets away alive. He's healing himself already at this point, and Saktiv will be back to 100 HP with that Flame Wall and that Hot Hands. But, F God, Vandal in hand. Creeping up onto a short. Right now, Damstran just did notice where they are in Shinomiya and Ian will get tagged up. Right now, F God. Ooh, he just slowly creeps in and Damstran is going to be playing on a very, very cheeky spot that rarely attackers will check if the blast onto site. Eventually, Damstran will get that flank, but ooh, showstopper being hurt. Gets a kill onto seven. Right now, will he get the second? Nice hey, 180 flick down onto Sandra K and they got B for themselves. SF God will get the kill onto them. Shine with Chael getting the kill onto Ian. Right now, flesh being thrown out. Saktiv tries to track onto F God, but there's no way to track and jet without Draft and Tailman at the same time. But F God running around. Running here and Nanan. Oh, I just noticed that the spike is already planted on A. They're just faking B and right now down to 1v3. Saktiv, will he make this work. Oh, he knows that Chael is going to be on 3. Dart being thrown out. Not scanning him. It's active. Re really, really, really hard position. Actually. One way smoke makes it. F got just got destroyed by Sandra. Run it back. Will he get the kill on to Wofo? But no, he won't. He gets straight on to hell. Oh, he gets another one. We get the last one. No, he won't. And it's a close round coming with active, but not good enough. As Team Bingsu secure the last round, they will be switching sides. As nice. Team Bingsu will be on defense and Team Donut will be on attack. Yeah, I mean, gotta say, well played to you know Team Bingsu. I really like that aggression at B, yet faking it and then rotating back to A with that Omen ulti. Really well played. Honestly, I feel like Damshai could have. You know, at least punish them for it since they, he was hiding at Vine the whole time. But seems like somehow, uh, you know, F God just managed to take him down before he can even, you know, kill the spike or the omens with the spike off. It's really unfortunate for Team Donut. Maybe oh, you can see something different unknown. since now they are changed side. Yep, they are changed sides. We should see something different coming up from uh, Team uh, Donut at this point. As I think they're most probably more comfortable on attack, but oh, Pain Shells just actually damages the whole team, in fact. As we can see, Saktiv needs to kill up with the hot hands and Damstrand dropping into 40 HP. He has two soul orbs to work with. If he gets one clean kill, he'll eventually get healed up. A trailblazer spots are no one that gets shots off. F God will be there on to A main, just watching any flanks being attempted by the defenders. But Shinomiya holding on to short with the deal like flash misses him, but Shinomiya knows that all five are there to be backing off. He gets the kill on to Saktiv, he's dead. Will he get the kill on to Damstrand? But no, he won't, as Damstrand will be overhealing himself with that. With one of the soul orbs that he got, but F God! F God! With that three kills with a flank, and no one checked him in, and F God just sprays through the smoke and gets them shine. What is the world this guy here? F God, you're a god. You're a god. You're a god. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, this is the play you want to see. Like, you know, having a someone like F God, like, you know, hiding at. Line waiting for the push. I mean, I really like the push that Team Donut did, like pushing through A shot. That's really nice. But I mean, Shinomiya and I've got just seriously doing all the work for that round. And props mm. to them for defending the site so well. Yep, props to them. The two duelists holding on to site and not letting anyone do anything but active. Actually, he's playing B main right now. He's, he's still sticking on to the B main push, but not spotting anyone. Oh, F got. No one spotted F God. No one know where F God is. Oh, but the Nano Swarm is gonna clear him up. He has to do something, and Nano Swarm is not gonna do anything. But F God just gets away with one kill onto Ian before getting taken away by Damshine. And right now, 
it's an even trade from both of these teams and my god f god like you're getting nano swarmed you're getting leered you're getting pushed and eventually you still get a kill over you still get away with a kill and on to an omen exactly and, that's 10 oh lives god. oh god that's oh god that's active gets a kill out the chill and now down to a 4v3 donut Really strong start on tanking on this second round. Ooh, Rickon just misses. Yes, Bings too. We'll be there, we'll be hold on to it. But the Shino will get the kill on the second. Then side trades it off. Now down to a 3v2. Right now Bing Su 2 versus 3 as Donut. Looking strong on attack at this point. Not making any mistakes. They can't afford any if they do want to go for the world record. But ooh, damn shot. Just gets the last looking kill onto the world. Right now going on, but Arif! Oh no 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 no, this is looking bad. Arif, Arif, will you get the defuse off? He's just sticking it, but damn shine is there to save the day, but Arif! Oh, oh my god! Again, I mean Trifty again? Team Donut, what's with them with just you know popping up when they're using classic? I mean we've seen you know damn shine you turn right that DSG getting four kills, he gets three kills of classic and then another kill for you know, clutching the round for his team. Really well played to him. Man, wow. oh man, oh man. I mean... And of course, Arif, okay, getting the two kills. That was also well done to him. Well, it was just unfortunate. Yep, that was the most crucial kill of his life. Like, oh, F got just going really, really aggressive. This auto tags him out with the place, but I'm not hitting anyone. That's been thrown out. Last blade being used. Not getting a kill. Oh, right clicks on the Sakti. Actually, dings him. He's going really low. Right now, Sakti. After 10 HP, he has to heal up as Epcot is going to be knocking down that door. Blade more being thrown up as well as Sakti really, 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 really cheeky on this. He's going to be healing himself, but you can see damn shines and Sa oh, Sakti is having a duel with Epcot, but Shinomiya on the other side gets the kill. After 7, there goes the Killjoy. No more Killjoy to be used for the side of the team with Donut at this point. And no, sorry, for Team Bings too, but oh my god, this is looking so so good, and I mean so good for Donut. They got the close match now, but down down to 4v1 as Bingsu. Bingsu just demolishes that push, retakes the site, and you know the regrowth is that healer I've got. But how is F got alive? Well, I mean, okay, first of all, weren't they echoing as well? Yeah. For Team Bingsu, what's with all this echoing winning? Like, what is Vandal and Phantom and Opping like? Like doesn't show its skills. <laughs> I don't okay. get it. I mean, point, I saw. I think, uh huh. I think everyone is an eco fragger at this point. Yeah, I mean, I saw the classic headshot. I've got classic headshot on to Suctive. Mm -hmm. What and how? <laughs> and the this best thing guy. is, and best thing is, how is how is he still alive after fighting with Fgod? How? <laughs> how? <laughs> He only has a classic and he has one blade left and he missed everything and I mean everything but how is he still alive? But F got already got spot now fight that owl drone. They're heading down onto Jenny. We could not go now. Hot hands being thrown down. The swarm is gonna be there to flush him out. He is stuck or is light. Damshot did checks it in time and F got gets taken out. Shinomiya will be there for the second kill on to Sandra. They go to Silver and down to a 4v4. Really, really, really even start. And right now, Uso is popular by Shinomiya. Misses Sakti. Sakti gets a free kill, but gets rid of by Wolf Wolf. And now down to 2v3. Ian with the Guardian tapping away. Will he get the first half to kill? No, he won't. That's chill. We'll close out the round. And Team Bingsu gets another point for themselves. Well, um. I just gotta say, like, Shinomiya is doing a really good job, first of all, like, defending A side. Like, he's be always been there, at least killing one or two every time when uh, the team Donut, the attacker side, like, tries to push in. Shinomiya is honest. It, it, it feels like he's like an annoying bug right there. He's like yep. an annoying bug. Like, so annoying that he always just, you know, gets in the way of team um, Donut somehow. Yep. He is that, I can say, he, he's the annoying little nephew that comes to your house every Chinese New Year. <laughs> yeah. Like, he doesn't give a crap. He will annoy you to the point that he will not let, he will not give any chance to you. But I forgot, just gets paranoia. This is the first shot. We could attack him out as the full team will be there to push him in. But Lear just actually blinds him and oh, I forgot. 
Missing the shot and oh, Arif! Oh my god, Arif! But he gets taken now by Sahid! But Arif made a huge, huge play with that trigger discipline button trying. Getting one kill with that frenzy. Gets a phantom for himself, but will he get the kill on them? But, but no, he won't! And Saktiv is gonna be the only man left alive. Down to a 3v1 situation. Not looking good at this point. If Team Bingsu wins this round, it's gonna be 11 to 6. And they are two points away from closing out the match. But can't count Donut out yet, because I mean, this is technically their eco round. Um, they still have a lot of work with, and uh, this is not too detrimental towards their economy at this point. Oh my god, Saktiv! Oh, you are so nasty! You are absolutely nasty! You are crazy! Flash being thrown out. Not minding anyone, but they are very well aware where Saktiv is. He has 23 seconds left to work with. He's creeping up to get that spike. Moving. Oh, he gets another one! Saktiv! No! No, Saktiv! You can't do this! You can't do this! This is not fair! Oh my god! This is up to Shinomiya versus Saktiv with the chain! No! 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 Oh my! You can't do them like that! They have families! You can't do them like that! I <laughs> He's just doing all the work with a sheriff again and again. I've been saying this. How in the world is he doing with a gun like that? It's just putting Phantom and Vandal onto Shane. Oh my An god. Operator with that one tap sheriff. Oh. Wow. Stuck to be like, hey, why won't I? Why would I buy the rifle when I got a sheriff? You know, I can just get all four kills by myself with that darn sheriff. And. He just makes everything work, but Emperor going for the real game play doesn't work out as Ian will be there to take him out with the whole team. And right now, this is gonna be a momentum swing towards for Donuts as lockdown being initiated. But for Team Vingsu, they still have seekers to help them out to actually track three opponents from the side of Team Donut. You know, try to just get some hands, but oh, it's active. Just getting taken out by Chill. Nice shot, nice cover, but Chill gets second. What will he get the third? Will and Wolfo will be there to back him up. Now down, damn shine down towards the for situation. As he will not do anything as Arif will be there to take off them shine and securing 11 to 7. And now, right now, we're going to round 18. 19, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it was a good effort for Avgod, you know, trying to have like knives, but although they did, although he didn't get to kill any, but I mean, he's. His teammates are there to back him up, you know, winning the round for Team Bingsu. Really props to the team and doing so well, especially Chael with the headshot to suck death, first of all. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I think this is the match to remember as Saktiv just made the play of the day. And I can say that the play of the day himself. Oh, Saktiv just WTZ. Guiding light being thrown, now just misses and Saktiv running back just runs off but Fgod is there for the flat, no one is covering his body! Spikes right now dropped onto B main, oh this is, this is bad for Donut, this is going real, real bad for Donut as they are stuck and pinched right down onto B garage, and no, B main they can't do anything yet as Fgod will be healed up by that we group, gets a kill onto 7. Might as well give him the ace at this point, but no whoop whoop says no, he gets a kill onto them shine for himself. And right now, Sandra, all alone. He won't get to kill onto Shinomiya, but Shinomiya okay, absolutely I, shows prowess. You know, I am already imagining how pissed Saktif will be. I think he's already like gonna be shouting at his teammates right now. Why is no one covering my back? I mean, yep. I would say that if I'm the Phoenix, like, why is my teammate not covering my back? And the fact that Saktif has been doing a lot of work, like, you know, killing one, you know, making space for the team. But the... F and he has the spike, first of all. He dropped yep. the spike. No one covering his back, and somehow no, no one is lurking, you know, carrying for flank. Uh, yep. that's really, really uh, hard on, I mean, Team yeah. Donut, seriously, they, yeah. they really gotta, you know, that's be better than mistake. this. Yep, they gotta be better than this. Uh, that's a big mistake being uh, being shown by Team Donut. As yes. Felix always uses running back, you have to cover him at all costs, no matter what. And especially leaving the side onto Beacon as well. But I've got, yeah, it's the first kill onto Zaktiv, against the second, not to Sandra. 
And down down to 3v 5SM guard with the play start Spike carrier being killed as all Arif and Wolf both oh This is just God. clean it up you Team Bingsu You are moving on to the next round As a fortunate donut You are going on to lower brackets But Darn I, well played from both of I, these teams Yeah, but I mean well done to both teams But I, I, I'm honestly thinking the previous round actually like demotivated them mm -hmm. Oh wow, look at the scoreboard yep, It's like yes. traffic light <laughs> Yep it's pretty even. It's wow, it's really nice to see this. Red, green, yep. red, green, red, green. Yep, this is really, really even. And uh, I can say that I think Shinomiya did his absolute best. You know, he popped off. He actually popped off together with Saktif and F God. And so is what Damn Shine. I, I can say all the team from from both of these teams, everyone popped off. Everyone had their respective mm -hmm. plays, everyone had yep. their respective roles. You know, they did amazingly well but unfortunately only one team advances which is going to be team bingsu they'll be advancing up forward as donut will be going down to the lower bracket but nonetheless uh, team donut you still have a chance uh to you know get yourselves back up onto that grand final or maybe even you know maybe mm -hmm. having having a rematch against bingsu in the future you never know so uh i have to say i mean we had seen the play of the day I think that could be the player there, which is Saktif in a 1v4 with the Sheriff. Yes, um, that is just nonsense. And I mean, the Sheriff should be nerfed. I'm just saying. But nonetheless, we can see on the bracket as Team Bingsu will be moving forward. And we'll be having our last match of the day, which is going to be Team Kimfi versus Team Cupcake. Moving on later on um, as we speak. and uh, But before that, I can say... I mean, Barry, I mean, what do you think about the match earlier? I, I have no words. I, I absolutely have no words. I am no, I, speechless I, at this point. I honestly think Team Donut would have done better. Like, really. If, yeah. if, if it's not for that, 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 you know, that mistake they did just now, I feel they wouldn't have given up. I, I don't know. I, I, what I felt for the last round just now, with the Team Bingsu getting the flawless round for the last, when they were reached match point, the vibe that they gave me was they have already given up. Because mm -hmm. of what they, what the big, the huge mistake, you know, with Saktif mm -hmm. just being down like that, you know, getting flanked by F God. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was really unfortunate. I feel, mm, I feel that, that we, it, the match would have been so much more closer if they have a better teamwork for Team Donut. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, I think there was a little bit, I think after that round, especially like very what you mentioned, I think after that round. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me just, uh. Yep. Okay, I think it's okay. better now. Yep. yep. So I think sorry I about that, ladies and gents. But uh, I have to say, like what Barry mentioned as we continue on the competition, like uh, I think they are really down on that point because, like, um, I can see Saktiv had the uh, had really he made the early picks and with the running mm -hmm, back mm -hmm. he gave all the info that they need towards the team, mm -hmm. but no one was watching flank. Yeah, and exactly. I, and I I can't they kind of need to know that. There is a lot of times that F got flanked, that F got actually flanked, and no one was watching. No one's paying attention about F got flanking mm -hmm. here and there, and no one actually uh, pay attention. I think there was, I think there will be some communication issues coming out from from Team Donut, but nonetheless, um, they still played really, really well. And I think after that one round, I think it really got to them. It made them really uh, mm -hmm. detrimental towards their mentality and whatsoever. But you know, like mistakes were made, and uh, you know, Donut will be going on to the lower bracket, but they still have a second chance, so they could, they can do better on the next one. All right, it seems that we will be coming back again, but we'll be having a short break. Okay, the next match will be uh Team Cupcake and uh, versus Team Kimchi. It will be the last game of the day. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So yeah, be right back, guys.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have our final round today, which is coming up, which is going to be Team Kimchi versus Team Cupcake. This is our last match of the day. But before that, my name is Jay, my name is Shadow Banjo, and to and right beside me today will be our lovely host of the tournament, which is Soul Berry. But before that, we have our schedule right on screen. As you can see, most of the matches are being played already, and today we had wonderful, wonderful matches. But if just in case if you missed the last three, which is Cookie vs. Cupcake, Donut vs. Bingsu, and Kimchi. Right now, Kimchi vs. Cupcake is the upcoming one, as Bingsu has already moved further up the board. But on the upper bracket, you can see Team Cake will be taking up against uh, Team. I think it was. On, I think it's only Giri, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, and right now yep. this is the match. We will decide whoever wins will be moving forward to fight Team Bingsu. But before that, I think uh, Barry, what do you think? This last match, this is the final match of the day, and I think this is gonna be an awesome one. But uh, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. You know, these two teams coming out together because we never seen them play each other yet. So yeah, I mean. <laughs> Okay, first of all, Team Kimchi, right? Team Kimchi like put up a really good performance with the double OT with uh Team A uh, Chocolate. They put up a really good fight. 14-12. You know, Jensen and Ma Waffle, you know, leading the team. And oh, not to forget Maple, you know, being the complimentary, like support the team. Really good overall. I would say Team Kimchi has a really good stack. On the other hand, like Team Cupcake, we have seen how cracked Eric is. If he's really you know, showing a really good performance together with Omega X and all not to forget player one with the kill joy. So I feel these two teams are, are pretty similar. Okay, they, they they have a really good um you know skills of uh, members, mm, really good stack. Mm -hmm. So uh mm, I don't know, Shadow Banjo, what do you think? Who do you think is like the better team? I think in terms of dueling capabilities, I would say Team Kimchi. In terms of dueling, I mean only mm -hmm. dueling. So, uh, I mean, because we just witnessed how actually Team uh, Kimchi played earlier on against uh, against uh, Jarpix's team, which is super yeah. super awesome. Yeah. And uh, we can see Mawafel, Jensen, and Sal and Maple. These three are the perfect trio. And uh, I can say that you know, in terms of dueling wise, they are much more. Uh, much more clean and the tech duels mm -hmm. very very clean and with the amount of communication being displayed by by team kimchi itself i think they have the upper hand but you can't count a team cupcake as team cupcake um their clutch the the the, the clutch capability of team cupcake you cannot underestimate that as we've seen multiple rounds where player one omega x and even ridofu they are up for the clutch. They are clutch meisters. There's no doubt about that. That they are the ones that you really need to be worrying if you're up for like a one v three or maybe one v two. I think Team Kimchi should not underestimate that. But I think overall, Team Kimchi might win. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Let's pull the team captains in. All right. Hi guys. Omega X and Jensen. How are you feeling? Are you guys like tired? Hopefully not. Yes, yes, sir. No. <laughs> Very tired. No. <laughs> last game, last game. You guys got this. You're but I have a question. Team. I have a question for you though. Uh, for Team Kimchi, Jensen. <laughs> I mean, your team put up such a really tight fight against Jarpix. You know, Jarpix. Everyone true, true. knows him. Well, mm -hmm. what do you guys think? Like how? Like how? What were your thoughts? Like doing that over time? Like, uh... do you, were you guys confident? We, we were confident because we did come back on the 10 to 12 and then we come back to 12 12 it was a good game mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. the game is very tough but me mm -hmm. and my team give give our power out and then it was good we all mm -hmm. have the team synergy going on and then the teamwork everything was good and then it's mm -hmm. a very fun game okay how about you omega x like um winning against team cookie like were you guys uh did you guys think that they put up a good fight like Team Cookie, because in my perspective, I, I always thought Team Cookie would be like really strong. Like, what do you think, Team Cupcake? Oh, honestly, yeah. I mean, their entry to the side was like really good, but like our rating was better, I would say. Mm -hmm, and, like, yeah, yeah, we've seen that. The, after the match, I saw the the chat had ninety eight percent on Team Cookie, so I was like, okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you showed I, I them. Like, you should improve like, them. Yeah. 
That's karma, you, I guess, you know. Yeah, you show them who is boss. Definitely. Mm. I can yeah. say after after your explosive pushes on attack, I, I can say that everyone should be afraid about now. But uh, but before that, we can say that um, you know both of you had our respected captains for both teams. You guys did an yeah. absolutely amazing job on leading these teams. But I have to say, what do you guys have to say to each other before we do our coin flip? If uh, you know what I'm saying. Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna no. BM, so it's, I would just say good luck to you, and we just have fun on the game. Oh, <laughs> so <man>. sweet. <laughs> yeah, we all just want to go sleep. It's just 12 a.m. And I guess. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, Minecraft true, true. player on my team. So good luck, good luck. Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, but let's <laughs> move on. So coin flip, Omega X, Jensen. Which one of you would choose heads? Which one of you would uh, choose tails? I'll choose heads. Uh, I'll choose heads. Okay, so Team Cupcake will be choosing Till, right? And Kimchi will be going heads. Okay, mm. let's see. What's up? All right, it's a Till. All Team right. Kimchi. <laughs> oh shit, man! Not like this. <laughs> so what? So which side would you want? The attackers or defender side? Hello. Wait, who's choosing? Huh? Kimchi. Uh, uh, kimchi. Oh. It wasn't kimchi. It wasn't kimchi tail. No, 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 no. Cup oh, you went for it. Oh, okay, okay. So cupcake bad. went for tail. All right, right. So defender sorry. Defender again. Okay, so defenders. team cupcake will be going on to defenders and attackers will be team kimchi. Yep. All right. Uh, okay, okay. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Okay. Right. Good luck. Time. Okay, last good game luck. of the day. Good luck. No bye bye. <laughs> no bye. <laughs> Well, we already have our slight small interview with our team captains from Team Kimchi and Team Cupcake. Right now, is down to the final match of the day. And so as well, everyone is going to be excited about this match because these two teams is going to be in, we're having, we're talking about insane duels, insane pushes, insane team coordination. I can say insane. Uh, everything is insane about these two teams as, mm -hmm. you know, they will now show that who is the better team and who will be moving forward up. But right now, I think the momentum side should be on Team Cupcake because they did win a very, very tight round. And so as well, Kimchi as well will be holding on to their momentum as well because they just went against Jarpix, the <laughs> guy. So they just won that round. They just won their match as well. So... Uh, I can say both the, both these teams are having the adrenaline rush, you know, and they are tired, obviously, because it's 12 a.m. already in GMT plus eight. But as I can see from the lovely predictions, 90 90%. percent to 10 percent. Come on, guys. Come I on. mean, Team Cupcake just doesn't it just has no popularity, and yep. I think it's good. I uh, hopefully they can actually prove them wrong again. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, team team Ridofu it is. <laughs> Star Team Cup getting worse team Ridofu. The Ridofu doubters, you're out there. Ridofu no. doubters. Just in case if Ridofu pops off, we never know. Because Ridofu, on a recap, Ridofu actually did make some amazing plays. You know, even though he mm -hmm. lost a clutch, but he showed that he has the capability of clutching out a round, which is with that much of intensity he went up to into a 1v, 1v3 or 1v4 i'm not mistaken 1v3 eventually he almost made it work and eventually even though it did not work it definitely bring the team's momentum up and actually spearheading themselves for a win but kimchi nonetheless we have the one of the scary guys on their team which is jensen um mm -hmm. and jensen. my waffle as well so. jensen my waffle and maple like these three it's mm -hmm. just like another level, but I mean, it's honestly, it's really close because in Team Cupcake, we have like, you know, um, Eroxys and Omega X, and then mm -hmm. we we have player one to like back them up. It's pretty similar, like both teams, mm -hmm. you never know. And this is the first time they've been playing together like, against each other mm -hmm. onto the map Bind. So who knows, really? Yep. And... And, mm -hmm. And we know yeah, that but... Bind is like pretty much a defender side. Oh wait, no, I feel Bind is an attacker side. Yeah. And what, what do we... you think? I can't I can't say it favors defending and I can't say it favors attacking because mm -hmm. I mean we all know that uh most of these teams are defender warriors. So oh, we yeah. would we would never know that uh, things just might go sideways. I think it mm -hmm, I mean mm -hmm. it depends on which team has the momentum burst. 
so they can uh, spearhead themselves into that win. But sometimes, you know, when mistakes are made, they have to make sure that their mentality uh, is straight on, filled with positivity because you don't want to have that slight bit of negativity to bring that team down. It will be really detrimental for the team score as well and so as the team's performance. But nonetheless, mm-hmm. I think uh, in between these two teams, I can't say it's really attacker or a defender sided because we have to see how the agents are picked and how mm, that's true, that's these true. two teams play it off because with different agent lineups and different play style, it just goes both ways. I mean, you really brought up like the that the what happened, uh, especially on like Team Espresso uh, mm-hmm. yesterday. Yesterday, Team Espresso versus uh Team Cake. Yeah, it was Lucas team. Yeah, Lucas mm-hmm. team. <laughs> team Espresso got in defenders first, so they their agent lineup was so defensive, and they put up a really good fight against Team Cake. As you know, especially mm-hmm. you know someone like Luca, really good effort, really good you know a performance by Team Espresso. So yeah, maybe we see something like that. You know, mm-hmm. for Team Cupcake defenders first. Yep, we'll never see. But lovely production. We can you know have our lovely auto mic check at first. And uh, we can see right now, this is our last match of the day. Ladies and gents, it's going to be unbind and it's going to be between Team Kimchi versus Team Cupcake. Please do spam the chat on who do you love to support, even though it's the players individually or the team itself. So just spam it away, give them their energy because they're going to need it. And they are in these teams, I actually gave their all and will be giving their all at this night in this final final match in this lovely night but you can see Rox is already insta locking on that jet and will be facing against a he will be facing against Ma Waffle on that jet as well as he showed that he is a pretty scary jet he has mastered the mechanics up down left and right Fossil will be on the cypher maple will be on that silver as usual but Sabada is gonna be going back on to that omen and I think we might have a mirror matchup Choose your we, agent. No, we won't. As Omega will be locking in onto that race. Chi is still hovering over on that Sage and Jensen actually hovering on. Oh no, he Astra. changed it. Okay, no, he changed. I, I, I was actually hoping for. Yeah, something different. Astra, huh? yeah, something yep, yep. different. You know, Astra being picked up because, in terms of competitive play, even in rank, I see a lot of Astras now being played, uh, in most of the matches in Bind and Haven, and Icebox. So you no, know, Astra is not gonna not gonna be picked on this final match. But we can see this almost a mirror lineup. It's just that the duelist, you know, it's between Jensen and Omega. You know that they both have the signature duelist. Is Jensen will be on the Reina, Omega will be on that race. So it's a battle of the duels, and this is gonna be a final match. And predictions just came out. Team Here. Kimchi has 82% and going up against Team Cupcake for now. Two minutes left, ladies and gents. So uh, better make that vote now. But Team Kimchi has the overall point and overall predictions. But yeah, um, I mean, I will go for Team Cupcake. I mean, as a business, yep. as a business student, you know, we always have to take the risk. You know, guys, yep. chat. You know, maybe some of you guys will take the risk to go for Team Cupcake. Please do so. You earn a lot if you win. Yep. You know, Okay, you gotta keep lot. your hopes up <laughs> for Team yep. Cupcake. Better keep the hopes up because uh, Team Cupcake is not a team to be as underestimated as well as Eroxis and Omega, certainly big playmakers. But ooh, already aggressively, Ridofu and Eroxis explaining that duo, duo synergy onto showers on Omega Jet. But Ma Waffle already dashing onto you all. Right now, I'm not gonna be going into you all just yet, but Plant already going down. Jensen just loses the fight against Eroxis. First one being second down. Right now, Eroxis tapping away and not getting a kill onto that Silver as Maple will be surviving another day. But we can see Ma already heading into you all with that Shorty ready. So, whoever doesn't check the corner properly will get blasted with that Shorty. And yes, he will blast Omega off the board. He will be switching off to the Frenzy, but off the trade. Player 1, Eroxis gets a trade. Ma will be there for another trade. Down to a DB2. Tapping around the defuse. But the defenders, the Cup Team Cupcake, will eventually get that win. Drawing first blood and getting the first round up ahead. My god. Holy crap. And that thing very much is muted. 
if I'm mistaken. Oh, hi. Oh, yep, okay, I'm back. Yep. Yeah, as I've said previously, like, Aerosys has a really good, you know, cross air placement. Really, Chris really showed up a really good performance uh, today. And he is showing again with the three kills. Oh, it looks like oh. the defenders are going for a timeout. Yeah, the defenders are going for a timeout because they don't want to get too jumpy about it. Or maybe there is some technical issues happening right around the team that we didn't know. And right now, 40 seconds left on that timeout. But we can see exit and actually a very clean round coming up from the defenders, which is Team Cupcake. As the Roxas and Rito Fu played that really, really well on the show. Let's get the first pick out to Jensen. And mm -hmm. getting a first pick out to Jensen, which means you have one less threat to be dealt with. And yeah, um, yeah. and so as well, it would definitely bring the momentum up because I think you're probably screaming like, "Hey, Jensen's dead! Bruno Reina's down! We got this! We got this! We got this!" And you know, eventually it worked out. But I have to say, my waffle actually made a really good play as well. That right, right on tail, like dashing onto U Hall and actually get the get himself a kill and eventually pick up a frenzy. You know, but eventually Cupcake made a really good retake and uh, Kim she just mm -hmm. fall off. Yeah, I mean, but it's just too early to say. Because, I mean, defender is always easier, I, I guess, so I'm not sure. But yeah, we will see for this yeah. round. This should be the bonus round. Oh, what? They forced by too. Yep. For the okay, attacker side. Forced by. Yep. And I'm going to be expecting not... Th this is going to be a very, very, very straightforward round. It's going to be Spectres only. And uh, there'll be really, really less oh, man, usage. Oh, player one camera actually gets taken out by Mawafo. But actually spots on Mawafo and Fossil. They know it's going to be a B. Bush Monks make the run on, on to Hookah already. Rico does scans all three of them. But Roxy will get the kill on Sawada. Maple going for a trade on to Omega. She will the kill on to Mawafo. Down to a 4v3 situation. Will player one get one? Yes, he will. He will not get two as Fossil will be trading him out. And she will be there to trade in out again. And the Roxas oh. with that one tap. He doesn't the need Roxas. a share. Man, just killing Jensen off. Wow. Mm -hmm. Team Cupcake showing what they got. You know, showing that... Like, showing to the chat that, hey, you know, you guys... <laughs> you like, know, show some love to you. Show some love to us, you know. Yeah, wow. Yeah. As what uh, our lovely team captain, which is Omega X, already mentioned, is like... You know, sometimes we don't vote for us, karma hits you, and uh, right now it's hitting pretty good as they got themselves a two-round lead over the attackers. But nonetheless, Kimchi will be making... Will, will, they will make a comeback, but in terms of when would we get that momentum up back to speed. But as for now, the momentum favors Team Cupcake, as Roxas will be hiding onto showers with that Spectre in none. Sure, shots not landing onto him though. But if he gets landed by one, he's going to be real unlucky. But Mawafo gets a kill onto a Roxas with the Sheriff and beats a Spectre to it. So, uh, this is looking sideways already for Team Kake. But there's still a lot of time to work with because time is always favored for the defenders. That's beautiful. Prepping that paranoia and blinding onto short. Well, no, actually, no. Actually, bringing out that gun as Sawada will be here. Throwing out that dark covers already, but, so, but oh, Ridofu has dark cover to answer back. And Jensen slowly creeps up onto showers. And she will be holding on to loading bay, but Maple will be checking that TP. will be hiding inside that TP. But Ridofu just sprays down the smoke, not tanking anybody. But look at how patient is that cypher he's just holding on to the side he's not letting anything go he's not he's not moving yet as player one is still there and he gets all the info he needs he dings some of them and right now she will be will be taking out jensen right now down to player one to be getting as much info as they can but possibly be going down with that spike 16 hp left nothing much that he can work and maple pushing in on to that ct but rito Fu will not get tagged by a bear rito Fu get the kill onto maple he's popping out recently he's popping out now as g will get the kill onto sawada rito Fu playing with chi really closely going for the straight up and down but she will get the third for himself Mawafu misses the tailwinds cloud burst being thrown out by rito Fu. We'll get the kill onto my waffle, and uh, yeah, I think Team Cupcake heading on to a strong start, three 0 lead. Yep, but I mean the previous round, like uh, you know, Team Kimchi actually forced by, and then now they have to eco this round. So hopefully we see something different for round four. You know, like now the fact that they have Vandals ready, yeah, finally. Yes, hopefully we see something different. Hopefully yep. they can get this round that they need for Team yeah. Kimchi. I actually really, really need this round, and um, 
they can't afford to lose any more runs because the more like you go down in terms of scoreboard, not like team the team's overall scoreboard, you know, it actually if you look at it will be really detrimental. But I hope that they can bring one round back for themselves. But nonetheless, we have Chi right now playing onto Hook. Actually, walling of Hook actually reading Team Kick's move. You know, sorry, reading Team Kimchi's move as they wall it up. As Mawaf will be there with the judge. He's gonna be waiting off on the wall. But if this wall breaks, all hell breaks good. Player one or his mother, but she just a nice quick clean pick onto Sawada. And there's your omen. And you have no smokes left to work with the kimchi. Right now, Jensen gets the kill onto Omega. That's an even trade, taking out the duelist. But Jensen will be taking the orb for himself. One more kill away from the Empress being active. And not an apostle. Ooh, Cap just takes out one of the members from Team Cupcake. Right now, this is going to be an even, even push. A very slow start for Team Kimchi, but eventually it will pay off nonetheless because they are holding on to their position. But she will be there to revive Omega and sprays down onto Maple. Getting two kills for himself. So, Burrito Food will be getting killed onto Mawa for now down to a 5v2 situation. Kimchi is in real deep trouble. Jensen right now over on the back line getting player one. And right now Rito Food holding on to the paranoia. Jensen one man, one man and a dream on to be long. Just fighting with his life. But we cannot count out Fossil as well. Because Fossil will be there holding the flank with that spike and TP being thrown out. Oh, he's gonna be he didn't take the corner! He'll be taken out by a Roxas and Roxas just gets away with it. And right now a free gun for him and Jensen has to go back for that spike. 13 seconds left. He's gonna be saving this. He's gonna be talking to the team like he's gonna be regathering the team's thoughts because right now they are down four to nil at this point. Yeah, that definitely he he has to save this gun for Jensen. But Shadow Banjo, doesn't this look familiar to you? Like, I don't know, is it me or Team Cupcake Defense? It's so strong! Yep. Like, we have seen this in the previous game. Okay, Team mm -hmm. Cupcake. They are versus really Team Cookie, solid. right? Well, yeah. they are really solid when it comes to defense. Yep. I don't know, they just hold their ground. They're just not even, they're not toppling down. They're just, mm -hmm. they just stay, you know, stand on point. And not mm -hmm. going to topple down by these attackers, although they were really, really... The attackers were really quite aggressive, but... Mm -hmm. Man, prop to Team Cupcake. Yep. 4 zero. Team, Yeah, Team Cupcake actually showed the dominance that they can... The, the amount of things they can do on defense as well. I have to say, like, the ability usage and the discipline coming from Team Cupcake right now is so, so good at this point. Right now, Roxas, look at that. Already, one kill onto Jensen with that tailwind. And Mama will actually has to back it out. But as I mentioned, look at the usage of those abilities. It's really disciplined. No paranoia has been thrown out just simply. No pain shells, no cyber cages being used. As they actually are they are actually reading their opponents at this point. They are not giving any chances for Team Kimchi to actually have that timing to make an opening for the team to actually initiate a full-on attack. Right now, Team... Uh, I can... Team Cupcake is doing a real good job at it, and Kimchi has to has to prevail, and they have to claw through it because there's nothing that they can do right now at this point. Because Jensen is being dropped, Maple shooting out that dart. Even though you reveal someone, you have to make a move. They're kind of slow and very indecisive right now, but nonetheless, we can see Mawafo already dashing in. The Roxas will be there for the rotate. Ma Waffle already onto you holding his ground with Maple. The duo is still alive, but Ridofu will get the kill onto Maple. He's showing a pick. Ridofu, really, really crucial pick. Will he get onto Ma Waffle? But no, he won't as Ma Waffle will land the better spot. But Player 1 gets taken out. As I said, but Omega will be there for that trade. Right now, Omega getting the kill. Chasing down Fossil, but she will get the kill onto Fossil. And right now, it's down to Savada into a 1v3 and he will not do anything left as Team Cupcake oh. just takes another round 5 to nil. 5-0 really wow I mean <laughs> Team Kimchi okay it feels like Team Kimchi's worst enemy like the weakness is just right there Team Cupcake somehow Sub wait what in the world is I just realized this 10-0 Chi mm -hmm. Battle Siege again she is it's... popping off. What? How? Wow, I mean, wow. <laughs> he is secretly a duelist, ladies and gents. He is not a sentinel. He is a duelist at this point. 
because he's been taking <laughs> yeah he's been taking those early 1v1 fights and mm -hmm. so, so even though he's not taking it he is going for those late flanks and maybe maybe yeah, even you know going off those off angles and eventually getting off a pick but right now he walled off hooker and, then, and he definitely knows that uh, most of the attackers from team Do kimchi will be on to short will be on to market and uh, they actually can't do anything right now Team Kimchi is absolutely stuck. They're lost. They don't know what to do next. And, um, you know, the spot... Okay, here's the thing. Team Kimchi, they, they, every time they had the amount of info that they need, they are not executing as planned. And right now, they need to have a game plan up on their head because if not, Team Cupcake will just run through Team Kimchi just like that. As they can, as right now, look at Rido. He is playing super aggressively right now. He is not giving any chances. He's holding his ground and he is disciplined enough. Like he finds a few shots, he goes back and he just chills. But now double shock dot coming out from Maple, not landing as well. So there's no post plan shock dot lineups and uh, Team Cuffin has their info on that. But oh, execution being thrown out. Waffle already dashing it onto you. Know, Roxy spots out most of the info and my Waffle going for that big. And Roxy gets it onto Maple. Waffle gets it onto Rado. One for one. Right now, will this post line as Omega Kilo Jensen, but Roxy gets the kill onto Mawafu. Roxy sprays down onto that smoke as Sawada is hiding onto Gabi. Nothing he can do, but Roxy will be the Sawada will save the day as the kill onto Omega. But Team Cupcake has the upper hand as player one gets the kill onto Parcel. And right now, Sawada left the all alive with the firing squad, and nothing he can do except taking Roxy down with him. But player one will be there, taking out Sawada and 6 to nil. Wow, I mean, at this point, it just feels like, I don't know, I, I think, you know, Team Kimchi just used all their energy to fight against the big monster Jarpix, and then they're like, just... I think they're, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe, I, I feel like they're just tired? Or I something? Think, yeah, I think most probably they are exhausted because they played a very, 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 very long match, and uh, they... They got an hour break, so the, the adrenaline actually, I think the adrenaline got cut off, but... So as so a tournament is a tournament, I think they will go back. You know, they just have to regather their thoughts and uh, hopefully they will come back. Maybe they're just a little bit exhausted, but not that exhausted as well. Off already, W King in, pushing in with that cloud first. Oh, uh, just unlucky as Omega gets a shot onto my Waffle, but Omega will be tagged out by the Hunter's Fury. Dodging it, and then Jensen will get the kill on to player one. And there goes the cypher, there's no transfer, there's no deal with a slow all thing thrown out by D. <gasps> Omega! Oh! oh. Mega! That's the, uh, oh god, I mean, that's I, the biggest showstopper of his life. Omega X and Eroxis. Wow. I mean, they just cleaned the whole the team wiped them. <laughs> but I mean they were echoing, so fair enough. Yeah. Okay, for Team Kimchi. That's fair enough. But uh, Team Kimchi even in the eco round they got one or two with them, that's uh, that's pretty good because they could get some you know credits in their economy. But uh, they have to make something work as of now because they're down seven rounds. They need to make something work. They have to think of something quick and execute it really well. Oh, look at Roxy, just fast reactions. He knows that he can't take a double Jensen, he just passes his way with that tailwind. But Sawada scattered a week. Scouting out actually onto backside. He saw no one, but he didn't see the entire backside. So there's not much info being gathered by Sawada. Oh. But uh, Jensen is going to be there on the shower. He's being pre fired on. They know that they, they are they are still unaware where Roxas is. Right now, I think they know now where Roxas is. Roxas shot the cam off at Waffle. Playing onto the tower box, Lapras on his way onto U Haul. Roxas gets the duel onto Jensen. Will he get another one? He's just jiggle peeking and already gets Jensen, the man, the duelist himself, already picking up on the board. And right now, down to a 5v4. Roxas is picking the tower. What a player might get to kill onto Waffle and Rito can get the last the kill. What in the Flawless. world is happening to Team Kimchi? No, I, I can see that Eroxis is really fired up. Yep. From his from his perspective, you can see he's really fired up. His cross air placement is on point. He still has that adrenaline he had from the previous game. That's for sure. And I don't know, it's just my fault. Well, my waffle, like on the other hand, is not really getting much um I don't know, it's just like unlucky I would say. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of times he updrafted and get killed by Shower, so yeah. he was like paying attention, and then uh, he just couldn't get his timing right, I would say. Yeah, certainly unlucky timing for most of the time for Mawafo especially, but ooh, Chi going for the aggressive wall. Ren has to be careful that Mawafo is there with a judge, even though he's slow walking to get off a kill. 
Right now, oh, I think they spotted him as they want to spot out my waffle. Wait, now not to that case, but oh, he rocks, he just gets through the teleport and kills Waffle off. This is just, this is just stealing lunch money. He's get a kill on the fossil. Will he get the kill on to someone? Yes, he will. He can, he's dueling with Jensen. He's getting a 4K. How is he getting away from all these tools and his Omega? Fortunately, he takes down Maple and he will not get the ace. And the Roxas is fired up. Oh my what? god. Oh, Omega X, though, stealing the last kill. But, like, you see, I mean, Eros is proving himself. Okay. He is doing so well. He's making so much space for the team, I would say. He's so aggressive, he just went through the teleporter, just like that. You know, just yep. caught Team Kimchi off guard. I mean, like, who in the right mind would just teleport like that? Like, why yep. would you do that? You know, so aggressive. You must be really confident with your aim. Yep, he is really co Oh, but Jensen! I know exactly he's that. feeling it already. I think he's is slowly feeling it. Because he already got the first kill onto Roxas and that ego challenge did not work in his favor. But Riddle will be holding on to showers on the deal like Jensen just waiting for the right time to push all through these cypher cages. And actually just pushes through. Jensen gets the kill onto Riddle, but Omega will be dead straight off. Also down to 4v3, Team Kimchi. They're actually making something work. Pl Spike being planted for them for the first for the for a very longest time, for the first time ever, and Ma Waffle actually gets a kill, but player one will be there to take out Ma Waffle. Blast packs, throws him off board, and player one and Omega down for that retake. Oh, this is getting really, really crazy. Uh, oh no! Player one gets the kill onto Sa on the Jensen, but Sawada will be there for the trade. Sa Omega will be there for the trade as well. To Sawada, right down to Maple in a 1v1. Oh no. Omega is picking it to half. Yes, the air is in hand. He will not win, no! That was the round! That was that round! But that blast pack saved Omega's life! Oh no, Kimchi! The way that he just shifted with that blast pack! Oh my god! What in the world is guy? And how did he even get that headshot? What? This is... This is just... This is... This is just Team Cupcake really, really feeling it. You know, they are they are just having the utmost confidence. They, you know, Eroxis was already fired up. Chi mm -hmm. as well already fired up. He has only one death throughout the whole game, and Omega X just plays around with Plus Packs. He just plays around with it and it actually makes use a big chunk of usage of all those Plus Packs. But Maple will answer back and get a kill onto Chi. Immediately. Recon Darby to Oh, he just misses the recon dart. He just missed it. He's not detecting anyone from that. And uh, right now, Waffle slowly creeping up onto short. Rido will be there. Oh, Rido. Oh, no. Waffle just gets him with the judge. And he picks up the vandal for himself. Right now, he's pushing aggressively onto CT. He wants to win this round. He needs to take this round for himself. But no, Erox is just too sharp at this point. He gets the kill onto my wall. And right now, Pace will be thrown out to zone up anyone into you haul Erox is with that tailwind. Will he make the play of his life? He knows that he should probably know that Jensen is going to be in showers. And right now, Tawada. Oh no, gets the. Oh no, Erox is! He's making things work. He knows where they are as Jensen. Oh no, he dismissed just in time. He has one blade. Ready for the duel? Yes, he is! One blade! Getting the one tap? No, he won't! As the Roxy's down to 1v2, Fossil with a judge, and Roxy gets the kill onto Jensen! Oh no, Fossil! Right now, down to 1v1 with a judge! You get the ace and finish on round 11! No! There's no way! There is no way! There is no way! And Roxy just gets these tools away! No way! And Roxy is a maniac! You're insane! Wait, is this his second ace? Yes! No, this is his. First ace, but okay, okay, okay. His oh my god. previous I mean... round, he got stolen away from Omega. <laughs> right, right. I mean, oh my god, this guy is seriously on crack with this last game. What in the world? Oh Eroxis. my god. I, I mean, I really don't know what to say. It feels like he's doing so much work. Like, really, Eroxis. 23 it's... kills, by the way. This is really just stealing lunch money at this point. Rox is already getting the first pick onto Jensen, switching back onto that rifle. But to catch this round, he made it work. Right now, Waffle tapping away. Oh my god, Omega. Nice shot onto Waffle. This just doesn't work on the favor. A fossil. 
Already in there, oh. so top for landing. Huge on the master, but maybe will be there for the trade. Gets the second on the tree. Right now, Roxas is still alive. And Sawada with 90. Sawada still very healthy, but not Maple. Maple is fairly, fairly low this time. Oh, Rox is checking the corners left and right, but he doesn't know where Sawada is. No just ran away. No way. No way. Sawada didn't help cover his back. No. There's no way. So Roxas gets a free kill onto Maple. No. As Sawada is there to make the trade, and he's going to be using his ult. He's going to be teleporting back onto A. He's going to be making a play of his life. Oh, he's passed up. He wants to get it, but right now the main threat to Roxy is going to be taken away. But right now, down to 1v2. Oh, he knows that Fossil is there. You know, sorry. It's player 1 will be on the flank. Oh, no, he Sawada. Sawada. No. Oh. That was really, really unfortunate from the side we... of Team Oh, from, Jesus. From are, we team really, are we really seeing a 13-0 in very fan tournament history? Really? Yep. This, if this action, if Kim Chi actually wins this round, this will be the first 13-0 in the very fan tournament. The very first. And with the absolute dominance showing from the rocks, it's 25 to 4. 25. Omega only has 11. Uh, and hopefully, they can do something with this. Like the fact that they're defending now. Maybe defending side will be better. As we, you said earlier, they're um, defending warriors, usually very fine tournament. Players yep. are usually defending warriors. Hopefully, we see something different for this round. They really need to get this round. It's already match point. Yep. This is match point for Team Cupcake. Will they close off this round once and for all, or there will be another comeback coming up, coming up from uh, Team, you know, Team, team Kimchi because they are on the defender side right now. Right now, Omega starting out, starting out with that boom bot. Facials leading out to backs, and the Rox is already moving himself on. It's in U Haul. How is he in U Haul already? Oh my lord! The Jensen gets tagged out by a little bit, and this is. This post plan. The attack is all the position in here. Waffle is there for the flank, and that trip warrior will definitely spot out where he is. And my waffle just gets taken now down to a 4v5. The flank did not work out as possible. It's stuck on you. How Denson is there to assist. The rocks is will, get, will be dropped, but she will be there for the two kills they lined up. Oh no! Will this be 13 0? This is 13 0! Oh, this is 13 0! What? Okay, wait, what's the prediction okay. again? Wait, was... I am so lost. It's 83% yes. versus oh, 17%. No. 70% on Team Cupcake. All of you guys bet on Team Kimchi. What is happening again? Team Cupcake again showing that they are the ones better. Okay? Twice. Oh, guys, twice. God. These... 13-0. This, this is just a wake-up call to everyone that Team Cupcake is here to win. They are not here to play. They are here to win. Because they want to win, and we can sh we can see how much determination is coming out from Team Cupcake itself. But oh my God, this is the first 13-0 mm -hmm. in the whole entire history of the Barry Van tournament. This is the second tournament, even the first turn, even the first tournament we had 13. Threes. We have 13 fives. We have 13 twos, but never a 13-0. This is. The first ever 13-0 that's being displayed right now. And Team Cupcake just did it. The underdogs of the mm -hmm. tournament actually did it. They're considered the underdogs already because no one actually, you know, knew they were going to come out this strong as Aroxis is the hot topic right now, as I can say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Team Cupcake, th the whole team showed a really good performance. They are really strong when they're defending. I mean, we have seen in the previous game, they always either they retake so well or they just stand their ground. I mean, I don't know. You see Riddle for like bot like here, you know, quite bottom fragging, but he did really well holding at U Haul. Like mm -hmm. uh, Shadow Bunjo, you were shocked when 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 the switch uh, when the switch turns aside and then like the attackers just went into U Haul so easily. Yep. Like Sawada kind of like um first of all he put his smoke late and there was no one at U Haul somehow. Mm -hmm. And U-Haul was taken it so easy that I feel like if they have taken that U-Haul, like the defenders would have defend the U-Haul well, it wouldn't mm -hmm. be like that. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. I, that was quite shocking because when I the moment when I saw Aroxis get control of U-Haul together with Chi, mm -hmm. I, I am just shocked because 
in a defender standpoint, U-Haul is one of the main choke points that you need to hold down as a defender because when attackers get hold of it, there is there is a very slim chance that uh, as a defender you can retake it back because it's just hard for you to retake it. And the Roxy just gotten it. And I can say that I think Team Kimchi had some communication issues going on because without the fact, because no one would actually, they, they, they're not playing like early on because... Okay, yep. maybe maybe they're exhausted, but it shouldn't be like that. You know, it's just really lackluster from Team Kimchi. And when it comes to attack as well, they are they are not they're just not there. They 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 lost themselves out of no out of nowhere. But I have to say Team Cupcake, congratulations, you're moving next. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can see on the lower bracket right now. Okay, but before that, we can take a recap what's about to happen tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna be having our matches on to these lower brackets. We can see Espresso versus Pancake first, and the winner will move on to beat Kimchi, Odango, and Soju. Whoever moves on, whoever wins, will we'll be fighting against Donut. Team Vanilla and Team Rice, whoever wins, will be moving on to face Waffle and Team Cookie and Chocolate. Whoever wins, will, face it, will be facing up against Team Mandu. But on that upper bracket, Cake, Onigiri, Bingsu, and Cupcake. These four teams are still on the upper bracket. If they win, that is their chance to actually win one more round to get over onto that top eight, which is going to be a best of three at that point. Um, I can say that, uh, you know, this is really shocking because I'm still speechless about that 13-0 because it is just <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere. This, this came out of nowhere. Yeah, I agree. But I mean, I'm I'm honestly excited, you know, to see tomorrow like the losers bracket round. Uh, first of all, we're gonna see losers bracket and also the winners bracket round three. I think round mm -hmm. three for winners bracket round three is gonna be really tight. I mean, we have seen everyone's like the, the every team that won uh won through the winners bracket, they are really strong. You know, we've seen that, and hopefully we'll see something. You know, uh, also a close, you know, intense match uh, tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. So stay tuned, guys, and also for the loser bracket because they only have one last chance. You know, in order they only have one last chance for the loser bracket, so they sh cannot, you know, lose it. Okay, in order to proceed. Yep, this is the tomorrow's matches are gonna be definitely more exciting because lower brackets they play differently. Every team is going to be on the low bracket will be playing really, really differently because they cannot afford any mishaps, mistakes, and certainly mm -hmm. they will not want to risk anything. But before we close it off, I would like to take this time and thank our sponsors for sponsoring this tournament today because without them, we wouldn't be having this <laughs> tournament and you guys will be missing a 13-0 just now earlier. And uh, I have to say that, yeah, without them, this couldn't happen. And this is a big thank you and big shout out to y'all. And uh, Barry, anything else before we close it off? Yes, I mean, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching the day two uh, tournament. And make sure you guys look forward for tomorrow and support your favorite team. Okay, you know, give them some support, you know, that that's all they need. You know, it will make them feel motivated. And of course, thank you so much for the sponsors. Without you guys, we will not be having this. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And also thank you so much Jet Shadow Banjo for joining me for casting this. A pleasure. <laughs> Alright. Shall we go with the rate? This is a really aggression and many 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 aggression coming from Banzai gets a double with the judge! He goes unchecked still, he's not being punished or pressed because he gets a third kill, 4k coming from Banzai! As this soul completely decimated there by Rizka. You know what? Really pushed up. He gets one, gets two actually. Oh god, it's gonna be a big clutch there. This one Ooh. that's so close actually. If you get the flicker on this one, the water now that to a 2v2 even situation. But oh my god, they just got it up. Stitch player Lux. Oh, he's trying to run down together though. But we're gone. Up there, he's going to spawn out there, Sus looking, land a shot, he's taking down there, but it's also up there, he will try to take it out there, though, he's trying to capitalize on that, and it's all out, he made it work! He caught once again, 3 on 3, Tenso's is doing it, it's a 3v2, he's got luck pushing out! Back on just in case, that piece 